Check. Kitty check. Thank you, Misty. What's happening? All right, there, YouTube setup. What's up, Allie? P King, Nadu, how's everybody doing? I'll get to the rest of the list here in a minute. I'm struggling with a little OBS action. I cannot get it to fit my window that I always use over here. If I can change the display. Nope, that's as good as it gets. Huh. Try to fit the screen and it goes off the screen every time. That's not okay. So weird. I thought it was bad before. It's ten times worse now. I don't have to do. All right. Yo, Monster Pete, what's happening? All right, let me bring this volume here down on the music. And let's see if this is working. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. What is going on? I already said hello to Tarjaren Puma P King, Nadu6. What's up, Random King? Misty, thank you for being a mod. Uh, we got Shepard. Wax Prophet is back. Thank you for the for continuing to come and visit. Connor, W Play is here. Cutie Beck, Night Bodega, Punked, Walking Miracle pulled a 101 on the My Little Palney. Hard to say. My Little Palney blends. We'll look at those in a little bit. You pulled my favorite one again. Walking Miracle. You've made this a regular thing. NASCAR, Miss Jessie Star, Chucky. Zozo in the house. What's happening? There's Miss Fancy Cherry. Joking Mazink. Thank you, Misty, for the reminder. Please go and like today's YouTube stream. If you guys are on uh, YouTube, if you guys are on YouTube as well, if you could give me a little love by going over to YouTube and giving it a like there, I sure would appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing on YouTube is free. I can't drop a link, but if you go to YouTube and search Nerds Unite Us, I just dropped it in the chat, uh, you can find the stream real easy. Fantastic for Pops. What's happening? How are you now? Happy Friday. And having day. Having. What is having day? H-A-L-V-I-N-G. Not just a 101, the best 101. I agree. I agree totally. Nadu says, if you don't like the YouTube stream, Misty will find you and bonk you with a golden hammer. She, she got a golden hammer? Wow. That's impressivo. Uh, let's see, did I leave anything on the screen? Captions are not working. Let me fix that real quick. Literally touch a tab and it usually starts working. And it did. Really? My uh, uh, antivirus software thinks the website I use for captions is a phishing scam. Hmm. I don't think so. Been using it for a long time. Joking Mazink, much love. Fantastic for Pop says Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin having day. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I knew that was happening. I read a, a little something about it a few weeks ago. I didn't realize that was today. Uh, I have powers I didn't even know I own. <laughs> there you go, Misty. Your golden hammer eluded you until just now when Natty pointed it out for you. I hope everybody's had a great week. Uh, it's been a busy one for sure. I've been going, 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 and um, I did find a little time today to watch some of the new Fallout series. I am not done, no spoilers. Loving everything I've seen so far. Uh, it is a little, a little bloody. So, so uh, I told uh, I told Kelly about it, and I, we're gonna have her sit this one out because she's like, "Are you are you just watching it so you can watch it without having to wait on me?" I was like, "No, I swear, I don't think you would like it. It's gonna be awfully bloody and gory." Uh, I know it's going to be a tough watch for you because she doesn't like that stuff. 
that would uh, be messed up peking i hope we don't ever run into that uh, we got a lot to talk about today. It's been a busy few days. Uh, we've got NFT discussions to have. We've got uh, boxes of pops to open. I got two big old boxes here. I like these long boxes they're sending now. Um, we've got uh, we got a box game to play later. We will have Kelly joining us probably. Probably something could always happen, you know, with her schedule. Uh, but we're hoping to see her between 5.30 and 6. But I'm starting early today so we can get wrapped up between 6.15 and 6.30 because we want to go have some Din Din and catch a movie. We haven't been to the movies in quite a while. I think since Dune 2. Do we, no, wait. We saw something after Dune 2. What did we see? Because she did another... Oh, Ghostbusters. We haven't seen anything since Ghostbusters, which I really enjoyed. Uh, but we're going to go probably see Civil War. Not the go ahead and make the MCU jokes. It's the easy, low hanging fruit. Go for it. Um, Clint Crockett, what's happening? How are you? I didn't even see you. Sorry, man, I missed you. Uh, hey, Clint Crockett, how did the uh, how the board gaming day for uh, Extra Life go? I, I got to tune in at the beginning and then got distracted and pulled away, uh, but I hope it went well. Thank you for uh, for fundraising for the kids. Yeah, Natty, I even thought about getting back into it, honestly. But it's it's a it's a pretty intensive game, and honestly, I don't have the kind of time to play video games like that that I want, once did. Both sessions were a lot of fun and went well. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Hope you and Phil and the team had a good time. I saw y'all had a crew of like four people playing some tabletop games, so that's great. That's really good. I'm glad you guys have helmed that because I, as much as I would like to play uh, board games, I don't ever get time to do that either. We did on Easter... We did play, um, we played some games at uh, Kelly's mom's house. She loves games, but they're simple card games, not not real tabletop board games. I, I just have never had the crew to play those kind of games. I've never, still to this day, I've never played Settlers of Catan. Not one time. You would think somebody like me would have played that by now, but, but I have not. Uh, you take care in November, we'll take the tabletop board. There you go, I like that. I, we actually, uh, it's it's April now, right? April 19th. We just all got through tax day. I talked about doing maybe a spring session uh, of, uh, of Extra Life fundraising this year, and I still might. However, it would be late May at the earliest, just because got things going on. New logo soon? New logo for what? Oh, oh, for Extra Life this year. Absolutely. We do need to get on that. Um, I don't have, I haven't really looked at the Extra Life site this year to see what they're um, logo looks like this year, but I always like to use that for inspiration. And uh, we may have a uh, stream where we do the art on stream. I don't know. We'll see. It always just depends on how uh, how the mood strikes me and if I'm in the mood to do something like that on stream. If not, we'll get it done one way or another. This is our, this is our lucky five, our fifth year for Extra Life. Oh, thank you, Walking Miracle. Good call. Yeah, I, I hope I did put an expiration in those things now that says it's only good on certain dates. But I do need to turn that off. Thank you. I still I, I need to give that feedback to Stream Elements and say, hey, can I can I set a chat um, automatic timer that has an expiration on it so I don't accidentally tell people things on the wrong day? Free NFT. Let's see. Did I? Valid only during the live stream on four sixteen. Good. I did put that in there. Somebody mentioned once upon a time. Hey, if you're gonna have it popping up, warn us. And then because people love to type in the commands even when they're not. They're no longer valid. I'll turn that one off, too. Click. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Walking Miracle, the unofficial engineer of the show. I appreciate that. That is not sarcasm. I do appreciate it. Special Extra Life 5 logo. Take my money. I Okay. I like that idea. You know I like my number five, so we definitely got to work something in there. Maybe maybe like a like a fifth annual like a like a five and a kind of a badge thing down at the bottom with the little the little flags coming off the sides. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. I can take that off my to do list. Oh, uh, here's something. I talked about this on Tuesday, but the the uh, Woofy Partners program. They asked me to fill out a form and said basically if you supported uh, Woofy, we appreciate you. And we want to give you something. I still haven't heard from them what that is. Um, but for those of you holding Woofy, it's been it's been doing this all week. Um, what is it doing right now? It's actually up considerably right now. And I've been using uh, I've been doing the again. I don't want I don't want to do a how to here because I don't I'm still learning. But I've been using the Alcor Exchange to uh, do some 
uh, liquidity pools. And just, just to show you guys right now, again, I'm not doing a training session on this, but in case you guys want to go research it, Neon Space is a great, uh, great group. Those guys are always doing, um, they're chatting about this on their streams. Uh, I have still 2,800 wax and 752 million woofy in a uh, rewards, uh, in a liquidity pool right now, earning rewards. You can see in real time there how much I'm earning. Uh, I think I, I put this one into play yesterday, and I think when it's all said and done, I'll earn another like $20 for letting them use my money for 24 hours. I mean, that's free money. I'll take it. So I've got my money working for me and a liquid. Oh, there's the free NFT thing. I've got my um, stupid. The stupid thing is all kinds of messed up. Uh, I've got my money working for me in the uh, MyCloud wallet. I've got an 8% return. I got my money working for me in Alcor. I've got my NFTs working for me in WaxDAO Farms. I've got my Nefty working for me on Nefty Block. So all my money... Uh, well, no, a chunk of my money. I still have plenty of wax that's doing nothing. Uh, I've got it out there earning for me. Uh, and I, I was spending that time playing Wombat Dungeon Master, but I'm not earning anything out of that. I seem to only be putting money in anymore. So I, I don't know if you guys who are playing it, if you feel like you're getting something out of every season because you're grinding, then great to keep it up. My NFTs, uh, from what I can tell, as long as I continue to fill out the form, I'll always be in the game. And I want to provide that utility, you guys. So I'll continue to do that. Misty said, throwback design taken from your first five NFT released with the EL, with the Extra Life logo. Maybe. That's a good idea. Kind of an anniversary thing. Or maybe that'll be like a backup logo. I finally got my NU Woofy NFT and love it. Wish I got the character outfit one. So, uh, so you did the blend. That's what you're saying, Miss Fancy Cherry. And you got the, you got the one with the shirt. I take it. Now, I did enable, uh, I did make it possible for you guys to get another. We'll go, we'll go back to the My Little Pony in a minute. Uh, if we go back to Nerds Unite Us and we go to Blends. So I made, for those of you who are interested in this, I wanted to provide uh, something for those of you who got Woofy. You can go in and purchase one of these Nerds Unite logos right here. I had it where it was set to uh you could buy one low numbered one and then you could buy one from that other pool the other pool, pool sold out 51 and up but from one to 50 um this nerd unite logo i now made it where you guys can get a second one so if you decide you want to go in and purchase a second one woofy is up so it's a little bit more expensive right now but that's just relative to the value of woofy at any given time i actually lowered the price it was at 25 million woofy. Now it's at 15 million woofy. Those of you who bought it at 25, you got a couple bonus items. Uh, but if you want to, you can still go in and purchase this with woofy, not with wax. But if you have wax and need woofy, you can go to an exchange uh, like Wax on Edge or uh, Alcor Exchange or I think even Taco Swap, and you can convert uh, wax to woofy. That's an option for you. There's still uh, 19 blends left uh, in case you want to do another blend. What's up, Mindy? How you doing? You got me on uh, on TV? Oh, nice joking, Mazink. I love that. I was watching Jungle Bry uh, last night while uh, Kelly and I were chatting and then having dinner. We had him on the TV. What's up, Millennium Panda? How are you now? I haven't said that name in a minute. Correct. I did get two of the same shirt. Wish I could get more. What, anybody out there get duplicates of uh, maybe Hoot in, um, in the Cal's play? There's 20, so somebody had to have gotten, if they did multiple, somebody had to have gotten two of them in the cows play. There's the same number of that as him in the shirt. They both have the same percentage drop rate. Um, there's still one concept left. All the cards are gone. One, two, three, all four 101s are still in there. That is crazy to me. I don't understand why. How did all those other NFTs leave it? That's so strange how that happens. Yeah, if anybody else has duplicates uh, of any of the others and want to trade, get on it. Uh, can just float about cleaning and still hear you perfectly. I uh, love it. Don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. It's it's fantastic. Did you know uh, also that a lot of you, if you have a MacBook, if any of you are Mac Apple users, you can run a lot of apps on your MacBook as well. Uh, like I actually run the Tokenhead app on my MacBook. 
and it's really nice for having up when I'm doing valuations and looking at things. Uh, so don't forget about that, too. I, I, I assume the Twitch app will work there. Of course, you could bring up the URL, but I wonder if the app will work there, too. Absolutely, Connor. We're going to do that early. We're going to do that early. Uh, I did want to... Hey, uh, Monster Pete says, I'm having issues with Atomic Hub. Wombat is fine. I need to figure it out. Uh, well, Atomic Hub is having issues. Uh, it's taken forever for some things to show on their site. And it's made it really a struggle for me as a creator, but also as a collector. And there are times where I'm like trying to look at the contents of my wallet. I know I just got an NFT. It's not there. It's very frustrating. Um, but uh, Monster Pete, if you know what, what exact issues are you having, we might be able to help you. Remember, Atomic Cub is just one of the exchanges that you can look at to see what's in your wax wallet. You also have Nefty Blocks, NFT Hive. Um, um, la, 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 la. You got My Cloud Wallet will allow you to see a lot of things. There are other sites where you can log in with your wax wallet. I recommend those. Uh, Nefty Blocks, of course. Uh, I recommend those because like, like I'm on Nefty Blocks right now. I'm logged into my wax wallet ID and I can easily jump up to the corner there and go say, look, show me my NFTs. And I, oh look, I got a new War Second one. I think I won this uh, from a giveaway they were doing, uh, but I can easily look and see my NFTs. It's a very different layout, but it is fast and efficient and should be good enough to see all your stuff uh, that you want to see. Look at this. Look at this butte from Warsaken. What's this limited to? Oh, 200 pieces. That's a lower one. Very nice. I haven't played the game much, but I do love the design that they've got into it. Uh, let's see. Miss Fancy Cherry says, I use Dungeon Master. What's the other one I can use instead? Forgot the name. Well, I mean, Wombat Dungeon Master is a game where you can use NFTs from my collection to gain utility. I don't have utility for my NFTs in this other option, but if you collect any, um, uh, Skunky Chunks or Drawn Company, or there's some others, uh, you can go to the Wax Dow Farms, which looks like this and you can stake your NFTs. I'll give you the URL here. You can stake any NFTs you have and earn, depending on the, the NFTs, depending on the, um, the project, the collection, you can earn either wax or you can earn um, a, a meme coin. In other words, like the coin created by that particular creator. So in the case of Nefty Blocks, um, I'm sorry, not Nefty Blocks, Skunky Chunks, I can go in and I'm earning Skunky, which can then be used to purchase things that he puts up for sale. Uh, you do have to every so often come in here and say claim all, uh, but you do you can claim there. So there is a utility in case you want to see if any of your NFTs in your wallet have any um, it, that you can stake them and earn. Uh, it is called, where is it here? I got it in my shortcuts. I know I do. I renamed it to make it easier to find, and now it's harder to find. Wax Dow Farm Scanner, this one. It's by our friends at RAR. They made some cool NFTs. Um, you can literally, you go to that website, you connect your wallet uh, by hitting connect up here, log in, and immediately once you log in, it starts scanning all your NFTs. It can take quite a while, but as it goes through your NFTs, it compares it against the Wax Dow Farms and says, Hey, does this person have anything that they can earn from? Once it does find something, it'll come up with a link here. You can click on it and you can go in. Now, some of the farms are have been shut down. Some of the farms are no longer active. Some have, uh, there's various things. So you'll need to read up on each one. But the idea behind a waxed out farm is very simply, hey, you, you bought or collected this NFT. If you stake it in a farm on our website, you're going to, it's in most cases going to leave your wallet, go to us. We're going to hold it for you. And while we're holding it for you, we're going to slowly but surely trickle out either wax or another type of coin to you. And then you come in every once in a while and you claim some of the money that, that you've earned or some of the coins that you've earned. Okay. One just came up. And then eventually, if you ever want to unstake, you have to go unstake them to get your NFTs back. Uh, you say you're using this for Woofy? Oh, okay. They've got a farm on there where you can earn from your Woofy. I haven't been doing that. But there's there's a link here. This one says that I have something from the collection Big DHC Farm 2. I click on the link. 
comes here and it'll tell me about the about this farm. It is open. If you ever see closed or whatever, then you know you don't want to try and use it. Uh, second DHC farm. What is DH? Oh, Brian Art set. Oh yeah, that guy's got great stuff. I love his. Um, I have 40 NFTs already staked. If I go to unstake, I'll see all the ones I have staked. Those are all pulled out of my wallet and they are there. There are other ones that are called non-custodial wallets. In other words, um, my NFT doesn't leave my wallet. It stays there and I still earn from it. But I think his, they leave the wallet. If I have anything I need to stake, like this is one I need to stake, I can go over to the stake tab, click it, say stake. It goes in and either it works or in this case, it says this asset is not transferable. So that's an NTT. It's just a mistake, but at least it, it found it and said, hey, we've got something that you can earn from. Here's another one. Collection is called collection. Well, that seems odd. This one's probably not even active. Temporarily closed. But it's a way to earn. Look, you can earn something that has absolutely zero value. Or you can earn something that has zero value right now, and it might go up later. What does it take? A little bit of your time. It's up to you. Uh, just pulled number two Apple Hoot. Love the artwork, Sully, says Connor. Oh, thank you, Connor. Let's actually look at that. I wanted to take a minute to, to review it today. So for those of you uh, who have not taken the opportunity, on Nefty Blocks, um, I've got, uh, I gave you guys a free NFT on Tuesday for everybody who was here. If you didn't get the free NFT, it was the My Little Pony. That's what I called it. Uh, NU logo that says Nerd Unite, but it looks like the My Little Pony logo. This was a fun one to make, and I think it came out really, really good. Uh, this is available in the drops for $1.50. So if you got your freebie and you don't want to blend it, or if you didn't get a freebie and you want to do the blend, come here first, grab this up, then go to blends. I'll drop the link for the blends in case you missed it. It was a lot of fun. I, I love working on uh, stuff. In fact, uh, I already have worked on a freebie for this coming Tuesday. I got something fun for you guys based on, well, I don't want to tell you what it's based on yet, but you're going to love it. I, I think maybe one of my favorite ones I've ever done. Uh, can you stake Funko NFTs? So Fenris, I don't believe that you can stake them in the Waxdal farms. I, you, you'd have to check and make sure on your own. I don't know who would allow you to stake because Funko doesn't do it. Somebody has to control the farm and they have to provide you a benefit for doing the staking. So I don't know why any other person would do that. I don't know if that is a thing someone's doing, but I do know that in Wombat Dungeon Master, you can use your Funko NFTs to stake for mining power. However, probably not in your best interest because you don't get much mining power at all. I don't think it's worthwhile. Uh, but you can look into it yourself if you want to play the game. Absolutely look into it yourself. Uh, so here is the uh, My Little Pony featuring Hoot. If you guys haven't done the blends before, uh, I, I, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I think most people here have done it before. Uh, but you can go in and you can take a Hoot 2.0, which is available for like a buck fifty, And you can take an NU logo, My Little Pony, either the free one you got or you can buy one. Remember, this is not a non-burn blend. This is a regular blend, meaning both pieces will get destroyed, gone forever, and then you'll get something in return. Uh, they also call it crafting. There is the uh, Hoot in the My Little Pony t-shirt. There is the Hoot, Apple Hoot, which we should take a closer look at this art. I can't zoom in on this, but I can on another tab in a second. You can get the concept for Apple Hoot. There's still six of those left. You can get the animated card. Only two have been pulled so far. I love making the cards. In fact, I'll point it out on another screen in a minute, but the background on that, all hand-drawn as well, uh, in case you guys like the artwork itself. And then I made one of ones based on different color variations of the what they're themed on, the My Little Pony logos from years past. There's one in what I call pink, because it's hot pink colors. There's one, uh, what did I call this one? Was this G4? because it was like Generation 4 logo that was used a lot. Kodo, which was based on a manufacturer for a while. Uh, and then this one, I did in Nerd Unite Colors featuring an actual rainbow. Uh, that one was pulled by Walking Miracle. This one's still available. This one's been pulled, but I don't know by whom. That one's still available. Now, thanks to the update in Nefty Blocks that, that we actually pitched as a community, they've got this to tell you how many are left in the pool. And it's the best thing. It's so awesome. 
Uh, Chucky says, I have a few Funko NFTs. Give me 125 mining power each in dungeon. Okay, I didn't realize you got that much. I stand corrected. Oh, Nadu, you got the other one of one. Okay, so you own this one. Congratulations, my friend. That's awesome. Let's take a look at the artwork a little closer. I'm, I'm very proud of this artwork. Um, I also was a little scared of it because I didn't know how it would be received. Uh, but I thought it was fun. And, uh, I mean, who just likes to have a good time, right? He's not trying to be a part of any particular communities or send any messages or anything. He's just having fun. Uh, so anybody who's, who's uh, like, looking for a deeper meaning, there's nothing. It's just who having fun. Yeah, Miss Fancy Cherry, apparently. I don't know uh, who put it in there. I think the Wombat Dungeon Master team did just because they also run Atomic Hub now and they probably realized, hey, look, a lot of trading on those Funko NFTs on, on Atomic Hub. We might as well toss it in there. Uh, here is, uh, here's Hoot in the My Little Palney t-shirt. I, I love the simplicity of putting these logos on these shirts. That was inspired by the game um, uh, Disney Pop Town. And I've been playing that nonstop. I'm at like level 3200 on it. Um, I, it was inspired by the characters of that game and the way they have little shirts. They call them uh, prints, uh, t-shirt prints. Uh, I love the way that one came out. Thank you, Miss Fancy Cherry. I, I've been working very hard over the last couple of years to just buckle down and focus and learn all this is done in procreate and it's it started you guys saw the early hoots he's just a ball and eventually i'm like i need hoot to have a body we can do so much more if hoot has a body uh so finally his the basis for what he looks like was pulled from funko pop town but of course with my own uh spin on it but there is uh there is apple hoot you can you can see pitch he Push the hat back on his head. He's still got the giant cowboy hat because Apple, thank you to Macy. Macy was the one that goes, you should go do something based on Applejack. He has a giant, or she has a giant cowboy hat. And I'm like, oh, okay. I uh, added the uh, pompadour in the front. You can see the wig coming around to the back to then make the, the different tails. And then Kelly's idea, because it was very bland in the beginning, was like, put the put the handkerchief, the, the bandana on. So I did, and then you can see the little apple prints, like all the My Little Ponies had the prints on their butts. I, it was a great idea. I had a different way I was going. This one's much more colorful and fun. I think it came out great. Uh, so I had a good time creating that. Uh, there's still a bunch of those left in the blends if you guys want to do the blends. If you run into any trouble, have questions with the blends, please, please, please let me know. Uh, concepts. I got, I got the idea, the concept, if you will, for the concepts from standing in the queue for the Bowser's um, ride. Was it called Bowser's Fury? What is that ride called at the, the Nintendo Land? Uh, or is it just the Mario Kart? Might just be the Mario Kart, but whatever. They had these cool blueprints up on the wall, and I was like, oh, instead of a blueprint background, I should make it an actual blueprint. So I did. Uh, so there it is. There's the pony hair pompadour. Bandana pointed out, tails and apple markings pointed out. I have fun doing this every time. And if you look back and just type in the word concept and you search Energy Night, you see I've done a ton of them. There's got to be 50 plus at this point. Not all in that format. There's some in older full format. For those of you on, on an Apple product, this one's tricky. It won't run on all Apple products uh, because it's a WebM file, which I didn't know was even a thing until this last year. It's a super compressed file. Believe it or not, that is a full video, super high resolution. Normally a file like that would be like hundreds of megabytes. That's 11 megabytes. I don't know how it's all so uh, compressed, but it looks fantastic. I really enjoyed making these. Um, and I, I've gotten down a good pattern now with the, the what I call the step and repeat in the background and the color coordinated with the colors on here and the name. And I think it, I think I've really got a, a good pattern going now on these. I'm, I'm enjoying the way they're, they're coming out. That's all done in After Effects. So the the for that one, the Apple Hoot and the clouds and the, the sun rays were all drawn in Procreate. Uh, and then brought into uh, Illustrator, made into layers, and then from Illustrator into After Effects, and then from After Effects, I export a, w, a WebM file, and that's what you get. A lot of stages. What's up, Captain John Parakeet? And then here's the one of ones Hopefully you guys like the one of ones uh, color variations and more. Uh, if you go look closely, you'll see there's little details in here that were changed uh, in each one uh, to make them uh, unique. 
but the rainbow changes quite a bit. The color patterns change. Sometimes there's like this, this logo, the free one only had three colors in the rainbow. Then up here, this one had five. This one only had three, three. This one had one, two, three, four, five, six. I had to go in and hand create all that. This one, I really like the muted colors on this one. This reminds me of the eighties a lot. Blue Blue Kachu says, I'd be pumped for physical ver uh, physicals of these. You talking about as stickers or as the trading cards or what? I'm working on, I, I don't want to say too much yet, but I there's a project I've been wanting to work on for the last, let's probably three years. And I just didn't know how to get started. I think I figured it out. So I'm waiting on the components to arrive to me, but I'm, I'm making something that I think may be an absolute game changer and maybe an actual business for me. Uh, when it comes to NFTs. Uh, so you guys stay tuned and I'll share details on that when the time comes. NASCAR says, oh yeah, on Pop and Stock, it tells you which Funko ones work in Dungeon Masters. Of course. Blue Blue Kachu says, I would 100% support. Okay, well, when the time comes, I will share. I will share indeed. And hopefully you guys are able to, to jump on it and, uh, and, and support it. But that is the one of ones and all the NFTs for that blend. So if you guys, if anybody has not taken... Uh, part in the blends yet uh, They're all right here and uh, There are just like some more just went out. So we're at about the halfway point uh, Here If anybody wants to participate in the blends if you have any trouble making it work uh, If you have a question about how all this uh, goes down or whatever Please let me know in the chat. I can help you or somebody else can help you as well. All right, let's let's uh, let's jump over to Funko, eh? Let's jump over and take a look at the new announcement we got on, um, Is I guess it's all on the website now, uh, digital.funko.com, or you can go to Drop's website, the announcement of WB Horror Series 2. So we have another Series 2, which, if you guys were paying attention, I did tell you all, uh, they gave away some NFT packs from Funko, for holding certain NFTs. Will they repeat that with horror? We don't know. I would love to know in advance, but we don't know. So if you have grails, if you have legendaries, if you cracked packs of series one, if you had royalty sets, etc., that may pay off. I wouldn't sell anything that you have. In fact, I'd get a, a good idea for what you have and maybe look at those markets and see if anybody's selling any of that stuff cheap. Could come into play, maybe not. But they announced this today. We knew it was coming. They, they sent out the email for the month. Um, first of all, I'm not a big horror fan, but this is a cool freaking pop. A glow in the dark with coins for eyes. That is the, from the ferryman. That is so cool uh, of a design on the pop. Uh, that's the grail, I believe. Standard pack, there's 21,000 available at $9.99. Premium pack, 17,000 available at $29.99. Um, I, I can't say this is too high. It seems a little high on first glance, but if you guys know anything about licenses, you know horror is a strong genre. And we've got quite a few horror films as a part of this because it's just called WB Horror. Uh, comes in April 30th at 11 a.m. I should be streaming that day. We've got a Grail, four legendaries, and a royalty. Uh, the Grail, it glow in the dark. Looks like the lantern glows. That's a really cool touch. Uh, here's what the NFT looks like with the blood splatter border. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, I love that. That NFT is clean. You got the uh, accordion monkey. From The Conjuring. Oh, man. That one should have music. That's really cool. You've got... That's a legendary. By the way, the Grail is still 999 pieces. Uh, these legendaries are 1900. A probably pretty good ratio uh, percentage chance of pulling these then. With four legendaries, 1900 apiece. Black Shuck from Annabelle Comes Home. Got a, a werewolf of sorts with red eyes. The statue from The Exorcist, uh, Pazuzu. That's terrifying looking. That's 1,900 pieces. Uh, Goat Demon from The Nun. Great, great design on that. I'm, again, not a horror fan. That's terrifying. I don't necessarily want it, but I'm going to try for it. And Freddy Funko as Father Karras from The Exorcist. 
glow in the dark looks like the eyes glow in the dark and it, could this be a first or at least a rare thing the crown might glow looks like the crown might glow that's cool do we know what the limit per per no we, we never know in advance unless they say something on um on discord they, they don't ever publish it until somebody asks and they share it which is the weirdest way to share information ever you guys always seem laser focused on that question i personally don't care but then it was it brought up the last time somebody said well it really has to do with how many times can i use my credit card so that makes some sense i never understood why anybody cared before i was like just get there and when you go to check out you find out uh, Freddy Funko is Father Karras, so though. That's a cool royalty. 2200 possible. Oh, by the way, the TMs are back. Yay. Uh, that's a great looking, that's a great looking drop, and I'm sure horror fans are excited about it. Uh, Mark and Lazarus, tier one, 46 months. Thank you so much. The crown glowing has me definitely wanting one. Now, uh, that's not confirmed. I'm guessing, just based on the way it looks. If we look at the, if we look at the pop, it sure looks like the, the, in the rendering there, in the, um, in that design, it looks like it's the same color as the eyes, and I'm assuming they glow. It may not. Uh, Mock and Lazarus said, I'm excited for this one. Have you seen how much Fire Nation Aang is going for? Said Devil, no. Should, should I be, is it, is it a lot? Or are you just curious? Uh, let's go to eBay, Fire Nation. Come on, man, why? why? I clearly clicked in the search bar. Fire Nation is two A's, right? Ang Funko Pop. Astro Tier One, sixteen months. Thank you, Astro Tokyo. Holy shnikes! Remember, this is asking price, but that's still thirty-three people watching that at nine hundred dollars. Uh, let's go to sold. This one's been jumping off, huh? Eight ten one sold for two days ago. Eight hundred dollars, seven fifty-five, seven ten, six hundred. That this may be one of the highest-selling grails ever. That is really nice. I did not get the Fire Nation Ang. Uh, pretty sure, I got Freddy uh, as uh, what's his face from Avatar, and I really like that one. Uh, but boy, I did not get this grail. New show effect, huh? What's that, Walking Miracle? Zombie Proto Pups Crown supposed to glow too, I think, says Joe. You you think based on something you've read, or that's just a guess based on the rendering? Sully, I have a link with glam shots. Can I post it here? Sure, Natty. What is what is new show effect? What's that? Did something happen on screen that I didn't catch? Oh, oh, the okay. The the effect of the show coming out. Yeah, absolutely could have weighed into it for sure. Look back in February, this was a five hundred and fifty dollar pop. One sold for five fifty in February, and now the late, latest one sold for eight ten. So there's definitely an uptick in um, interest in in Avatar, and maybe this is one of those things we've been waiting for that will help turn the tides. You've got people coming in, maybe that are Funko collectors that haven't been into the NFTs. Now they've come in and gone, Avatar is on the rise. We got a live action movie coming. We, we got all this cool stuff. Maybe I want to jump on it and this could be the, the ultimate grail. I, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Natty, it didn't work. So leave out the dot before com and dot com or whatever that link is. Uh, just only remove a thing or two uh, and it should work. I don't know. I thought you were VIP and should be able to post links. Did I not ever make you VIP? How rude of me. Uh, the Netflix live action show came out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there was a new... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think... I, did I just see that uh, Bautista is going to be in the live action? I need to fix that, Nadu6. Sorry about that. Yeah, so uh, so Avatar, Last Airbender, uh, NFTs doing well. I'm glad to see that. I hope that is the kind of effect that we see more and more with the NFTs and people start to realize, hey, these grails. What? Huh? Nadu, what? <laughs> that certainly didn't work. Uh, whisper it to me or, or send me a DM on Twitter, Nadu. I'll have to fix your VIP status, but I'm not going to try to do it right now. I don't, I don't want to take away from... The stream trying to get that done because I don't remember where to go to be honest it's been forever 
I can't tell if you were trying to be funny with what you just wrote or if it just if it uh, canceled it out. Oh, Mindy, I'll have to read your full message, but uh, sorry to hear that. She sent me a message about her wallet. Uh, scary stuff. Sweet, Natty's going to send me the link so we can take a look at it. But this is, I think this is good news, the, the uptick in this one NFT. If we see this more and more, then hopefully people will stop ignoring the fact that the pack drops are an opportunity at some, they're called grails. And they are, they're, they're, they're grails. They're super limited quantities. Uh, people should be paying attention, and they're they're treating these pack drops and these grails uh, for most of the drops as if they're garbage. They're just like whatever. Uh, I don't. Uh, the NFTs are stupid. I want out. I don't want in. I don't ever want to mess with it. I we we got to get around that, and hopefully enough people are getting into it that are going to get interested, and then it'll push the rest of the collectors to go. Okay, we got to get in too. I can't. We can't ignore it. There's too much value there. We got to get in on these NFTs, and the better those do, the more Funko can do with the NFTs. If they're just barely holding on, then eventually they could give up. I did, I, speaking of Funko, uh, status of Funko and Funko stock, I did read uh, into the stock valuation here recently, and they just recently had a quarterly report. So January, February, April, or, sorry, January, February, March uh, ended, we're in April, and so we got the first quarter of the year, and while the sales weren't as strong as previous Q1s, the company has gotten rid of uh, a ton of inventory that they were sitting on and paying monthly to keep. It was costing them a, a, a ton of money. They've, of course, we know they've decreased staff significantly, which is not necessarily a good thing, but, but uh, for some reason, the investors see it as a really good thing. Uh, we've, they've had a couple of high value uh, CEO, president, and then I think another CFO maybe just recently all stepped down. New blood coming in, and it looks like Funko is on the road to recovery. Oh, uh, a decrease in the number of SKUs. Uh, in other words, the number of you of uh, uh, barcodes, number of different products is down. I hope we see the company really start to take off they're still going to do over a billion dollars in sales this year they're not hurting and they're going to do it with less investment of time and money hopefully funko takes off again and we see that reflected in the fandom in the secondary market but uh, the cuts that they're making is it too much is it going to end up affecting the real fans and them not wanting to collect anymore? I don't know. But I, I found it interesting. No mention in that quarterly report that I read, and I read the transcript, and in some other areas, no discussion around NFTs. If you go back three years ago when they first announced it, uh, that January, that first quarter, that had an actual positive impact on their stock price because NFTs were the new it thing for some people. Now, some people saying they're dying, but... And I know I'm just rambling on at this point. I don't know if I lost you guys. Did you guys see, uh, trending on Twitter a couple days ago, uh, NBA Top Shot, who makes the NBA official NFTs, set a record for a sale. Uh, Mbenyama, who plays for the Spurs, or Wimbenyama, uh, one of his NFTs sold for $175,000. Broke a record by a significant amount on their site. $175,000 for a single NFT sale at auction. NFTs are not dead. They may be for a very exclusive small audience, and we're part of that. But it is good news for NFTs. I agree. <laughs> I was born a rambling man. Yeah, I was. My whole life. Okay, so that's horror. That's Aang. One of y'all brought that up. Um, that's exciting. Let's, unfortunately, let's look at the non-exciting. Uh, you know what? I don't stake any Woofy, uh, Connor. I do participate on um, the Alcor Exchange in a liquidity pool. Don't ask me to show you the liquidity pool and how it works. I'm still learning, and I sure don't want to mislead anybody. But I've been earning a little bit each day. Between 15, one day it was like close to 40 bucks. I'm earning by staking both uh, Woofy and Wax. But I'm not in a position to tell you guys, here's how you do it, and step by step. 
Funko Attic Tech says, wow, 750,000 for, no, it was 175,000. 175,000, still a, still a big number. Did I say 750? I didn't mean to say 750. 175,000. Um, there absolutely are. If you look into sports, I, I know you collect One Piece NFTs. I saw, congratulations on your big uh, your big win here this week. I saw you pulled a pretty sweet card. I, I don't know what it means, but I was happy for you. I could tell you were happy, so I was, I was glad to see you pulled something good. You've been chasing those One Piece cards heavy. Uh, but you, you got into, you didn't you get into some of the Prism? NBA and uh, there's a Wimbin Wimbinyama. I can't say the dude's name. Uh, Winby. There's a Winby in that with the Monopoly thing. I was trying to get some packs of that. Uh, that is sought after. Uh, there's a one on one, I believe, in that pack. But in the NFT world, uh, for NBA Top Shot, they are doing some very cool things and have been for going on four, maybe even five years now. Uh, it was actually Jungle Bry, uh, my future brother in law who uh, got me on that site, and I own a, a handful of NBA Top Shots. Um, but that, what's cool about theirs is they took it, and they didn't just make it an image. It is a like a 3D cube that spins around. We can look at one. And uh, yes, there are absolutely rookie cards and super low print numbers. Uh, I, are there 101s? I don't know. Um, I don't remember. I haven't been in there in a while. Ooh, Tech, that's going to be some big money. There was a, um, I saw another clip this week on Instagram. There was a one of one Winbanyama card pulled from a pack. I don't know which one it was. It might have been the Prism uh, set, the gold one of one uh, that was pulled from a pack. And this guy on the podcast said that his estimated value on that card was $1.5 million. Somebody bought a pack of cards. They probably bought a ton to get that card. But even if they invested a few thousand dollars, they pulled the ultimate one-of-one one rookie card. Because, this was interesting, for those of you who pay attention to the news and are reading into what's happening, I am fascinated with Fanatics.com and their acquisition of all the major licenses for uh, sports cards. They had Winbanyana sign on to a uh, exclusive deal. And so his rookie card, they made a one of one of, might truly be the ultimate rookie card, and there's only one, period, hands down. And somebody said it's worth $1.5 This guy who knows sports cards. Here's a look at... Oh, here you go. Okay, it was $145,000. i am sorry. I thought it was $175,000. It was $145,000. They put it on their front page here. Purchased by Billow Banked. Do they give us more info on it? Here is here's the actual NFT. Let me, let me put the sound on here. I got the sound messed up. These are what these NFTs look like, though. Victor Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama. I got to practice that. Wimbanyama. This is what the NFT looks like with all the sound and everything. Officially made through the NBA with NBA Top Shot, which is owned by a company called Dapper Labs. This whole thing is the NFT with this full, high-resolution clip. But that sold for $145,000. Somebody, a guy that just read his name, somebody saw the potential in NFTs, and specifically with this kid who many are heralding as, you know, like one of the possible, one of the top NBA players to ever play in the league. Yeah, Dapper Labs is doing NBA Top Shot. They're also doing... Um, the Disney Pinnacle and other stuff. Those aren't their only two projects. Yeah, exactly. Ninety six. I don't know what their deal is. With there's the there's the full video. Here's one angle of the of the card of the NFT. It's a clip from an exact moment there, October twenty fifth, where they actually lost. Interesting. Interestingly enough. Last ask, 1.111111, million dollars. Average sale, one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. There's all the different angles of it. They make really cool products, but and I, I, like I said, I was collecting for a while. However, it got very complicated. Jason and I talked about this before. 
in order to buy packs of, of their NFTs, you had to meet, like for certain NFTs, you had to meet certain criteria. And it got to the point where it was pretty much a club of the same people that could purchase. And I couldn't even necessarily purchase anything. Let's see if my login even works here. I haven't logged in in a while. Let's see, do I have it uh, saved in here? No, I'll have to go try another day. I don't have my login info handy or I'd, I'd take a look and see what I've got. But they have some really cool NFTs. Um, three star rookie, existing supply, one. That's a one of one. Literally a one of one. And then you got these fools, top offers. Somebody offered $101 and two other people offered $1. Those people should be banned from the website. They're doing nothing for anyone. Uh, but uh, NBA Top Shot, they still show beta up here. It, it is, uh, it's something else. It's very interesting. And sports cards are are all the rage again. They really took over in the last few years. But you got like, here's packs are $19. You're getting a Lakers playoff pack. Uh, will be delivered and eligible to open on 424. Like you really got to read in and figure out how to get into these things. And it got complicated. And so I kind of got out. That Well, between that and money. There's an Embiid by, in by player pack. They have a ton of different options here. Fast break roster boot. I don't even know what half of this means. But it, you might want to look into it. Uh, Joking Mazink says, I got the rarest Cheshire from the Alice drop. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Congratulations. Um, but okay, I was, I was headed towards, let's take a look at what happened with My Little Pony. Um, My Little Pony dropped from Funko on Tuesday. We know it didn't go well. We didn't expect it to go real well. Luckily, Funko diminished the pack count. But we still got a, not the worst burn ever, but a 40% burn. I'm just going to round up. 40% burn. Already 92% of the packs are all opened. There's only uh, 1,375 packs that have not been opened. Um, lots lots of activity, meaning the people who wanted to collect got to collect. Um, and But here's interesting. Only 538 royalty sets completed. We're probably looking at under 1,000 pieces on that uh, Sombra, King Sombra. Uh, and it's down to $41.50 if you want to purchase all of the necessary NFTs common uncommon rare and epic to complete the set i think we were i got in at 38 dollars roughly so look i didn't make out like a bandit or anything uh but if you if you're looking at this and going hey look the nfts are going to turn a corner one day people are funko is going to continue to be a powerhouse as the economy gets better and people have more um income more disposable income they're going to be buying Funko stuff, and they're going to buy the low, the low count stuff. And guess what? I can have a My Little Pony King Sombra under 1,000 pieces, and I can buy that for 41 bucks. Thank you for the follow, Sinat34. How are you now? I just noticed that's another thing on my screen that's all the way over to the side. How are you? Thank you for coming by. I did get the Pack Walking Miracle, and I might open it today. Yeah, I won one of the giveaways from Funko uh, last week. I believe it was the one for holding grails. They picked two winners, and I was one of the two. I believe Pop and Stock also won, so we won two of the ten premium packs that were given away. If you guys ever needed an excuse for diamond hands, they're giving you one now. In other words, buying your NFTs and holding them, not flipping them, turn around and selling them because you see no value in them. Happy Friday, Sinat. How are you? Um, in addition to the pack I won, Funko did a bonus drop today. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, they did a bonus drop today, and it is a banger. I love this NFT. Based on a pop that was given out at Fun Days two years ago. I think it was two, maybe three. Uh, they gave away this Freddy Funko. Uh, does anybody know what you had to be holding to get this? I believe it was a legendary. This was the NFT card, and honestly, it's one of the best they've ever put out. I love this uh, continuous looping effect it's clean you got him flying like astro boy it's so cool uh it was leon from elf okay so what the, what funko does for you guys who don't know because this is a question i get commonly is like wait how do you get these bonus cards 
Funko does this thing where they reward. They don't talk about it, sadly. They never talk about it. They should. They reward fans for holding NFTs. So what they do is they randomly use an RNG or a, big, a random number generator or a big wheel of some sort. It's probably all digital. And they go, pick one of the collections and elf came up and then they're like pick one of the cards from that collection and leon came up and if you are holding leon in your wallet at random they didn't tell anybody hey this is the one to have nobody could rush rush out on the market and buy it up because they didn't know it was going to happen if you had that nft this was airdropped into your wallet randomly uh so if you had leon you got this dropped into your wallet today and if you're real lucky Maybe you got mint number one. If you got mint number one, that could be worth a couple bucks. If you didn't get it, you can still complete your collection by buying it on the secondary market. Uh, it's There are 11 for sale right now on uh, Drop Marketplace. Uh, lowest being $2.45. Or if you come over to Atomic Hub or any of the other wax markets, uh, you can go to Bonus. You can go to uh, Template. Or you just got to go view on market. But there it is right there. 1,566 of these were put out in total, making it one of the lower count pieces. There are a few under 1,000, but uh, you can get it as low as $2.97 over on wax. But if I were you, I don't think I would buy today. I think I'd wait a few days. There is inevitably this race to zero mentality from people that are just in it to flip. Um, but I wonder, since this was a legendary... Does that change things? Did flippers hold any legendary NFTs? Probably not. So maybe the only people that have them up for sale are people that are actual collectors, and maybe we won't see a race to zero. There's 4, 8, 12, no, 13 here, and 11 on drop, so 24 in total for sale. Maybe it doesn't drop in value. I don't know. We'll see. There's a low mint number 73. There's a 94. No mint number one here. Uh, but if you want to collect the bonus Freddies, uh, you can certainly do so. And if you want to see all of them, you can go over to drop, go to the tracker. And on the left hand side, uh, you can scroll down to see one of these blue with the crown in it. Look for bonus. I might be able to share a link with you guys as well. We're looking for bonus. There it is. Bonus digital pop. Uh, I think this will work for everybody. If you want to go take a look at them, maybe bookmark them or, or hold them. Or just look at what you have. I'll put this on YouTube as well. Sadly, Funko is not and Drop are not talking about these. It's a missed opportunity in my opinion because the goal when this was originally created was we want to entice people to hold the NFTs, not turn around and sell them. Or if they do sell them, we want them to have some value, some utility. The utility is hold the NFTs and you might get these bonus drops. This was, uh, Tanner said he got one this time. This is only your second one. Got my Jurassic Park Freddy in the mail today. He's so cool. Been waiting six years. <laughs> nice. I'm glad you got it. Uh, but if you if you want to look at the uh, the bonus ones, I, I think I'm bonus complete. I am. I'm not missing any of the bonus ones. A couple of these I did have to buy in the secondary market. But this was... It looks like we have almost more rares than commons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 16. There are 20 different rares. And there are 19 commons. I don't know if they do anything to sway which card is picked. Or if it's completely random. Because it seems like you would have more commons than anything. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But look at the values on the rares. 95 cents on the low end, up to 14.40 on the high end. $14.40 for this one. There's only seven available for purchase. Uh, that was off of a grail. There were 999 of these sent out. I own three. That was a good, that was a good uh good one for me to have. I could turn around and sell one of these, but I'm probably not gonna. I'm gonna hold. It's a rare as well. Been a lot of common as of late. Yeah, so there you go, Joking Music. I didn't even see that message, and I was kind of looking at that anyway. Uh, it, but if you guys are, are thinking about getting these, uh, remember, you can watch the market, or if you want to come over here, you can go in, uh, you can click on an NFT, and you can make an offer. So if I wanted to, I can say, you know what? Um, I'd be willing to buy this one for... Uh, sadly, they don't. They only do it in wax. 
but let's say I, I'd be willing to buy it for 20, 20 wex, uh, which is, I wish it would tell you right here what the, what the value of 20 wax is. Uh, let's see, it's, wax is currently at like 0.065. 0.0675. 20 times 0.0675. That would be... I can't be... Oh, $1.35. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be willing to buy it for $1.35. I can create this offer. This is on the template. And this goes out in the world, so the next time somebody looks at one of these... I don't know if there were any other offers. I should have looked already. Uh, if you look, If somebody's looking at these on the market... should have that little icon where's the icon saying that there's an offer out there maybe it just hasn't gone in yet oh there we go top active offers i offered a dollar 35 somebody else offered why do people like this even exist what do they think is going to happen they're hoping somebody's going to make a mistake but if somebody had one for sale they can go oh look there's an offer on the table for a dollar 35 i could sell it for a dollar 35 right now i'll take it yeah there's always somebody ready to lowball i don't understand it a dollar thirty-five might be too low, but it's at least an offer that's on the table. Uh, in case somebody wants to get rid of it quickly, they can. Uh, or what could happen is the value could plummet and go down below a dollar thirty-five, and then somebody else could go, "Oh, look, this fool didn't close his buy offer. <laughs> I'll take that." And as soon as they say, "Yes, I'll accept it," then I've already paid for it. Uh, you can go and look at your offers that are existing. Why is mine not showing? Is it under trading? Buy offers, see all offers. Well, I don't know where my offers are, but I have offers out on the table. What's up, Mana Suerte? The question is, how much is a legendary Leon going for? Well, I mean, we don't really have to have a question, do we? Leon, Funko, Pop. Oh, the NFT, not the physical. Yeah, we, we don't have to... There's no debate. Actually, let's do Elf. Template. I mean, at this point, doesn't you could still buy it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you It wouldn't do you any good to hold it to get anything from it. These are out of order again. There we go. Leon was... 72 cents. So a few days ago, you could have scooped this up for pennies and could have netted yourself a $2 pop, but there's no way to know. And there are thousands of NFTs at this point, so there was no way to know what to hold. How many did I get? Only one this time. I only had... It says I have two? I thought I only got one. No. Oh, wait. Did I have some in my inventory? No. I don't have two. If I did, I would have that NFT in there. Or are you saying I had two offers up? Oh, your sent offer. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see that in there. Let me try again. Trading. Buy offers. See all offers. Where do you see two? Oh, sent versus received. Derp, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I have... Uh... Wait a minute. Did that work? Offer. Oh, I offered specifically to one recipient. I offered some money on this one, which I actually want to cancel now. I forgot about making that one a long time ago. I don't care as much anymore about Wombat, so I'm not worried about that. I was looking to do a blend. Same thing on this. Cancel. But, but I made that general offer. You guys just saw it. Where is that offer? Where can I review those offers? Yeah. Buy offers. Yeah, yeah, I, I made a I made a general buy offer on the template, not on an individual. And those two that I just canceled were individual offers. But where are the ones? I thought that would appear under inventory offers. Should appear right here. But I'm not seeing them. I don't know. I don't know what where where I could even look at them. That's weird. Yeah, well, there you go. It's a Tama Cub, so. 
I'll, I'll do the digging later. doesn't matter. I'm fine with that offer. Uh, I'll just leave it out there. I'll, I'll, if I need to, to look, I'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, um, my little pony has gone down. And we talked about the bonus NFT. There it is. If you want the bonus NFTs, you can scoop them up. I, th I think they're just, I want one of every NFT, period. I want one of every NFT Funko's ever made. There's a few I'm never going to get. Uh, for instance... I don't even know about the Space Dancer one. I think we looked this up before on stream. Um, there's one I'm never going to get, for sure. No amount of money is going to get it for me, and that is this uh, Preston Investor Day. None have ever sold. Funko did a really cool thing with Preston Investor where they gave them a redemption card that had to be redeemed with a certain amount of time. Almost no one did it. I think like 12 accounts in total did it, and only a handful of people ever opened packs, and not a one of them has ever put anything up for sale or sold one. I don't think any of us is ever going to have a chance of getting one of these. It could end up being the rarest, most valuable Freddy NFT in existence. I can't find a single person who made one of those wallets, who is active, who would even be willing to sell it. I put an offer out there for it. Doesn't matter. Those people are never... Think about it. A person who doesn't collect NFTs, who got a card, who did the process to, to link it up and collect that NFT for one day, they put it in a wallet, they may never log into that wallet again in their life. They may never one time log into their wallet. They could just be sitting there and literally, somebody might be willing to give them $500 for this one day. But they, unless they remember to go to that wallet, they're never even going to know. Well, Funko Attic Tech, yeah, I, you're right. For those of you who are, are, are wanting me to solve this puzzle, I could solve it that way. But that means I'd have to remember every card I made an, an, an offer on. I need a place for all my offers to show. Uh, and that's this isn't working. Where I need my offers to show here. I need to have a hub where I can see them all. It's broken, in my opinion. Let's go to Funko HQ one day, and we'll find one through process of a limit. I don't think you will. I think these are these are press and investors. So it's either somebody with an outlet, like a news outlet, or it's somebody who invested at a high level in the stock. I doubt it's them. They're not going to mess with the NFTs. I think it's probably all press. They would have to log back into their account. They're not at HQ. They're not at Hollywood. These are people that work for like NBC or the Washington Post or one of these companies, that kind of press. Uh, and they're never going to go back to that wallet. I, I think the odds are so slim. It's so sad uh, because Funko put an expiration date on those cards and said, you got to claim it by X date. Yeah, it's nobody at Funko. I, I will share with you. There is one wallet that has them. What is his wallet name? I follow. It's just Mariotti. And I'd be willing to bet he can't even get into this account anymore because it's probably connected to his address, his email address at Funko. Um, look, I gave him one of my NFTs. <laughs> so did the guys over at uh, Digital Pop Kingdom. Really smart. But look, there they are. There's two of them right there. Mint number 23 uh, and mint number 40. And I have a bid offer, which I think that's the marker that shows up on this one i have an offer out let's see does it show me down here yeah look i have an offer out there don't anybody undercut me if i see one of y'all's wallets undercut me on the 1690 i'm gonna come after you i'm gonna i'm gonna drain your wallet of everything else i gave you i'm kidding uh but fancy pants has two and i don't even think you can get into this account anymore i'd be willing to bet good money it's linked to his brian at funko.com email address which i don't think he has anymore so there's those two are gone forever too isn't that crazy? The things that you can learn from the blockchain. It's a shame uh, that those are trapped forever. Maybe we get real lucky one day and somebody who's like uh, press, who's like, oh yeah, you know what? I did a Funko thing once upon a time. Maybe, maybe there'll be a high Funko NFT sale and that will get them to go, oh, I should go back and check. And they're going to go to their wallet and go, oh crap, I got one of those. Let me see if I can get some money for it. I hope I don't, I hope I don't miss out and somebody puts it up for sale and somebody else snags it before I even see it. If you guys ever see one of those for sale, please let me know. I'd be, I'm not saying I'd be willing to pay anything. That is definitely not the case, but I'd be willing to pay a premium if I had to. All right, uh, speaking of NFTs, I got two boxes that just came in. And by the way, I love the new setup that Funko is using. Look how pristine these boxes are. Between them and the shipping, 
that came from uh, the USPS. Excellent job. Uh, got these awesome boxes, which uh, I've been using the inserts quite a bit and the boxes for reshipping things because they're such high quality. They do have a cool pull tab that you can just rip across there and open these. But honestly, if I want to reuse the box, I can just cut this tape here and the box opens as well. I would rather be able to reuse the box later in case I'm shipping like a box game prize or something. Uh, they open, look at this, open like a big shoe box. The, we talked about this before, the, the delicacy, the time they're taking, the, the attentiveness to the shipping process, they're killing it now. For all those accounts out there that are using their, their um, following to beat up on Funko regularly, especially about the quality of their shipping, they need to shut up. I, I wish they would. They're not gonna, but I wish they'd shut up. Funko listened, Funko and Drop listened, and they did a great job in responding to all that negativity. Waiting on my proto pup still says preparing to ship. Yeah, I still haven't gotten anything on my uh, on my Jurassic Park, but um, I think Tanner said he got his. Yeah, you said earlier. My sexy Freddy gets in today. What what are these? Wait, these are them. I never, I never even got the email. These are my Jurassic Park. Let's go. We all get to look at it together. I know Tanner was excited about the uh, about seeing my uh, mosquito in amber. Look at look. At, here's another thing I learned. This these inserts. Flat, flatten out real nice. They flatten out real nice. I've got a bunch of them. And if you guys, uh, I have these, I think I showed this before, but I ship a lot of stuff in this size box. When I'm shipping out eBay sales or prizes or whatever, I bought these uh, eight by six by sixes. That's the dimensions, eight by six by six off of Amazon. I get like 25 boxes for 20 bucks. So they're pretty cheap. Uh, if you take one of these, and you uh, trim just a little bit off each of the sides, the length long sides, it fits perfectly in that box. Great for shipping. Yeah, walking mirror, exactly. I gotta get some photos out on this one. Uh, but first, let's start off. Oh man, so excited about this. Let's start off with the, the, the uh, royalty. Freddy Funko as sexy Ian Malcolm. Some uh, Digital Pop Kingdom was talking about the location of Freddy in the box that they didn't care for it much. And it does seem to be a bit off. It seems like he should be further down that way. Don't know why they landed on that. Kind of interesting, especially since you have a window on this end and here, but he's closer to the end without the window. Very weird. Uh, great looking box. So I like the sideways boxes, but for some reason it really messes with some people's brains and they deem it as trash because it's sideways. Love the layout on the back there. You get the, the sexy, Freddy along with the the look at the royalty card with the Jurassic Park logo. There's that side window. There's the top. And there's the bottom. Good looking pop. Now let's take a look at what it looks like out of box. I'll get my handy dandy opener. Freddy finds a way. You're dying to see that beautiful grill. Well, today's the day, kids. Maybe I should tweet that. Yeah, you know what? Let me uh let me tweet that real quick before we get too far into this in case anybody wants to come by. Maybe that'll be a numbers booster because these just came in yesterday. It, not, nothing really seems to uh, to get people's attention uh, when it comes to these lives. For some reason, people just don't want to visit the lives. They, they'll watch a YouTube video, which I need to make. We're opening up the Jurassic Park NFT pops on stream right now. Get over here. Hashtag spared no expense. There we go. Okay. Uh, roll that beautiful bean footage. I love those commercials. Uh, so I'm opening up the box. I did use my handy dandy opener, slid it under the side, popped up that corner without any damage whatsoever. Again, if somebody tells you that the uh, value of the pop goes down because you open it, they're a psychopath. Ignore them. Don't have them as your friend anymore. There he is in the in the uh, blister or whatever you call this thing, the insert. It is an odd placement. I'll, I'll give them that. But look at <laughs> sexy Freddy. I personally think this is amazing. These went so cheap. 
These royalty sets were down to nothing. They were like 40, 50 bucks, I think, at one point. I think it's awesome. It's so unique. There's the back. And the bottom. Weird flat parts to that bottom, but you can still see the, band the uh, bandage. I think this is amazing. If I was an out-of-box collector, uh, or, you know what, I might even take one of these out-of-box to set up in the collection. Uh, because, does he fit? Look, he even fit in the box upright. So he'll fit in a slot. If you want to get him out of the box, if you're so concerned with the sideways boxes messing up your collection, you can take them out, and you can set them amongst your pops. The sexy Ian Malcolm was an era for Funko social media. Yeah, it was, man. Yeah, it was. The, the good old days. That is an awesome awesome pop though uh, i definitely need to do a full video on this i think i got three of these if i remember right because i thought it was so cool um tell you what we'll do we'll let's look at all of them and then we'll look at values of them instead of jumping around um i'm gonna take this one straight to a protector put them in empty pop protector to keep them safe on just exactly that's a great a great approach i like that funko attic tech i got some protectors standing by waiting for these beauties I bought a whole bunch of protectors from uh, Sean, Display Geek, which I recommend you guys do as well. Keep them on hand. Uh, if you buy them in bulk, which I bought 80 at a time, they come down to way cheaper. Way, 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 way cheaper. I can start a boy band of sexy Malcolms. I've got the original Freddy, Conan, and a head-swapped Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's a beaut. I think they're awesome. I don't know what people are complaining about. They just have to have something to complain about. That's the that's the long and short of that. They're not happy unless they're complaining. They're not happy unless they're unhappy. That's how that goes. All right, what do we got here? This is another sexy Freddy. We'll set that aside for a moment. Flatten out all my packing materials. I love that. And is this it? This is it. This is it. The moment you've been waiting for. I wonder what this is going to be going for. Still can't believe last day, last chance, seconds left on the buzzer. I open a remaining pack and pull the grail for Mosquito in Amber. There it is. This may be, I don't know if you guys have seen it on social media today, if other people have gotten theirs. I uh, do have a little tiny bit of box damage up there. That's unfortunate, but I'll, I can reach out to Funko. It looks like somebody tried to bite it. Uh, but it's still a very cool pop, and even if they don't replace the box, whatever. I'm still very happy with it. There's the, the back, side. You saw the top had a little bit of damage there. The bottom. But that's not from the packing. That was just from the way that it arrived to them. And now let's take it out of box and take a look. Yeah, the I was really excited to see... That one's fighting me. What the how it came from the rendering to what it looked like in the final production piece. And I told Tanner the other day we were talking about this, like, I can't wait to get like a flashlight or something behind this. Oh, look at, look at, look at. So cool, man. It is, it appears to be hollow with the pop in the middle. It's very light. Yeah, it is. That is one of the coolest pops ever made, hands down. And if in the right display, if we get a light behind it, let's see. Get it up in a in a protector or something and get a, an amber colored light behind it. It's gonna look real pretty. That light's way too big for, for what I'm doing here, but look at that. That's so cool. If you got an amber colored light that's about the size of the mosquito, that is so cool, man. 46 months, Jan! What's happening? Thank you, Jan, for the sub. Just doesn't seem possible. I agree wholeheartedly. It's crazy town. Just got in my Jurassic Park pops, and this one is uh, a vibe. People are people are kind of freaking out about that. I'm anxious to see what it's going for. Don't anybody look and ruin the fun for me. Oh, yeah, give me a cane to put it on. That's a good idea. Um, don't anybody ruin the fun. Don't go look it up and tell me what it's going for. But I am interested to see what do you think this would go for now in the secondary market. I think this was close to a $300 uh, NFT at one point. 
But we'll look at all that. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. It's limited to 999 pieces. 350? 200, says Tanner. 450, says Falconer. I'm, I'm guessing about three, 350. I'm within an adequate mass. I, I kind of feel like it's in that range. But but that was the NFT, right? I think that was in that range. Walking Miracle says $500. Now it's out in the real world, and it's arrived in hand. What about those collectors that hate NFTs and are not going to deal with NFTs? Did they go and go, okay, now I have a chance to pick this one up, secondary market, What am I, and they're willing to pay for it. Were they willing to pay? I don't know. We'll take a look. I'm going to get the rest of them out of box first because I got one more box and then we'll take a look at values. I just want to make sure we protect the baby, protect the egg or the uh, ember. All right, let's see what this other box is. I think I ended up getting one, uh, a mastery set on this one. So one of every character because uh, I really wanted to have the full set. I figured these were so cheap at one point. I picked these up for like $25 a piece or something crazy like that. Oh, that's cool, an adequate mess. That would be very cool. $200 once people race to zero, not right away. Well, we were just looking at Aang earlier, and Aang has crept up to a, what was it, $750? I mean, Avatar is definitely having a moment. It has for a while, but Jurassic Park has spanned three, four generations now. Three, four decades, not generations. Protect the baby, exactly. Let's see what else I wrote. I got Ellie Sadler. I got... I don't know if I got Ian Malcolm, so I may not have been mastery complete. Let's see. There's another Sexy Freddy. I ended up with three of them. I thought I did. And we got... You think it's an outlier? I mean, it does show what's possible, right? It may be an outlier, but it's, it does speak to what's possible. Uh, here's Ellie Sadler. The Jurassic Park mom? No, this is the daughter. Or is this the mom? The doctor. No, it's the mom. Dr. Ellie Sadler in the raincoat holding the flashlight. Uh, no box damage on the top of this one. There's what the side looks like. There's what the back looks like. Top. Top is clean on that one. Hopefully they have a replacement box for my grail. I really would like to have that one minty. These are the glossy boxes, by the way. Yeah, that side does not want to open, and I sure don't want to tear the boxes. Was she a mom? Oh, that's a good point. She wasn't the mom. She was just the, the, the love interest, but she was of the mom age to the kids that were in the movie. You're right, Falconer. Whoa. She looks good. This is a really nice mold on this. Got the raincoat on. Does it have the official? It's got the Jurassic Park here on the front. She's holding the flashlight with the big battery. She was a mom in part three. There you go. So I wasn't wrong, but it was by accident. Okay, good, Funko Attic Tech. I'm glad to hear it. I know our friend Allie is waiting to hear back about a replacement box on her Pink Ranger. Did you ever hear back, Allie? Oh, there you go. Drop finally got back to me, and they're sending me a Kimberly box replacement. Yay, Allie! Now let's, guys, if we have those wins, we should certainly share them and let the world know that Funko is doing what they said they would do. I'm, I'm impressed. Good job. Oh, well, semantics at this point. Who, I don't care which movie she was a mom in, but I can't remember those details anymore. Uh, and then we've got Dr. Alan Grant. So I never did get Ian Malcolm uh, to complete the mastery set, but that's okay. Uh, Dr. Alan Grant, he's holding the little baby velociraptor. Was it a Velociraptor that he was holding? I think it was. Yeah, looks like it. There's the back. Top on this one looks good, too. Uh, Tech uh, and uh, Ali, what method did y'all reach out to customer service? Was it via email? Did you go get the email off the website and reach out? Or how did, how did you contact them? Ali, not too late. We're going to look at prices here in just a minute. You might be able to scoop her up at a good price. There's Dr. Alan Grant holding the little baby Velociraptor. He's got on his little... White gloves. I definitely need to do a video showing these off because I think people really want to see that egg or that uh, mosquito and amber. Support at Funko.com? Okay. Oh, a response to the shipping email. Okay. You, which I didn't see for my Jurassic Park. I did not get that email. So interesting. 
Because I was just looking at it the other day when I was talking with Tanner during a video game. During a, a Fortnite session. Support it. Drop. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Connor. Connor gets it. Leave off the dot com and those, those links go through. Okay. Just going to put this one here. Let's look at values then. We'll work our way up to Mosquito and Amber. We'll start with uh, Alan Grant here. Okay, uh, let's go and let's look Dr. Alan Grant. So we'll go to Jurassic Park. By the way, um, was the drop marketplace open for Jurassic Park? I can't remember. So there may have been other values out there, but we're going to use uh, Tama Cub. Uh, if we look at uh, Dr. Alan Grant Legendary... Well, where is... Uh, let's just do this. Alan. There we go. Legendary Dr. Alan Grant. Okay, so when the NFTs came out, when the packs were first cracked, started at 40, peaked at 46, and then took a pretty steady decline, hitting a low of $19. I can't remember how, when I bought at. Uh, I think it was in the 20s. But I'd say this average was a $30 pop during the NFT stage. Then we got the coin. Yeah, $19 on that was an absolute steal. And those, I, when I see stuff hit $19, $20, bucks, I usually buy one, if not a couple. Uh, because I, I think that is always going to go up. Um, not always, but I, I feel like you're going to win most of the time. Okay, so it never dipped as low as $30 in the coin stage. That's really good. Uh, got up to... Fifty-seven, fifty-eight dollars Very nice. Yeah, I don't think Harry Potter is going to dip. Did you Funko Level 30? Okay. So it got up to $59. Now let's see where this is sitting at now that they've reached the tertiary market, eBay. Uh, so we'll look up Alan Grant. Um, dino. Baby Dino. Let's just see if that brings it up. $60, one sold for today, $55, $65, $65, $70. Wow, okay, it's early days still, and these usually do drop after, but that's a good sign. That means this pop was a $20 pop once upon a time and has now increased all the way to 70 bucks in the tertiary market. That's fantastic. And did we have a burn on... I don't think we did on Jurassic Park. Uh, no, we must have. We must have. 1,900 in total were first available. Only 1,425 coins were sent out. So that's how many came out of packs. But only 1,381 were shipped. So there were still another 44 coins that were never redeemed. So this is LE, basically 1,400 in the world of Dr. Alan Grant. All right, next we got... Um Ellie Sadler. Let's look up Ellie Sadler. What was she? And we'll keep an eye on these numbers, too. Oh, crap. I need... Wrong place. Sadler. What? Ellie? Weird. Okay. Legendary. Oh, it's Sattler. S-A-T-T. -T. That's why it didn't come up. Um, originally 1,900 of these, and in the NFT stage, before it went to coins, started at 30 and dipped all the way down to $15.46. That's what you would pay for a uh, pop at a con with no shipping. That's when they hand it to you. And you had to pay to go to the con. So this is cheaper than a con exclusive. That's ridiculous. Four people. Got it for an average of $15.46 on that day. That's just stupid low. Stupid, stupid low. Uh, and the coin... So let's say that was an average of 20 bucks, roundabouts. Coin started at 22 dipped to 17 and went to a high of 28 These seemed to go higher towards the end. Not jealous at all. Got up to $27. Uh, I'm guessing it's maybe a $40 pop at most now, but I hope I'm wrong.
best prices except that, whoa, $65 for one of them. Bunch of uh, best offers were accepted, so we can't count that. I'm looking up some different uh, formats, different words. $65. Wow. Wait. Didn't I get a T-Rex? I wonder if I have another box coming. I gotta, I gotta look. I thought for sure I got a T-Rex. Where is that? Interestingly enough, somebody's delivering something right now, but I know it's not that. Uh, go to activity. Let me look up Jurassic. I'm gonna be really surprised if I didn't get the four and four. I only received three and three, so I still have two more coming. Huh? Got all those. Yeah, I should have. That's weird. Uh oh. I should have had boxes of four and four. Instead, I had boxes of three and three. So I didn't receive my T Rex, and I did get Dr. Ian Malcolm. I didn't get him either. So I wonder if maybe I'll have to check my emails. Maybe they're coming in a separate box. Let's let's check email real quick. Oops, I don't want that. Uh on the screen necessarily let's check um drop see if i got anything from them i never even received last thing i received from drop was pops were delivered on the 6th i never got my emails from them about this that's really strange so i hope they arrive soon but according to this ellie sadler 65 and then a few sold for under 60 so i'm guessing this is about a 50 buck 50 dollar pot yeah shepherd i did get the grill we're gonna i'll look at it i'll show it again on screen in just a minute um but we got it out of box and it looks great in case you want to see it out of box you can go back i am going to do a video on these for sure because i think people are going to want to see them um i might i might do a quick close-up video of just the mosquito and amber here uh tomorrow or sunday before I do the whole unboxing video. Let me get Ellie in her box. Drop says it shipped out my legendary gunslinger from Funkoween, but Grail is still preparing, so heads up, incoming. I really am impressed by how quickly they're getting some of these shipments out. I think that's gonna help the NFT sales. One of the big complaints is people don't like waiting. You know, people are very impatient in general. Uh, and now if they shorten the time to get the pops, that could certainly help. Yeah, I got, I got one, Shepard. Uh, so we got, we got Dr. Alan Grant. We got Dr. Ellie Sadler. Let's look at the royalty now. I got three of these. I got Freddy, sexy Freddy Funko. Uh, these were, I was picking these up cheap once upon a time. I think I paid like 50 or 60 bucks to scoop these. Uh, it was kind of ridiculous. Uh, this is a royalty set. We can't, so we can't look at what they were at a pack, but we can use Pop and Stock's website to go back and see where the low point on this was. Uh, so if we go to more options over here on the right, and we go to Jurassic Park. Takes a second to reload. There we go. 24% burn, by the way, on that, on these. So much lower than originally anticipated. Oh, redemption summary. There we go. I love this. Mosquito and Amber, there's really only 750 in the world. 740 in the world because of the burn. Uh, Ian Malcolm is only 1325, Dr. Alan Grant 1381, Ellie Sadler 1414, Dr. Ian Malcolm 1432, and the T-Rex the with Banner, the exact same number, 1432. All these are pretty low counts for uh, a fandom as big as Jurassic Park. And if we look at the history, it peaked at $99 and got all the way down to 4566, which I'm pretty sure it was when it hit this low that I decided to do the third one. I'd be willing to bet I spent maybe around 50 bucks per. So on average, this royalty set was probably around 60 bucks, maybe 65 if we averaged out this entire uh, life of the first 120 days. About a, about a $65 uh, pop. Once the coin came out, Freddy as Ian Malcolm. Once the coin came out, however, did it hold the 65? It dropped a little, came down to 60, then picked up, and then at the end definitely was picked up, got up to $75. I would say on average this was a 
Still about a $65 pop in the coin stage. Now, let's see where it is now. Uh, we got Freddy, Funko, Malcolm. I think that's enough. Whoa! One sold for $145 today. Or yesterday. We also had 100, 100, 110. Woof. Somebody gave it up on an auction back on April 16th. That was, they're foolish. Don't do auctions if you're selling. Uh, let's see what they're going, what people are asking for them now. What's the lowest? 110, 130, 145, 150. This is a win, man. If I picked these up for an average of $50 a piece, I tripled, almost tripled my money. At least two and a half. 2.5x. That's, that's a win. This, this could signal a change for things, guys. I need to probably pop one of these up for sale right away. This, this could signal a change. Things are getting better for the tertiary market on the NFTs. I love, I love to see it. Uh, now, finally, the baby. The baby is here. The mosquito and amber, the grail. What did we just look at? 730 or 740 pieces in the world. That sticker can be ignored. That 999 is not accurate. It should say 7... Was it 39 or 49? 739, according to uh, both... They'll say it on the coin as well. 739 was how many were delivered. So let's go and take a little, do a little research on what the value of this thing has been. Uh, we've got... First, we had the Grail NFT, which I pulled on the final day at the buzzer. The value on this bad boy started at 210 dipped all the way down to a hundred dollars at one point you could buy this for a hundred dollars stupid low uh and then ended up at 187 i would say we're looking at an average value of let's just call it 175 if we drew a line and averaged all that out it's about 175 that was during the nft stage we didn't know how many we were going to end up with then we found out that a good chunk of them nobody got uh, mosquito and amber. 748 coins were sent out, only 739 redeemed, meaning there are nine coins that were never redeemed, making this one of the rarest coins out there for sure. Uh, and if we come down and look at the price, started at 240, got back to 240. I'd say on average it was a $240 pop during the coin stage, but guess what? Only one. Two. Each one of these only had one sale. One, two, three, four, five, six, only seven, eight sales the entire time it was in the coin stage. That's it. That's not a lot of data. But still, $240 pop. Now, what were our guesses? I said $350. We had ranges anywhere from $200 from Tanner up to $500. Let's see what, what it's going for now. According to the old eBay. The value of something is what people are willing to... Somebody is willing to pay for it. This is the best way to know what somebody was willing to pay for it. These are asking prices, not selling prices. Let's go to sold and see what they sold for. 270 Only three have sold. This one was 270 This one was best offer under 300 We don't know exactly what that number is. This is 285 under 285 So really the value at this point is $269. And if we come over here, it looks like there's an auction on this one going. There's still a day and five hours left. Auctions are your best bet. If you want to buy one of these, you can probably get it cheaper at an auction. Just do your research before you bid. Uh, also an auction. Buy it now. $299, $290, $299, $300, $350, $300, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350, $350
Not necessarily in that order. It could just be anywhere in the title. Mosquito and Amber, and then either the word Pop or the word Funko. If you do it that way, this has eight results, right? Let's see what happens if I hit enter now. Do I get more? No, same number. But that means what I'm trying to do is, is I always start with as few words as possible. I could take the N out. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but let's see if it does. You want to go with as few words as possible if you want more data. Putting in Funko and Pop in a normal way where you put both words, not in parentheses, is probably going to limit you a little bit. People don't always put both. Um, but putting it the way I did, either Pop or Funko, you'll get more returns. And I want all the data. I want to see as many possible returns as possible because you never know when there's a weird outlier. Yeah, always start with less words. Always start with less words. You can always, here's another cool trick uh, when you're looking up something like, let's just go um, Ian Malcolm Pop, right? We know for a sure there's a bunch of these other outliers that in the case of this, we don't want to see, right? Instead of me refining the words by adding more search terms, you can also do minus so show me the same results, but don't show me anything that has the word Conan in it. Don't show me anything that has 202 in it. Don't show me anything that has 1213. I'm looking at these other ones. There's the Conan pop. There's a, uh, there's the, um, actually I do want 202. I don't want Freddy. I want just Ian Malcolm. Don't show me Freddy. By doing this, it will take the results and then remove those other ones out. I also don't want to see... Uh, world. I don't want anything from Jurassic World. I also don't want anything Target. It's another way to refine your search if you're getting too many returns. So see, now I've got NFT Ian Malcolm, NFT Ian Malcolm. I could go even further. Somehow they did not put Target in the title of this one. It just helps you to diminish your returns in a different way. I find it very, very helpful. Yo, Ben B. Happy Friday, Sully Squad! So... $250 to $300 pop as of right now, it would be very interesting to see what the future of this pop holds. Because again, as I talk about all the time, there's a story. There's a story here. That story is what should be on that sticker. Funko's not going to change it. I'm not bad-mouthing the company. It's a decision they made for whatever reason. In the community, people need to know there's only 740 of these in the world. Does that change anything? In fact, was it in anybody's eBay listing? Let's look. Uh, mosquito, Amber, Pop. Let's go back to those results. Did anybody put in there? This one says 999999999999999999999. Nobody is putting in those listings that this one's actually more rare than that. Let's see if the sold ones had it. Nobody did it. The story's not getting told. It's not getting told. Let's see about this one. Did they put it in the description somewhere? 999. Oh, here we go. 739 were redeemed. That's important. That is very, very important. The average consumer who's not deep into the NFTs, because even we're deep, we're in real deep. The average person does not know how to do the NFTs. They don't know what's up with the NFTs. And when they look, the only story they get is that's a that's a limited 999 pieces. You should, Shepard. You absolutely should. But it's confusing to people. And you have a limited amount of space. If it's me, I put in there LE739. And then in the description, I explain what that means. But a lot of these people that are just turning around selling as quick as they can, they're not in it for the long haul. They want to get their money right now. And it takes time to explain and go through these things. So they're they're just like, you know what? Just get it up there and sell it. Just get it up there and sell it. I want money right now. They're not worried about it. I think if you want to get your best return and you want to you want to we want to see NFTs succeed, we need to be telling that story. But you know, what do I know? What do I know? <laughs> Ben's BDJ. A man walks in on his wife cheating on him with a, her personal trainer. The man says, clearly, this isn't working out. <laughs> it is not working out. That is correct. <laughs> That's great. All right, gang. That was, hey, I'm pretty happy. I, I want to see my Ian Malcolm and my, um, and my dinosaur with the banner arrive so that I'm complete. 
and I'm going to reach out to Funko and see about getting my box replacement for sure. But I'm very happy. We're all in. I'd love to know how much I spent on Jurassic Park exactly. My guess is, I don't remember how many packs I bought on day one. Can I look and see how many I opened? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to filter. Let's see. If I go back over here to activity, what kind of features do we have in activity? Can we see? There's purchases of individual items, but you can't see purchases of packs or how many packs were opened. Somewhere on the blockchain, we have that information. I want to say I opened probably six packs of Jurassic Park. So let's call that $180. Plus, to complete royalties, I'm going to just ballpark it. I probably spent $30, $69. I think I spent $270 in total. Of, the, of all those, this is already got me my money back. That last pack, day opening. Uh, to answer your question, Shepard, the top of the box, I'm not going to take it out of the protector. It's got a few nicks on there that look like, literally like somebody tried to bite it. Uh, so I'm going to see if they'll replace the box. Both Tech and Allie told me that they've recently reached out to Funko uh, Drop and gotten replacement boxes in. So I'm going to reach out and ask um, while I can, while, uh, while the iron's hot and they may still have some. Yeah. They, they, they said that they're they're working this year to do better shipping, which they have done. Check. They said they're working to improve their customer service with the uh, customers, uh, specifically to drop in, in the NFTs. They have done that. Check. Uh, they said they were going to offer pop protectors in the shipping. We haven't seen it yet. Um, but there, and there's some negative Nancy's that are out there. We'll see if they ever do. I, I think they will. And I'm excited to see that day happen. Uh, you know what they didn't say that people are, are, are implying? I've seen, I've heard people say it, and I knew this was going to happen. They're like, well, Funko said they're going to start shipping in pop stackers. They never said that. They never said that. Oh, that's right, Parrot. Let's go look. Pop and Stock tells you how many packs you've opened. I forgot that he did that for one of the giveaway things. Let's see. More options. Packs opened counter. Thank you. Good call. Good call, Parrot. Well done. Uh, on the right-hand side, more options. Packs opened counter. Uh, for uh, It won't be under YRGB. It'll be under Sully.DP. All collections? Does it tell me per? There we go. Perfect. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Did I skip past it? What order are these in? There it is. Seven premiums. Okay, I was close. I said six. It was seven. Seven premiums I opened. Uh, so up my total from what I say, 270, $300. I spent $300 on Jurassic Park and I got roughly the Freddy's are 125 a piece. That's 375. Let's call the Mosquito and Amber 275. That's 650. Uh, 750. I'm approaching 850, $900 in total value. That's a good return. That's a real good return if I did 3x my money as of right now. Could go up, could go down. Uh, these are Collector Protector. Highly recommend these. Uh, you can see on the bottom there, that stamp is Collector Protector. This is what Display Geek sells. If you go to uh, actually type in exclamation point Display Geek in Twitch, that'll bring up the link. Use code Sully at checkout for a discount. I think I got these for under a dollar a piece or right at a dollar a piece delivered uh, when I bought 80. Uh, highly recommend the Collector Protector ones. They don't have the stupid tabs, uh, so they're easy to open and close. Really tight, uh, good scoring with good corners. Uh, I trust it to drop these things, and my pop is still in good condition. I don't even I don't even hesitate at that. I know it's going to be fine. These are great protectors. I highly, highly recommend. There you go, Connor. Yeah, I would say use those for sure. Let's actually look at the website real quick. Oh, does that come... That comes with automatically takes you to with my name in there reference sully uh so i get he can see how much traffic i'm sending his way but i believe the i believe the code sully gets you a decent discount at checkout like five or ten percent too um we'll go with the it's the standard four inch pop protector it's this one right here i buy by 80 at a time 
You get them for $87.99 with free shipping. So they're just a little over a dollar. But if we add to cart and then use uh, the checkout uh, discount code Sully, that knocks $8.80 off, bringing the total down delivered to $79.19. That means each one of those protectors is under a dollar when you buy 80. If you buy less, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I recommend going in with some friends or saving up and then buying the 80. You're gonna use them. You and or your friends combined are going to use them. You might as well get the, that discount, uh, which is gonna save you in the long run. That's the way to go. So all in all, Jurassic Park was very successful for me. It was not looking that way early on. It definitely picked up. I would love to know. I wish there was a utility that would tell me what I spent on each collection versus what it's worth now. But that would be very difficult to pull together into one tool. Uh, every once in a while, I could do this where I go look, though. Uh, I think all in all, Jurassic Park was a was a big win. Almost 3 x my money. Now, my best win overall was Turtles, hands down. I think I made like two grand in value on Turtles alone. Which, by the way, you guys want to see something cool? Speaking of value... I've been listing some of my older pops for sale because I need some money and, you know, there's a lot of value in them. And just this week, I listed uh, some some very valuable pieces. Uh, but one, where is it? There it is. I thought this pop was pretty valuable, but I had no idea how valuable. Uh, this is from one of my very first fun days. Was it my first? Yeah, my first fun days. Freddy Funko as Raphael turtle from TMNT LE 300 pieces. I thought this was maybe like a 1500 to $2,000 pop. The lowest ones on eBay. There's one outlier that somebody's only asking like 3,500, but the others are 6,500 and up. Couldn't believe it. So if you've been looking for, this is one of the firest, fieriest of fire pops of all time. I've got it up for sale on eBay. Uh, in case you're looking, in case you're shopping. I was stoked to find out how much that was worth. I did not, did not think it was that high. There you go. There's my URL. Oh, it just come up uh, in case anybody's looking. Uh, and if you see anything on there that you're, I got a lot more stuff than this. I've got like 60 something items listed, I think. If you see anything on there that you want, uh, please reach out to me like on Twitter or something and let me know. And we can always negotiate off of eBay. Just don't do that in the messages on eBay. They have strict uh, policies against that. But if you guys see something you want, we could we can make a deal and bring down that price a little bit. So I save on the fees, and so do you, you save on the value of the pop, or the cost of the pop. All right, it is uh, 4 o'clock. What else do we need to go over? We took a look at the state of everything from Funko. We looked at the new horror reveal from Funko. We cracked open the boxes of the Jurassic Park stuff. I feel like we did the main items on my list. We will play the box game sometime between 5.30 and 6 o'clock, assuming Kelly gets off um, at uh, the time she thinks she will. Uh, Shepard says, sure, let me get $6,500 out of my wallet. Opens empty wallet. In all honesty, it's crazy how expensive pops can get. I agree, 100%. I never thought in a million years they'd get to these values. Uh, but hey, guess what? Here we are. And if I can sell them, I sure am. But I'm talking about other stuff. I got things ranging from like 40, 50 bucks up to that. They're not all super, super uh, crazy expensive. So yeah, take a look. Gaming was the only thing left. Thank you. I think that's what we'll do then. I do want to get some, uh, unless anybody else has any other questions or things that we want to talk about. Uh, Misty said, do you want the possible picks from the horror drop from Nadu? Oh yeah, Nadu sent them. I, I was looking before and I didn't see him. I still don't, Nadu. I don't ever. I don't see a DM on Twitter. Last thing I got from you was on April fifteenth. Um, if it's a leak, then no. Where Where are the picks from? Are they on a on a credible website? Uh, I'm gonna open this separately and look at it. It's from ComingSoon.net. Pretty credible website. Credit to Funko. I think this t -t 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 is probably an exclusive reveal that Funko gave them. Uh, 
Wait, is there more than one? Oh, one of 17 images. Yeah, the, these are okay. These are uh, Funko sent these to uh, to their team to show off, just like they did with that article for the Star Wars stuff. You can tell by the style of the rendering. This is not. Come on, I'm trying to get it over where I can show you guys, but it's me. Come on, go up into the other. There we go. Okay. Yo, what's up, Captain Saudi? How you doing? So here's the glow in the dark, Freddy. Uh, Father Karras. I love that the crown glows. I think that's so cool. Again, not a big horror fan, uh, especially when it comes to anything religion based. I'm not. I don't. I don't vibe with that so well. Uh, but uh, I love this pop uh, from the design perspective. That's really cool. The coins and the eyes on this one, spectacular art. Really well done. The rest of the stuff looks like things we've seen from uh, the official website. But th these these types of renderings, uh, they work directly with Coming Soon to give them this so that Coming Soon has kind of an exclusive on what they're showing. If I could just get it to go to the next image. I don't know why this is choking on this. Ugh. I'll refresh. Yeah, isn't that cool, Randy? I, I think that's a nice touch on that one. Right, Walking Miracle? Isn't it funny that that could be... A glowing crown could be enough to entice people to to give that a chance. Like, it's... We've always said they need to make the stuff that comes from the NFTs a premium offering. We didn't mean deluxe, clearly, uh, but premium. And glow in the dark and things like this. Those coins should be high in metallic. Uh, the gro glowing uh, lantern, so cool. Every one of those touches costs Funko a little bit more money in the manufacturing portion of it all. But I think they get it back tenfold in the excitement, the secondary market, etc. I actually want to read uh, this article. Let's, I'm just looking through. Oh, there you go. There's the lantern glow. Sick. That's so cool. Mana Suerte. Yeah, I just opened mine up and valued them. Uh, glad to see. I don't know if you were there for that part, Mana Suerte, but that was uh, at one point you could get that royalty set completed for as low as under 50 bucks. And going rate on eBay right now for these is $125. I looked again. Proto's crown eyes and tag should glow. Well, again, you're probably right. But you said you looked again. Are you just looking at the rendering and making your own assessment? Or did you see a different image than the rest of us saw? Uh, the should part is throwing me. You hope is one thing. Or I saw another rendering shared on another site shows that they glow and proves it. That also is is better information. Yeah, these should be a premium offering, and I think they're doing some nice touches, like the uh, for My Little Pony the the um, sombra that was metallic and glow. I think that's really cool. We have not seen this style rendering for the My Little Pony stuff, and honestly, I don't think it's going to move the needle much much because it's My Little Pony, but still would be cool to know in advance all right um let me let me take a moment to talk about safety i got a message from somebody uh that uh this happened to and th this is in no way to that person i'm not going to out anybody i might have said something earlier but i still don't want to say it again this is in no way to say anybody is stupid or made dumb mistakes but remember in collecting these nfts people there are there are nefarious people out there always trying to get you they're looking for any angle they can they can leverage to try and trick you into giving them access to your wallet. And it can come in a lot of forms. But here's a few things you guys can do to please be very careful. Funko Addict Tech gave me permission to talk about him before. It, it absolutely happened to him, and he learned a valuable lesson. One, if you're logging into Drop, hands down, make sure you've got two-factor authentication on your account. If you don't already, get over to Drop. Up in your uh, account, account, two-step verification. Go do it right now. Enable that. Follow the instructions. Have it either text you or use the Authenticator app. That's what I do. I have the Authenticator app on my phone. I, each time I go to log in or make a transfer on my account, I have to go into the Authenticator app and type in a six-digit code. Does it take extra time and seem annoying? Yes. Will it keep you from getting your stuff stolen from you? Yes. 
So do that. Don't take a chance. Do not take a chance. Do the same thing for your bank. Do the same thing for anything that has any of your personal information. Even if it's not a bank or, or an NFT or has that kind of value, your personal information has value. Put the two-factor authentication on and just gut it up and deal with the fact that you have to waste precious seconds of your life to type in a six-digit code. And take that a step further, make sure that you have backups. If you go to transfer, let's say your phone is stolen, or you go to transfer to a new phone, one of the things that gets forgotten is people forget the two-factor authentication uh, apps and codes that they need in case they ever can't get back into their phone. There are some backup codes that you can write down uh, in if you need to get back into your account, or Google does have a login process to get your authenticator stuff uh, over to a new phone. Get yourself something like this book right here. We'll drop turn on two-factor authentication for you. Mine got turned on without me asking for it. Uh, no, they should not. They should not turn it on without your permission. Uh, if someone else got into your account, if they got your information and then turned it on, that could be a way to keep you out. Yeah, uh, make sure if, it, if they turned it on, I don't know how they would turn it on without your permission. They never should. Be very careful. Take a book like this. Actually, take your time to sit and write out your recovery phrases. And, your, and Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I have only filled out this book partially. I've got this stack of Post-its. <laughs> but at least they're written down, and I have them until I get them transferred into this book. This book is important because it is not only... Um, it's small enough I can put it in a safe. I don't have it in one. I should. Uh, but the pages are stone paper, and when you write... Uh, even if it's caught in what if it gets uh, put in water like a flood or whatever it won't it won't get rid of all your information you can still read it short of a fire this is a pretty good thing to have uh, having this in a um, safe or a, a some sort of protective uh, PO box or something very important do that uh, for anything this is a, the next key uh learning anything that somebody sends you that says you won or click this to get this incredible value whatever especially on discord somebody here before wanted me to fight me on this it's not just discord that is true it's everywhere but discord is where this stuff happens the majority of the time that i've heard the problems do not click on links do not click on links. If somebody told you you won and you don't remember entering, it's a scam. If somebody tells you you won something of great value and you don't remember ever hearing about it before, it's a scam. Do not do that. Do not click on links. They are trying to get you. Once you click on a link and log in with your wax, you might as well have just handed over the keys and walked away. You're not getting your stuff back. Be very, very, very careful. Assume malintent from everyone. It's a, it's a crappy way to live when it comes to this stuff, but you have to. Ever since Woofy hit, scammers have been hitting heavy. Please be careful and highly recommend a $2 Anchor Wallet with two-factor authentication. Yep, Anchor Wallet is a great way to go as well. Um, they have two-factor authentication similar to what I was showing for Drop. It's a great op great way to protect yourself. Two-factor authenticate all your social accounts. Those are one of your easiest to get hacked. Uh, yep, make sure you do that. There was a recent leak of login information from Twitter. I've turned on two-factor authentication for mine. Make sure you do yours. Discord's gotten better since people need to have unique usernames now, plus you can set your settings to, so people in random servers can't message you. Yes and no. People still pick unique names that look really similar to a full-on company or another individual. They'll even change their avatar to make it look like they're coming from. Like, I just got one the other day. There was a Woofy one. Woofy IO, but it ain't the official Woofy. They faked it and it was like I zero or something. Like they they find ways to try and trick you. Don't don't fall for it. And again, I'm not bad mouthing anybody that's gotten tricked. I just don't want to see it happen to anybody else. Assume malintent. If it's not coming from an account that you know already and have had a lot of interactions with, assume they're trying to trick you and take the opportunity to go. I'm not clicking on that link. I'm gonna go another route. And if I did win this thing or there is an opportunity here. I'll find another way, but a weird DM on Discord? No, thank you. I'm not falling for that. I know that's what got Jungle Bry, and I can't remember, but I, if Tech ever knew what got him, uh, that might have been the same situation. Just assume malintent. I, I don't want to do that in real life, but uh, in in the 
NFT world, absolutely. Monster Pete, I missed your message earlier. I want the Boba Fett OG on eBay. Uh, well, I want money. So, you know, if you really, really want that, message me. We'll we'll figure it out. Uh, if I see a DM from someone named Sully on Discord, you already know it's a scam without even looking into it. That's accurate. Creators are going to airdrop prizes, not send you a link. Also correct. Yep. Good good call, Pop Paragon. Don't fall for a banana in the tailpipe. I don't want to see anybody else get their stuff stolen. And I'm sorry to everybody that it has happened. Uh, all we can do is try to help one another. Every day there's a new Discord DM scam, a new Discord hack. Yep. I mean, look, you guys know I'm not a fan of Discord, and that's just one more reason. Just one more reason. I don't enter contests where I don't know or trust the person or company running the contest. Exactly. Oh, okay, Mindy, Mindy's fessing up. Uh, again, I wasn't trying to talk bad about you, Misty or Mindy. Just, just putting it out there. Uh, the only thing I can think of is I didn't have two-factor authentication on. It, that's very possible. So they might have uh, one. Okay, here's another thing that happens. If you are the type of person, and I have been there before, I don't do it anymore, but I used to. So I understand if you do it, I'm not bad mouthing you. You go to set up an account on a new website. You pick a username, usually something very simple that you can remember, and then you go to the password part. You have to make a, a secure password, and you go, hmm, I'm not going to remember the password for this website. I'm just going to make it the same as I have on all the other websites. Don't do that. You're setting yourself up for failure, because what happens is one website gets hacked. All that stuff, all that data gets put out on the web, and then somebody takes and uses a bot or a program or whatever, and they take that username and password leaked from another site, like it could be from freaking Cheetos.com. I don't know why I went to that. They could take your username and password and then try it on every other website that they can. Your banking, your Netflix account, your Drop account, everything. If you use the same password across a bunch of websites, you are setting yourself up for disaster. Don't do that. Don't do that. Use a unique password on every website. It is a suck process. But if you have something like this and you write it down in there, uh, you have it to reference. If you if you trust it, you can use the, um, when you go on using a Mac or an iPad or your iPhone on a new website, it'll, it'll provide you with a secure password. They're like crazy. It's like 32 characters, letters, numbers, all kinds of stuff. You don't even want to write that down. Apple will create it for you, and then you can use your, you can hold the phone up and use your face scan to get into those accounts. And they'll allow you to save the password across all your other Apple devices where you can then use your iPad, your MacBook, all that. I don't trust that personally, because if somebody gets into one of your devices, then they could get into everything. If somebody founds a way to, to eventually um, hack or get into Apple servers and they can see all the passwords, that's another area they can get in. I don't, I don't personally like that. I would much rather create a unique password for each site, write it down. People can't hack a book like this. They'd have to get into your home and steal it. Uh, we don't want that, but that's a lot more secure than using the same password across a lot of websites. So don't do that. And if you have the same password a bunch across a bunch of websites, then start today. And every time you go to a website that you log into normally, take a couple of minutes to go up and change your password. Find yourself a system so you're not using the same password on every website. Don't do it. I'm really sorry that happened to you, Mindy. It sucks. I, I wish we had talked about it more and maybe we had gotten through to you on however they got to you. I wish we had known what to tell you to prevent it, but here we are. Yeah, that Mac Duck, first of all, love you, miss you, hope you're doing well. Uh, that's not a good one. That's not a good one. <laughs> now, if you want to do like three, 32 exclamation point password exclamation point 23 uh, asterisk asterisk, do it. I know, Mindy, that hurts. That hurts. And no doubt, Mindy sent me a message since she said something and said that person got in. They've stolen millions of dollars from other people as well. I, You know what? And even if, because this is the blockchain, because this is uh, set up the way it is, there's no governing body. You don't have anybody to complain to. We, we, we just have ourselves to man and take care of. The blockchain offers this uh, service which comes with great risk. We just have to be careful. 
Uh, and unfortunately, in, in whatever, I don't know exactly, you'll probably never be able to pinpoint exactly what happened. Uh, but those steps that I just outlined can protect you, not only here with your NFTs, but in all aspects of life. Use two-factor authentication. Don't use the same password across a bunch of websites. Never do that. Uh, and definitely don't click on any links from anyone if it seems too good to be true. You had someone try? Oh, to track them down? Yeah, it won't matter. Even if they can find the wallet, uh, 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 figuring out who the person is that owns that wallet is trick one. And then trick two is what can you actually do about it? Nothing, probably. They're, they're, you're probably never going to get their home address and be able to file a police report. And I, I don't think it would do anything. Yeah, now if you do get a link, like whenever I get emails from... Today I got one from my 401k that I had with a company years ago. This is what you do. I saw the email come in. I'm like, oh, you know, I haven't logged in in a while. Instead of clicking on the link in the email, I went over to a separate tab. I typed in the URL that I know to be true and went to that website and then logged in. It took me three extra seconds. Don't do not do that. Yeah, knowing the wallet is, I don't know, doesn't really do anything for you. Doesn't really do anything for you. It's, there's nothing that can happen. Nothing that can be done. Can you print out for drop? Uh, Monster Pete, can you rephrase that another way? I don't I don't quite understand the question. Sorry. Uh, maybe one day you can do a live look into Anchor. It's worth the trouble of getting one. Um, yeah, absolutely. If you guys want to do it, look, there's probably 100 videos on YouTube on how to use an Anchor wallet. I could rehash it for you, but take the time to go investigate. I have an Anchor wallet for one of my accounts. Yeah, don't click on links and email or text unless, look, like every once in a while I do. And, and I do it because I look at the URL and I go to the at, the, the part at the end, the whatever.com. And if it's like, if I know it's a link to Twitch and I look and it's twitch.tv slash whatever, whatever, I'm fine. I know, I look carefully before I clicked. But I shouldn't even do that, to be honest. I should go out and type it in myself. Uh, Uga, I did actually, just in the last two weeks, sell two packs of Harry Potter at $105 and $110. Uh, what are they going for now? I probably gave up on some money there. Everything is uh, acting weird on my end. Stuff's freezing up. I don't know if it's looking crazy for you guys. Everything is freezing. What is what is happening here? What can I close? Something's hogging up the resources. Come on. Let me close drop. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Whole computer's trying to freeze completely. And I'm sure it's uh, Chrome or OBS. Windows installer worker. What the heck, Windows, are you trying to do to me? I don't want to install anything right now. But I, more than likely, it has to do with the fact that I have a ton of Google Chrome tabs open right now. I always do. I always push it too far. Um, Harry Potter. Catalog. Packs. 120 Yeah, I gave up on some money. But I feel like I, I still made out really good. I, I bought those packs at $29.99. And Turner Ray sold them for $105 and $110. So I, I, I paid for my Harry Potter wins off of that. Uh, did you save? Yeah, I did I did save them, but I sold them this week. $105 and $110. So I did pretty good. Can you print it out instead of writing? Oh, so Monster Pete, you're talking about like a passphrase or a password? Um, in most cases, no, uh, which is yet another security measure. Is it going to take you some time to write them out? Sure. How much time are we talking? 30 seconds, one minute, just write it out. If you're concerned about your handwriting, go over to another app, open up like a, a, a Word doc or a note in Windows and type them out over there and then save it. But don't, don't, I wouldn't save it on a Google Drive or a Dropbox or any of those places that people could possibly hack into. Save it like on your desktop or something and then make sure you have on your computer like antivirus software and all that stuff. If, or, or, Type it out, print it on your own printer, and then delete that file. Kill it. 
Uh, if you feel like you gave up money, I sold my HP premium way too early. 47 bucks. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Yeah, I, I, um, I got antsy at 100. It hovered for a while and did this. Uh, that grail... What's that grail at now? 530 for a Harry Potter grail. All in on Harry Potter. I did complete some royalty sets. Two of them, I believe. Yeah. Two royalty sets completed uh, and one Fleur de la Cour. But I did not get any of the other legendaries or the grail. I, I did yeah on that drop. Uh, Puzzled Puzzler. I just popped in and heard you talking about Harry Potter. There will be a Harry Potter premium pack at NFTopia. Hey, yeah, we talked about this on stream Tuesday, and thank you for the reminder. Uh, we got NFTopia May 3rd through 5th, and they had uh, several packs to give away. As a matter of fact, I have that DM from you. Let me look back at it real quick. They've got so far, there might be more. Oh, you sent me more. Um, they got Harry Potter Premium Pack, April Fool's Premium Pack, two Transformers Premium Pack, two Star Trek TNG Premium Packs. They'll be giving away. So if you attend NFTopia, which is an online, digital, virtual, whatever wording you want to use, convention, uh, you can go in that weekend. You go up, uh, the giveaway booths are on the first, the first booth when you go into any of the three convention ha halls, Upper Deck. It won't be hard to find. Uh, there's 10 ways you can get there. Just read uh, and go in and register to win. Okay, cool. And you sent me a graphic, so I can share that as well. Uh, I look at the wax number, not the dollar amount, because I sold on Atomic Hub, not drop. Uh, even when I sell on Atomic Hub, I look at the dollar amount. The wax number to me uh, it alters. I always look at the dollar amount. Like I sold for $103, but it was only 1,200 wax. Uh, it was up to 1,700 wax yesterday, but there's a super low amount. I got two, three weeks to sell the other bunch. Whatever works for you. I don't look at the wax amount. Doesn't, doesn't do anything for my brain. Over 100 booths at NF Toby. That's all. And I saw Woofy is going to have a booth there. That's amazing. That's so cool. I'll have a booth there. I got to spend some time working on that, uh, getting it all designed, which I don't even know the process for that. But I have a tab open uh, that's like um, after I purchase the booth, that's like next steps, what you should be doing. And I got to spend some time uh, reading up on that so I can have a cool design on my booth. I want to have some freebies for people that come by NFTopia, which just happens to be May 4th weekend. May 4th weekend. Think about that. Yeah, Uga, that's that's a good approach. If it works for you, do it. Absolutely. Just doesn't work for my brain. You you go. You make it happen. All right. Uh 418. We got at least an hour. I do want to play a little bit of Fortnite. Uh, because I enjoy Fortnite. Um, so if you guys want to hang around and watch that, please do. If you decide you want to go do some other things and check back, the box game at the earliest would be around 530. Uh, but I think it'll be closer to six because we gotta wait uh for uh Kelly to get home from work. But we will be doing the box game. Uh, why don't we take an opportunity real quick to do a Sully Bucks giveaway while I'm getting everything converted over. Uh, you guys are always earning Sully Bucks. In case anybody's new here, you're always earning Sully Bucks just by being here and watching the stream. So even if you hear, oh, he's going to go play Fortnite. I hate that game. I don't want to watch that. Uh, you don't have to hang around, but you also don't have to turn the uh, browser off or your computer off. You can leave uh, the browser or your phone, or your iPad, or whatever, watching the stream, and you're earning two Sully Bucks for every 10 minutes that you're here. Also, when I do some giveaways, uh, you don't even have to be present. Other ones you do. I always try to point that out. Uh, we are going to do a giveaway right now where you do need to be here. Uh, three lucky winners will get uh, 200 or more Sully Bucks per person, uh, but there's something you're going to have to do to type in for a chance to win. Let me tell you what that is. Giveaways... What's the difference between a giveaway and a contest? What the heck is a... Create a contest. Oh, it's like gambling. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, Sully Bucks giveaway. 200 plus Sully Bucks, three lucky winners. Starting right now, everybody can get one entry. One entry per person by typing in exclamation point enter or exclamation point ticket. By the way, guys, once again on Tuesday, I hate to have to point this out. Once again, on Tuesday, I gave away free NFT, and I warned everybody, do not enter multiple times. I had people enter multiple times. I don't know where the disconnect here is, why it's so difficult, but starting next time I do a free NFT, if you enter multiple times, you get zero. 
Zero. It's mucking up my my process. It's taking me extra time. I don't want to waste time when you guys, when people, can keep track of whether they entered once or not. It's insanity to me that people can't keep track of. Did I enter it yet? Maybe write it on a post-it note. I don't know what you got to do, but stop costing me extra time. I don't want to spend extra time. Uh, I'm going to play a solo. But if anybody wants to join, we can put together a team in a minute. You get nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. Exactly. I should send that person uh, an NFT that says that instead. That's a great idea. Do you guys hear the game audio? I just started playing the music. Wouldn't you read Puzzled's post? It went by too fast for you to see. Huh? I, I did read the highlights. Good. Thank you, Walking Miracle. I read the highlights. Was there something I missed? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, after this game, Falconer, I'll put together a team if you're interested. I'm confused. What was that, Pop Paragon? Wouldn't you read Puzzled's post? It went by too fast for you to see. I uh, I read... The, on Tuesday, I read the DM that was sent to me, and then I just gave the highlights. Did I miss something? Oh, how to attend. Yeah, I mean, look up hashtag NFTopia or look up the Twitter account NFTopia, but it's an online virtual thing uh, where you can just... Go to the link, and you go in and create your little avatar, and you can walk around. Uh, you can participate, look at the booths, sign up for giveaways. Um, there's a lot of opportunities there. To uh, There's panels where people are going to be talking. I may or may not be one of those people talking. Uh, but look up NFTopia. Uh, they have an official account. Or you can look up Puzzled Puzzler, and you can follow over. Yeah, I can, I can also look it up and share. But it's called NFTopia. Uh, they've been doing this for a while. It's very obvious what the official account is. The NFTopia. And... NFTopia.weebly.com There you go. Misty got it. Thank you, Misty. Wax Profit! You, you out? All right, thank you for coming by. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Remember, I'm doing the box game in like an hour. A little over an hour, so... Uh, maybe come back. I'm going to be giving away chances at Funko Pops, coffee cup with an NFT, sticker prize pack, stuff from Priscilla, um, all kinds of goodies. Also, for anybody that's uh, that's going to leave and not be here for it, um, for the end of the stream, I will be streaming again on Tuesday. There is not a Funko drop on Tuesday. Uh-oh. I'm not trying to build. I'm just trying to not have my parachute out. What is going on? I can't do anything. Um, I'll be streaming on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, I'll be giving away a free NFT. Well, that's weird. It would not let me... I guess I was too low, maybe. It seemed like I was still high enough to, to dive. Joking Mazink! You've gone to three? Nice. I think I've been to one or two. Uh, and then I recently was uh, with Matt from Drawn Company when we did an interview during one of the training sessions. Wow, there ain't nothing around here. Oh, somebody's here. I hear him. I need to get out of here. Oh, yeah, I never look at that. Thank you, Walker Mirror. I'll turn it off in a second. I never look at a height chart. Oh, no. I've hurt myself so many times there. I actually made it that time. The fish? What about the fish?
Worked out. I'm surviving. Me and Tanner played some duos the other day and absolutely wreck shop. Ooh. Yes, please. I think we won three or four first places over the course of an hour. Nice puzzle puzzler. Yeah, Matt's awesome. He is absolutely wrecking shop with his awesome NFTs. I love everything he puts out in Kuma's. I'm obsessed with their projects. Kuma's got some awesome stuff, too. Oh, the glider. Gotcha. Uh, is that next Friday, Shepard? Then I'm going to try. Yeah, I want that Freddy. I want those limited pieces for sure. And then I want the Buzz and uh, Woody 2-pack. There's a few I'm going to go after. Can't go after much, but something. Yeah, I'll be paying attention then. I'll try. If anybody's not getting everything, I guess maybe we can talk about that next week. I could use some help. Uh, I definitely want that Buzz and Woody 2-pack. I definitely want Freddy and Franny and Proto. Iron, oh, Iron Man, I want that too. Yep. Oh, that's airbending. I already have airbending. Beautiful. I've got travel now. I didn't even realize that's what I picked up. Looney Tunes from C2E2? Nice. Do you guys do any sort of uh, help each other out lists? Kind of like for SDCC? Like if I get in, I wouldn't plan on buying Looney Tunes, but I would buy it for somebody else. They have a bundle? Oh, no. Where's this person? They are on me. No, no, don't, don't go out this way. What an idiot. I turned the corner and I went right into the wall. What a dumb foot. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Falcon, are you ready? <laughs> I can't believe I turned into the wall. Everything for 318. No kidding. That might be the way to go. Wow, that's cool. What a dumb butt. Uh, Misty, you interested? Army guy? I don't know if he's here. Interested? Tanner? I don't know if you're on. I don't see him. Uh, NASCAR, if you guys want to join up with me and Falconer after, that'd be cool. I can send the invite. I don't know if you're interested. If you are. Misty's in? All right. That'll put us over four if you guys join, but for, for now, we'll get Misty going. Oh, wait, there's Army Guy. Uh-oh. Hope that didn't mess up the duo. Wait, it says Misty's in the lobby. Oh, I already sent the invite. I can see a lot of people going for the whole bundle to secure those One Piece pops. I just want those, and I don't believe there's enough holy water to help me secure one on the drop. Hey, you, look, you, you don't get it until you get it. There's times in my life where I've been like, like I saw Linkin Park uh, front row in the, in the pit one year. I got online, thought there's no way in hell I'm ever getting these front row tickets, and I immediately got front row tickets. Yep. Sometimes it works. Oh, no. No way, NASCAR. That stinks. Uh, Army guy. It, so you guys are figuring that out. Yeah, Misty, you haven't accepted. Are you going to join us, sir? All right. Oh, I got to... Uh... Yeah, you got to go for it. You got to go for it. I will fire up the Discord for chatting. Uh, NASCAR, were you trying to come back in? You said, you said go ahead and play one and then... 
I think you said that. Yeah, all right. Uh, squad fill ready. Okay. And I'm going into my Discord if anybody wants to join for the audio there. Nope, oh, army guy left. If you guys want to stick together, we'll we'll play one with Misty and then we can we can convert over at some point if we want to. Uh, Zach Bonford, no, I've been I've been fixated on this, but I need to do it. I need to end it. Good lord, why does Discord think it needs to update? I don't, I don't. All I want to do is use it for the chat, and it's doing this 18-step process. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we're gonna do five minutes on the giveaway. It's at 414. If anybody wants to enter to win some Sully Bucks, go on, enter. 40 seconds left to enter. You still have a chance at what, Falconer? The giveaway? Yeah, the giveaway. Uh, NASCAR and Army guys said, Misty, play one, and then they might come in afterwards. That was what I read. It might come in and do another game. There we go. Falconer readied up. Misty readied up. I'm still waiting on uh, the one of the worst applications in the world, Discord, to completely... Where the hell? Now, why would it start way over hidden off the side of my screen? I never hide it off the side of the screen. Discord is the worst. Also, if I ever have Discord open, every time I do anything on my computer, it's like, oh, we just saw a new audio device. Do you want to use that? Never. Not one time. So if you hover over the task, then it don't click. And then... Uh... It kind of gives you like a thumbnail above it. Yeah. And then you right click on the thumbnail and you can click on move. Oh, and yeah. And you can drag it over. Oh, I can always find it. But, you know, when I'm doing 82 things and I click on a new app to launch, it should launch where I last had it. OBS does the same yeah. thing. OBS is always on this screen. But every time I launch it for the first time, it wants to show on the other two screens. Like, well, why? I never use it over there. Why would you do that? My notepad sometimes appears off screen. Oh, my notepad is completely broken right now. If I open it, I can't see the bar. I can't exit full screen. I can't even use it. It's completely broken. It's so crazy. I, I don't understand what's going on with Windows. I, th I think it's one of the uh, F functions that you might have pressed. Oh, yeah. I've tried F12 to exit full screen, and it won't. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But honestly, I just use uh, Google Docs, and it's fine. And then if I forget to save, it's saved already. So it's kind of a bonus. Lego gives a little too much XP. Wait, what? How you get too much XP? Lego Fortnite. If you play and you play it a lot, you will level up like two or three times just in one night. Yeah, but is that what does too much mean? Like, is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, but people think like I'm all sweaty, but I just have oh, to play a lot of Lego okay. Fortnite. I gotcha. Yeah, I, uh, Tanner was telling me that the other day. He goes, I'll just turn it on and leave it and let it go and earn my stuff. I've, I didn't didn't know it did it that well, so I never do that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, that's, they do, it's, um, it's in sandbox and you, and you need like a trampoline. Oh, um, yep. Brian used to do I that. I don't even need that. I just, I mean, I kind of enjoy Lego Fortnite. It's a lot like Animal Crossing, so hence I like it. I did enjoy the times I played. I just couldn't see myself doing it regular. I'm too competitive. That's like that open world, just yeah, very chill. I wanna, I wanna shoot stuff. Actually, um, yeah. <laughs> Fall Guys. I'm more chill girl. For Fall Guys, I sometimes just want to uh, get my games in uh, just for the dailies. Uh huh. So I'll put an elastic band on my up uh, thumbstick, and so that he doesn't time out. Oh man! And and I've uh, I've come back and I've actually finished around twice. No, just by yeah. going forward. By just going forward. That's nuts. That is absolutely insane. One of them was the rhino round, and the rhinos hit me like three times into the lily pads and bumped <laughs> back into the, no way. the round. That's I, so I funny. Have a, I saved the videos. 
That is so crazy. Oh, a, a llama just sitting up here in Outer World. That's so funny. Didn't expect that. Good night. Going to bed? I killed one. Sleep. <laughs> I put someone else to bed. <laughs> like a wrestling move. How are you supposed to get up to that without wings? Is there even a way? There are no wings anymore. How are you supposed to get up to that? Um, is there things that you can climb, like, hey. uh, on the sides? I didn't. I just shot the bottom out. That'll work. Uh, there's a half over here for Falconer or Misty. I'm good. I hear firing. That one of y'all? No, I see no, uh, two people below. Find y'all still. Oh, I see him. Yep. Oh, someone's ab above me too. Going Somebody after a person a above me first. Fire. I fire bending. No, that's air bending and air bending. There's two air bendings up here. Somebody you got them both? Some... Silly? Yeah, I got them both. Yeah, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, somebody else firing at me from behind where I just came from. Nice. I don't think I even hit him. <laughs> I had to reload. You saved my life. Least I could do. I need a... There's a cabbage cart up here if anybody has the fire bending and you need to destroy it. I've done the destruction of the cabbage cart, but you need to do it with fire? Yes, that's the new oh. quest. Okay, I didn't even see that. Uh, one. Good call. Did not know that. Where is it? There's water. There's fire here. Air. Air. Well, I'd rather have air than water. Good night, Peter. <laughs> Where are these people coming from? I don't know, but I'm getting fired at, and I don't even know where they're shooting me from. There's one over here. I'm gonna go say hello to him. Well, you're not the real Slim Shady. Where'd this guy go? There he is. Got him. Okay, so I need some ammo. I need a med kit. Oh, you need one? Oh, oh dang, I, I just saw her health. That's crazy. Yeah, because I tripped and fell. Does anyone know when hotel results go out for STCC? 22nd. Monday. And then you have to put your deposit down we'll by the 25th. Away. Thank you, Lord. Get the cover. Good lord. But we did something to attract all these people? They just keep coming in. 20 seconds. That's quick. <laughs> What's up? Oh my god. How you doing, baby? Banana. Banana. Yeah, I actually, uh, thanks, to, thanks to a little bit of prep and research, I was able to do the Hotel Apocalypse the other day. I got in within the first two, three minutes and got everything done through as quickly as possible. So I feel really good about my chances. Uh, between that and there's plenty of cancellations that more hotels will come up. I think I'm golden, but uh, we'll find out Monday. Got those. I'm doing good, baby. We got done. Uh, I got my Jurassic Park pops in. Got my, uh, my Grail and my Freddy's and we looked at the values and I ended up doing pretty darn good on that drop. 
Oh, you know what? I guessed uh, the value of uh, the amber, and then I had to go out f for a bit. What was the value of that one? Mm, around two twenty-five, it looked like. Oh, no, wait, no, I thought. But yeah, yeah, no, two fifty to two seventy-five. Two fifty to two seventy-five on that. Uh, Captain Saudi, I always go for um, uh, Manchester Grand High at first, the same place where Fun Days is, just because I like that hotel and its location a lot. It's really easy to get in and out from there to the convention center, so that was my number one choice. But then I also put in like the Marriott, uh, Marquis, Marina, and Omni, and a few others that are right around there. I've stayed at the Hotel Circle before, and it just wasn't worth the hassle of the bus rides and everything. I'd rather spend a little bit more money for the hotel room. And I think I'm not I'm not sure I'm going to get a hotel this year. Uh -oh. I didn't get into like nine after. No. Well, you never know. There's a lot of cancellations because a lot of people, if they they have multiple in a room, they all go for it. Um, I think, what did I read on Twitter? Last year, there were hotel rooms in downtown still available like the month before SDCC. So hopefully, if you don't yeah, get it on the, the first shuttle, try. The shuttles don't work with the scooters. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that's right. I can only huh? do one or the other. Did not think about that. What was yep. that? They, the, the shuttles the aren't shuttle, scooter friendly, really. And, and they're not wheelchair friendly either, so... Um, you can kind of only do one or the other. I just found two bots over here. I'm by myself. I have a question about the amber. Is it solid or is it uh, hollow hollow yeah it was two pieces uh that go around it and encompass the what about the top um, in the middle the gelatinous cube is that solid or are those hollow i think those are more solid if i remember right i should ask jungle bry there's a couple yeah, I Unless do. Someone in chat in uh, chat knows. I have one somewhere, but it's been a long time since I looked at it. There's a half pot here, Misty. Okay. If you stay further away, then you end up paying the difference in the Uber rides. If you're impatient like me and don't want to wait for the bus, yep, that's I don't I don't like doing that. Now I've stayed with a friend before off site, and that saved me so much it was worth paying for Uber rides, but. Uh, this year, Kelly and I want to want to stay nice and close, if at all possible. So we're trying. This will be her, her first year to do the the con the real way. Hopefully, we don't have any strikes or anything, so we actually have panels and stuff to look forward to again. Oh yeah. Last year was kind of a dud, and the previous years before that, we only had, like, one semi-real year since uh, COVID started. Hoping we get back to what SDCC used to look like. Well, even our local con here, uh, they couldn't talk about anything, and the strike uh, ended, like, the week after. Oh, come on. That stinks. Uh, I'm getting away from the storm. Stay on a yacht. I'm, I'd love to, now. Oh, you. The mini map, I forgot it's broken. We need to uh, start coming soon. I can't believe they still haven't fixed that. In fact, I will beat you. Oh, yeah, with you have my the... air. I want one of those. Any, uh, actually, I want water or earth. I have earth. Do you want it? Oh, no, I dropped it to pick up a weapon. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Are you picking me up, or are you coming here? I'm just getting my distance in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into this area. Oh, I thought it was like, what the hell is it? Oh, we got firing off to the uh, south. I think it was. I saw it for just a second. I'm scouting. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, there was a fight I, over here for sure. I was, I was almost uh, fooled by that zip line. <laughs> Got to feed the doggo in a few minutes. After this game, I'll go feed her. 
All right, I'm back with you guys. Storm's inbound, though. We only got a few seconds here on this one, in this area. Yeah, we're at the edge. Yeah. Oh, it's here. There's a bonfire over here by Peely. Island's about to appear. We could go over that way. So if you guys want to top off, there's a fire here. There there's were also some fresh fruit and there vegetables. Was, there was a fight over here. There was a lot of stuff down, so keep your eye on that area. Oh, oh my, uh, um, my airdrop came. I see it. Uh, I see a, there's a, somebody holding one of the, what you call it, ahead of us too. The medallions. Oh, oh yeah. Frenzy. I'll take that. Oh, squirrel. Earthbending. Perfect. Firing uh, to 192, 194, somewhere in that area. Wow. Look hey. at all this loot over here. A lot, a lot of loot. Wow. That is a lot of loot. That means there's people near, though. Hi, Medusa. How are you now? Nothing I really, really want, though. Oh, here we go. What's that? Nope. All right. No doubt we're going to run up on somebody here in a minute. More stuff. More loot over there. I got thermal. I'm looking. I don't see... Whoop. I think I just saw somebody. Yeah, over here we got a team. Going up the hill over here. Yeah, they're a bit too far. For me, at least. Come on. I'm not finding much ammo in these chests. Oh, there's some ammo. Good. Uh oh. I may have I may have called this team over. Where are you guys at? I see them. They're hitting that building. Oh yeah. Hit one for 56. Oh, here comes a storm. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Back over here, Misty. To me. Oh, oh no, somebody behind me. Dang it. Where's Falconer? Get him, Falconer. Nice. Get Misty Sorry, first no, if you can. Is, Misty, keep crawling. There you go. Here they come. He's right here. He's right here. He's about to thirst me. Nice, Falconer. Good job. Good job. Get Misty if you can. She's first. We got 15 seconds till the storm's moving. I had to reload, so I just used my uh, earth bending. I've got wind to get out of here as quickly as possible. If y'all can both touch what? me, and we can all get out of here. Why did it reset? I don't know, but that's going to cost us. Oh, dang it. Why is it going the wrong way? Oh. Uh, uh, dang it. I don't know why it reset. We had that. That was so stupid. Because nor right. normally, when, like they they must have changed something. Because before, even if you let go, yeah, it would be you could pick partially up on done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try again. Yeah, port. Ready we up? get you. We can get you. Let's go back to the uh, chat uh, to the uh, lobby and get port for a fourth. 
Thank you, but Panda. You're going to go feed Doggo? Yes, I do need to do that while we get... Uh, oh. Let's see. Send him an invite, and we can go ahead and ready up. And squad, Phil. Somebody's still in the match, but once y'all back out, there we go. I'm going to go feed the doggo, but let's go ahead and ready up, and uh, we're good to go. I'll be back in time. There we go. I'll be right back. Lost connection. Who did? I did. Do I need to re-invite you? No, we. the game just lost connection. Ready, ready up again? Because it looks like it cancelled our, uh, our matchmaking. Hey, Mindy, can you do something about that category? What category? Um, someone said, um, Million Panda says oh. it's just chatting. Yeah. Oh, it does. So didn't change the Fortnite. Close out that's, that giveaway. That's a cool one. I was gonna. Yeah, I didn't know this one moved. It's a traversal. There's, there's port. What's up, port? What's up? I need to play hey, Doctor Doom canceling? now. What's that, Falcon? The emote with lightning. Oh, that's cool. Play like Doctor Doom. Cool. Or Magneto. Raiden. Oh yeah, I always think of Raiden and Showdown in Little to or uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Um, I like Underworld myself. Okay. All right. While we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and pick our winners for the uh, points. Oh. Twenty six minutes in. Yeah. Winner one is. Taking forever to pick a name. Oh, great. Four. I was doing a giveaway for Sully Bucks, Nadu. I picked draw a winner and it's just sitting there. Oh, it there says we go. you can now no longer enter. So draw a winner. One. There we go. Funko Attic Tech is our first winner for Sully Bucks. Second winner is Falconer. And third winner is Meat Puppet. Rigged. Of course Because I did the drum roll. I will uh, get those added in after. We got people landing with us, by the way. Yep. After I die or after this round, whatever. Whatever we need to do. Uh, Falconer, here you go. Oh, do I save that. No, it's too late. Oh, too late. You're okay. You have that Going if you down. need a gun. I have a pistol. I'm okay. Can take it for now, just in case. No. It's all good. Because I, I wasn't going to keep it because I have a, another shotgun. Hey, doggo. How was Din Din? Just came in to say thank you, and now you're gone? Okay. I'll go do any tricks. 
Um, not really. She can catch treats out of the air now. She's pretty good at that. But even following basic instructions is pretty tough for her. She has not figured out stay yet to save her life. I can't find one chest. Yes, I'm talking about you. Oops. Dang. Not good weapons. Oh, that's why. You're firing? No, it's me. First we still heard it. Uh-huh. You know what? I want earth burning. Uh, anyone want fire? The... I'll take it. Right there. She is a fast Did eater. Did you all the firebender um, uh, avatar fire challenges? Uh, Nadu, no, I have still not. Oh, did you take the earth bending? About it. No, no, no. You need fire bending to destroy a cabbage. That's what Misty was saying. Yeah, there's one right. There should here. be one in the back. Right here. Sorry, there it is. A uh, pink marker. Right. On fire, sellers at you. That's just me trying to get this chest down. Oh, there's some minis. No way. There we go. Oh, we got, we got, we got a team on me. I'm headed to port. Yep. Oh. I got one of them that was separated. I don't know if it's that same team or not. You still got somebody over there, Port? I got two, but there's one, there's one more. That's you. Ooh. Ooh, we got a gold weapon, too. All right, where's the little one? Where did you go? Here you are. There. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Taking that med kit? Nope. All yours. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, uh, there's uh, chains on this one. There's another one over here. I think I'll pick this one up. Misty, are you taking this med kit? No, not the med kit. I need here, I'm throwing it. Pipe. I'm throwing one up there for you because there's a. Uh, two people on me. Okay. Where's port? I think the bot. I see port. I'm down. About to see dead people. more. I hit the guy and he landed on my roof. Here. Done. Got him port? Nice. Yep, clear. I should grab some heals, but I'm just blacking my weapons right now. Firebender. Uh, I did, did that push you? What? Did that push you at all? Me? Yeah. I looked away from the screen, so I don't know. I was looking at chat, sorry. Does anybody still need to do the fire quest yeah, and I do. fire thing? I'll come up you there. Do? Yeah, I need to do it still. Okay, I'll drop it. And I still don't know how to, like, 
came where if I drop something where it is. Uh, just left on the D-pad for me. What are you playing on? Left. Xbox. Yeah, left on the D-pad, which is the one below your left thumb. Okay, okay. I just pinged it then. Nice, good job. I'm headed that way. Oh, good. Oh, Cabbages. Wait. That cabbage cart's already destroyed. Is there another one around here? What did I just give up? I just gave up. Ah, oh, I can go without it. We'll find another one. Where's everyone? Go up there. I'm chilling, eating a banana. And And Falconer are headed east. Oh, you were driving. <laughs> you thought you were? That's funny. We got in at the same time. I've done Ooh, that so many bending. times. We got a bounty. I'm like, why can't I turn? Why am I heading straight for that statue? <laughs> What's the blue marker? Anything you saw, or you just headed that way? No, oh, it's it automatically tells you that a vault is going to open up oh, soon. Gotcha. Wait, that I saw perfectly. So we're close by it, so it lets us know. Yeah, we're headed. We need to take a right. We're headed right around the edge of the zone. Unless we're going to go over there. We going over? Our right, falconer, right behind you. Tell me if you find a cabbage it's, cart. It's, it's opening right now, so. Oh, people behind us on the left, down here. There's people there. Behind you, Misty. I got a team over here on me. Somebody's shooting me from a huge distance. I don't know where. So I like to come towards you. Yeah, I got a team over here, so be careful. Thank you, whoever came and helped. I down I down to one. Yeah, they're at the back of the convenience store. You're welcome, Misty. I'm healing. I just saw a car get thrown. Ooh, a sniper, huh? Port, you still got somebody over there? Oh, you got him. You're good. Nice. Let's roll this fire. That's fire and water. Nice. Water. There's some mushrooms over here too, Misty, if you need a little health or a little shield, and the zone is coming towards us. That's fine. I want to go into the vault. Oh, nice job, Sully. That rock was really tough. Right. I'm coming to you guys with the car so we can all get out of here. Falconer, it looks like you're good on your own. I'll get Misty and Port. All right, I'm on my way. Come on, Misty. Right behind you. Jump, jump on top of the car. That's what I was trying to do. It wouldn't let me stay. Whoops. Not bad. Not good driving by me. This I turned out to be more of a problem. Left. <laughs> it's fine. And we have water um, bedding, so we were really killing the water once we got out of the storm. Making this boat. 
Yeah, I'm surprised they got rid of both. Like, <laughs> that did not work at all. Horrible. I really thought I could glide a little bit more on the top of the water to get us further along there. That did not happen. I missed it. Do you need the water bender to heal? Uh, yeah, I, or a half pot. No, no. If you t if you take the water and then get in the water, it'll heal you. Yeah, that's a nice oh, little okay. trick. Okay. At your shield, though, if you There's out. some splashes right here. I got people over here. Somebody. Yeah, somebody over... took the water thing. Oh, that person was low on health already. In inst instant down. There's, they have a team, though. That wasn't a, wasn't an instant melt. Yeah. They might have been out on their own, though. Nope. Oh, right side. Bust. Right there. Falconer up near you, you see that? Shield. One more. Dang it. Dang it. It's a death. Nice. Did you take that uh, sniper? I have 12 uh, rounds for you. Mm, I did not get a sniper. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Missy, there's the barrels here. Sniper. And, uh. You can find your way up. There's four barrels. Med pack if anybody needs it. Oh, good. I have six minis on me. Let me get over there. I'm going to enable the there, boss over truck. here. Just for oh, fun. No. Where you at, bossy boss? There he is. Oh, I didn't want that. It's a good thing team fire is not on. Close down. There we go. Cool. I stole the shoddy. Anybody need flow juice to nope. heal up? No, nope, you're the only one. Two purple drum guns right here, or one purple drum gun. How do I have an extra fire? Fuck I mean. What world did I want that? Firepinning is awesome. Firepinning. Look at this. Yeah. Whee. But I have two of them. I don't need two of them. Oh. <laughs> That's what I need instead. All right. We've got a... Uh, somebody with a medallion ahead of us over here. I'm working my way up the hill. Uh, should I drop my medallion? Oh, a supply drop right here. I'll cover you. In case it's a trap. No, it was one of us who um, brought it out. Well, it wasn't a trap. Yeah. Where's this thing oh, hand, We're near him. Anybody want that? Anybody want water bending? I'd prefer water. Oh, yeah. I'm... But water bending is back here. I'm not going back for it. It's fine. Yeah, I'm done everything. And the only one I really like is the air one. Oh, everybody behind us. Oh, somebody see me from somewhere. Down to one. Here you are.
I see him up on the hill. Got him. I'm down. I mean, he's not knocked, but I'm oh. cracking his oh, crud. shield. Keep it right above us. I'm about to I'm be down. God dang it. Bad time reloading. Port right here next to me. We're in between two teams. Stupid yep. reloads got me. There you go, He's Falconer. Down. That one's almost toast. Up the hill. Get him, Port. Get him, Port. I don't. Watch out behind you. Misty, behind you. Watch out. Oh! There you go, Falconer. Good job. We got another one coming. Another one coming on the beach over here, Falconer. Hey, what the? Down. You have to grab Giddy Misty. my card. Somehow got thirsted in the middle of that little transaction. Hey, do you have his card? Yeah, yeah his card. Dang it, I had good weapons, too. Uh, there's only one okay, I'm gonna go spot quickly that's for about that to one. get swallowed up. Actually, this one... Safe. Nice port. Thank you, Falconer. Everybody coming up. Is that the, right, right, um, right. the Amazon? Just float center? back to your stuff. Go back. Go back to that that point, and he can float back to his stuff. Misty, on us, two people behind the tree. Yep, I see him by the tree. Oh crud! I have three. Oh, damn it. Nope, they got me. Dang it, I thought I had Misty's cart. Shoot. Alright, good. I'll get Misty's cart and get and bring her back. Over here. A one. I don't know where he went. I don't know how I missed him. There's yep. one left. Yep, one left. It's all you. Don't know where. Don't know where. Oh, never mind. Oh, rebooted. Revive. I rebooted. Oh, never mind. That makes sense. So Misty's back. I am back. Oops, so four. there's still one. It's four and one. I'm going to float around to see if I can draw him out. Same. I bet anything in the water. Anything? Well, most things. This match. Huh. Gotta be moving with the storm, right? Who the hell is this person? Is it a bot trapped in the storm or something? Maybe wait. He would have died by now. Yeah. But I would have thought. Uh, Misty, you still need shield if you see anything laying around. Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to areas where we have not gone yet. This is crazy. Where is this person? Is he on air? Like, just riding around in circles? We would have heard him. Is he in a tree? Yeah, look. Yeah, we should look for a tree. I hear a car. That's me. There he is, Damn. below me. Let's no, only kill him. No reason to get vulgar. Let's only do it. 
I just see him walking right here. That's a bot. So that's all you. Got him. <laughs> a single <laughs> shot as he flew past me. Let's go. All right, I softened I'm... him up. Nice job. All right, add points to everybody. Good call. 150 for that. Nice. And we picked uh, three winners, so I can go ahead and distribute those points. While we go ahead and ready up for another game here. See if we can keep a uh, keep the streak alive. Nice job. All right, let's see. Loyalty leaderboard. First up, we got was it Funko Attic Tech? Yeah. Funko Attic Tech was at seven five zero, so no bonus, but do get two hundred points. Then we got Falconer, currently at 5590, another Indian zero. No bonus, but you get 200. Error occurred, couldn't add points to the requested user. What? Never had that problem. Still, same error. I copied and pasted kind of. your name. What? Why not? Oh, it Probably added a, points, it added a space after before your name twice when I copied from a place that did not have a space before your name. That's really weird. Okay, that time it worked. I'm glad I double checked it. And then Meat Puppet. Let's hope it meet puppets doesn't end in like a. Okay, good. It didn't cost them points. Uh, currently at forty three oh four for meat puppets, so no bonus points. Uh, great. Every time I copy from that section, it adds a space before the name. So meat puppet, I added two hundred years. Congrats to the winners. Or thank you, thank you. Congrats to you too. Yeah, between. Let's see, Falconer, you got. 200 there plus another 150 from the game. Nice. Underworld. Underworld. Like underoos? Yep. <laughs> You're welcome, me puppet. Thank you for being here. All right, we uh, I haven't heard from Kelly, so I'm assuming everything's still on normal schedule, but we'll find out. Right, As in she's going to be arriving for the box game? Yeah, between 5.30 and 6. She thought she'd get wrapped up at 5.30. Alright, I don't see any of you guys. I'm going to go over on this side, the right side. There we go. Cut out the middleman and just chest. landed in the right okay. spot here. Oh, crap. Oh, no! Why you land on a weapon and land with your team? Oh no no, I almost fell off. No, not you. I, I was talking off. about the person I just killed. Oh. They couldn't Man, hear you me. Can't land in shallow water. Oh, did you get hurt from fall damage? It drives me yes. nuts, yeah. When you fall in the water and you think you're golden, but you're not. Airbend over here. Oh, that's a good one. On there. Oh, it's long. Somebody above me? I am not. It's not. Banana. Here's a fire bending. Don't think anybody wants it, but just in case. Oh, oh, I'll take it. Next to somebody, I just can't. Find water them. bending. Oh, I'll take water over these grenades. Ooh. Find somebody spicy up there, port. Yeah, but I one shot at him somehow. Nice.
There's another fire bending up here. Uh, Alert, there's someone next to us. Uh, I'm good. You want to do some of your quests. Yeah, I'll try later. Well, I'm if we come across a cart, it. I can lend you my fire bending. There you go. There's a cart up here. Oh, yeah. Mindy. Misty, sorry. Yes. I got this for oh, you. you. Or for us. Where's this ding dang old card at? That's all I got. Uh, out in the open, like, like 20 steps away from where I left the. Oh, that was. I thought it was somebody hitting me. Oh, shoot. Siphon. Okay. Nice. Give up. I like all my Yo, Kimmy! Right Thank you. Appreciate you. How you doing today, Kimmy? Hope you're having a good Friday. Oh, footsteps. What and footsteps? I took fall damage. Yay. Wait, how come that didn't do anything? I just took out the cart with the fire and uh, didn't do anything. I didn't get any achievement. It's one of your quests. You can check your quests under huh. elements and see if it's completed. Well, I stopped the light of campfire. Yeah, I am, Kimmy. I'm having a great Friday. Thank you for asking. We're doing uh, playing a little Fortnite now, and in the next uh, 30 minutes, we're going to be transitioning over to play what we call the box game here, meaning somebody watching the stream will have a chance to win a real deal physical prize like a Funko Pop, uh, stickers, an exclusive for my friend Priscilla, um, NFT, all kinds of fun stuff. So hang around if you want to participate. Everybody will be eligible. Either way, thank you for coming by. If anybody right, spots this campfire, I need to light one. Oh, no, well, I'll take the nemesis. Be on the side, then. So, I saw my fell, and I saw right into a god chest. Whoa, get up off there. You well, want you one of those? right into something, best be one of those. Well, hang around, and I'll tell you how to enter. All you got to do is be here for, like, once you make five minutes, you'll have enough uh, points to buy an entry in. And I'll tell you how all that works. No money out of your pocket, just points you earn for watching the stream, which is free. Absolutely free. I like to bribe people for being here. And it works every time. Yeah. You get them. You get them. And if if we win, you can win uh, Ooh, some yeah. silly bucks here, too. Yeah, hopefully we pull down another win, giving you a whole bunch of Sully Bucks. We play Fortnite, and if we get a team win, everybody in the chat gets paid. And, and bonus if Kelly Sully gets the last kill. Yeah, which happened last game. Uh, we got somebody in the area here with the medallion. I'm trying to locate him. Coming back to you, I'm going really far. They're out in front of us here somewhere, probably in that direction. And I thought the medallion was moving towards us. I'm going to go that way. Probably after me, since I'm holding a medallion. You're holding a medallion? Uh, yeah, I think Portis. He got the one from... Who did we just Hades. kill? Hades. I wanted to say Ares, but I knew that was oh, wrong. Oh, air on me. 
Probably right above this. Oh, come yep, on. I see him. I hear 16. I hear 16 again. Two different players, two 16 on both of them. I mean, 115. There's one by the reboot van. Behind the rock. Oh, he downed me. He got me one shot. Falconer, if you could help me out. He was laser focused on me, and I made an easy target. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm pushing them away. Push them away? Kill them? With the, with the windbender? Airbender? Oh, what, at least one of them. Thank you, sir. Do you have health? No. You don't have anything? No, I bet there's something over here, though. I have a health pack here. Oh, I just threw it on your back and it fell down. Airbender and airbender. Good oh, shot. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Do you need a half bite? Oh, Kelly's home early. Or half bite. Sweet. Pepper right there. On a flanker. Where'd she go. I heard the shot. Oh, I see. Over here somewhere. Marker? I can't see here. By the tree. Are you flanking left or right? Oh. I'm flanking left. Or I stood or still left. too long. Keep running. Better for twice. Yep, she's, I made her. Oh, there's another one in the water over here. Trying to get away. Got, what is that? That's what we've been chasing. Same person? Oh, wow. Oh, Port down. Well, hello, doggo. Hello. Hey, Good baby. Shot. Home early. Sweet. Oh, there's a fire, campfire right here, too. Um, well, is Charlie eating dinner? Yes. Okay. I went down and fed her. Mm -hmm. Have fun? Okay. Yep. Cool. Sorry, dog. You're not getting a double She was open. Uh, I think she's trying, to, she's trying to finish me off. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. No, no. I'll get her. I'll get her. Move. I'm healing up over here. Sorry, guys. Right, you're good now. I don't know how to do just drop you. I can only throw you. I know. I'm I'm the same way. I have no idea how to do either. We still have a threat. So over I always there? like look down go? to throw. Oh. You guys still oh. have somebody you're fighting or are we good? We're still fighting. No, okay. they're up here. I'm healing up and let's, I'm coming. Uh, let's let's retreat back to where Sully is. Right there, behind this rock. Yeah, the rock I'm hiding behind. I, right, can't. I, I I gotta I gotta go back to where Sully is. I gotta heal or falcon here. No There's him. three of them over here. Oh, one. Second one's down. We got uh, that blue Peely is the last one, I think. Nope, nope there's, there's still one, one more. more. Farther in distance. Over here. I got him. Nice. Oh, no. Someone else did him. Got him. I don't know. It said it, two eliminations nope. and an assist. <laughs> Misty, oh, you get more more fighting for Misty. She still sees somebody. I still see yep. red dot. And I fell off my I, I fell off my hiding spot. Look, They're look behind it. the rock by the purple mark. I got a man on. I'm gonna be down again. Oh, boy, I messed that up. Oh, we got you covered. They ran. The one who's been bothering us the whole time. Don't know where she ran off to though. All of a sudden, couldn't fire my shotgun to save my life. That must be the medallion person, or unless oh. that's you. You you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see it. There. Firing oh, from up on the hill. East, 75. Oh, just missed. It's on port. Got her. Woo! Nice, good job. I mean, that medallion. I need the power. Nice job. What do, what am I carrying here? I have air. Okay, I have three half pots. One for each of you. Yes. Perfect. Santa. Okay. Oops, I picked up one. Oh, it's gone. Another one behind us. Oh, really? Wait, there's more than one. There's another one up the hill over here, and rocks coming from behind. Keep your eye on it. There's at least two, if not more. 
There's one up on the hill over here. Watch out for the aerial. Or for them above us. He's in the bush now. I'm going back to where Misty's at. Falconer's up on the hill. So you're behind him, Falconer. I know, I'm trying to get up onto the hill so without them noticing me. Okay, Close. um, are they to my left or right? Down, down. Look at where our bullets are going. Left. I'm healing Misty. I don't see them. Oh, Poor wow. Does. Am, I Am I way above them? Yeah, you're way above Watch them. Watch where they, our they, bullets they, 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 they are. I'm marking it where we are. I still got one more person left. I don't know yep, where they are. I one, saw him. He's oh, over he's here. Yeah, he's crawling around the rock, Sally. Where we are. Yep. I... Oh, we had a crown. What am I doing? Up oh, behind us! Behind us! Behind you guys! Ew. Get up the hill, fool! Oh, they sniped me! I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, there's, there's I'm the only one left. I'm not messing oh. with this for right now. Basically, stay right there. You're gonna die, but I'm gonna grab your card. Man, it's it sucks that you, you don't show up on the mini map because I couldn't tell which way you guys were facing. I got Misty's card. My car fell down right next to uh, Falcon here. Dang it. Tried to take a couple of shots. That didn't work. I'm going to re... Position yourself? Yep. Heal up, and then I can wait a second and go in with... Uh... Well, I could get Misty. But I have air bending, so I could go back for the cards. I think he got his... I had him in my scope. I could see him. And he got me before I could even pull the trigger. Take the yeah, long They one-shot me. I was full health. Oh, full the shield. Out of you sniper them, yeah. Are they hanging around oh, no, over there? Oh, yep. No, no, I see you. Right, right above the mythic chest. The big ass chest. They're coming your way on your left. I see firing. Hopefully they're busy. Oh, come on, man. Run. Run like the wind, bullseye. <laughs> Oh, there's one right here. <laughs> so nobody sees me. I want to go back and get all of our stuff. That might be too far. It might be. And the no, zone is right coming in. I think. Pull it off. Died. Let's go. Is it, isn't that where it is? Did we die? Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Not bad. Really? Can't jump up? There's another cabbage. Alright, storm's coming, but y'all got some time. And there's a medallion, two of them in front of us. Must be, th they might be on the island. Most likely. Hey. One gun. Two guns. Somebody captured the island. Definitely them, then. Alright. I'm not seeing him up now. here. I'm on the island. I don't see him. Oh, really? Wow. There's heal stuff up here. Weapons up here. Um, 
Their gunfire's uh, northwest. Gosh, I'm gonna check downstairs. Yeah, nobody at the tables. At the crafting table. My sniper was basically unusable, thank God. This down here, I could put an actual scope on it. Alright, this is going to be our last game, and then we're going to get to the box game uh, when Kelly's ready. I'm not trying to push her. I'm not trying to rush her. Just saying. That's when we'll wrap things up here. And hopefully we can so pull off a victory. Storm's inbound. We better bounce out of here. Ready. I'm ready right. with drinks. You're ready with drinks. Ready with drinks. Bestest ever. You want to bring happy your... Friday. Thank you, baby. Cheers. There's somebody right below us. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, let's go over here. I'll move, uh -huh. move this stuff out of the way. And... I can do it. Let's see. Are you... Look how clean it is. Take there. a jump pad when you can. Right there. Are these boxes? They're right there. Can I move them? Uh, you They're can probably the Just put it all is up this... there if you would. Uh, that can go up over here. to the left. Up with the stuff that's up for sale. Missy, get out of the storm. I'm getting, I'm getting. Misty, try to break this if you can, when you get here. Oh, we have to go back. That's annoying. Uh-oh, Misty's oh. down. Oh, you insta died when you hit the ground. I did. Nice to hear Misty's voice. You should have stopped. his voice in my hearing. Uh, Falconer like and Port. Hey, Kelly. Right there. Missy said hello. Hello. There's two of them over there. Oh my goodness. That one. Yeah. I'm down too. Good. Good job. People left. Let's see what kind of great loot they got over here. Yes, please. Wow, they had two medallions. They were my medallions. They stole it from us. <laughs> That's not what I wanted, okay. though. I right, get in the water. I'm on high ground. I'm with you. Who left two singles, two solo people? You know the solo. Oh man, your mm -hmm. mic just did something crazy, made a high pitch pop in my ear. Who me? Uh, port. That was weird. Oh. Uh, it's because uh, there's three of us and there's five people, three teams. Yeah, that's oh, that's we know oh, it's a I one and a one. Toasty in here. Oh, okay. Isn't it? I even brought the wind oh, open the wind window. Wind better. Oh, east. east. You say you see somebody but, east port? Where? That was east. Was low? Right. Yep, low. On the ground. I just saw him. Into the cliff. This side. I guess he might be going to, uh... There. Left. Right there. Nice. That's one melt. One more. Right, we Sully. got this. It's all you, Sully. Well, let's just get the victory, buddy. Yeah, if it works out, that's cool. Ah, that's all right. Nope, nope. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to go into the storm right now. I hear footsteps near me. Pretty sure. We'll cover you. Yep, man on right here. Ah. There it is. Falcon oh, got it. Nice. Another victory. Yeah, it, it was, was me. We, I, I we saw it. It was me. It was me. Sully box? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it was Sully. It was Sully. What am I saying? Nice, what Tanner. It was Sully. I <laughs> saw that. Sully took. Y'all yeah. a bunch of cheaters. Yeah. It was Sully. It was <laughs> I'm adding 100 to everybody. We're not cheating. Y'all All right. All right. Good games, y'all. Nice job. Get back to the lobby and let's get, the, let's get to the fun stuff. Kelly's here. Cheers. Thank you for the games. Happy Friday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the games. All right. Hang up on there. All right. How was the day? 
It was good. Busy, yeah? but good. Yeah? Hmm? You had a long one. I did. She's had a few long days this week. Busy, busy, busy. Hi, guys. We got in my uh, Jurassic Park. Oh. There's the uh, mosquito and the amber. Whoa, wait, I don't actually cool? see this. Did the, you take it out of the yeah, box? Yeah, we took it out and put light behind it. The light comes through real good. It's very hard to see anything. In the box, yeah, it's really In the box. Tricky. Oh, you can actually see it better on camera then. Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Crazy. It's so dark in there. That's really cool. Yeah. Make sure I don't actually Hello, put everyone. this on the power switch. I feel bad, Falconer. I don't have a movie review for you. We didn't watch any movies, did we? Uh, Since last I was on here? We Last time we had was Ghostbusters. That was the last review we had. Wait, why do you do that? Because now it's covered by the curtain. It still brings a cool air in here, but if I have the curtain open, then that bright light comes in here. I know I had the curtain propped open Oh, on you the did that side, on purpose. That's what so you were doing. That okay, it was my bad. actually I thought cycling. It, I accidentally got it back there. <laughs> I didn't realize that you had done it on purpose. There we go. There, I got it. There we go. Yeah, yeah I just thought moving air might feel good. Yeah, for sure. I thought I had accidentally pushed it back there. I didn't realize that. Um, I guess we did watch one movie. That dumb movie, it was called Players. Oh, and yeah, I on Netflix. Asleep, and it was just like a silly rom-com. Kelly Critiques. Kelly Critiques. I'm dropping the ball. <laughs> but I think we're going to go to a movie this weekend, maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right? I wonder what Brian did a review of Civil War. I don't know. He, I, think that's uh, I don't think he see. streamed since then. I would, he might have done his little front seat reviews. Front seat movie thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he did, but I haven't been on Instagram today. Let me I look really quick, either. actually, because that would be really fun to watch. We put the regular. Um, music back did on. you already prepare the prizes? No, not at all. Okay. Not today. Does that mean I'm choosing prizes? Uh, I think we have some. Oh, that makes me real nervous. <laughs> she like pulls the the seven thousand dollar dollar turtle know, pop over. Uh, no, the last time Brian did a front seat movie thoughts was for Meg Two. Oh yeah, but he, he only hits the classics. Come on, he only hits the classics. That's funny. I'm changing my setup. It, for some reason, Whoa, OBS yeah, got worse. Chat, OBS Everything got looks worse. Crazy right now. Crazy, Look at this. Crazy. That's when I maximize it to screen. It players, does this. No, it was an, a new movie called Players. Oh God, a tech on Netflix. Yeah, it's got a uh, Damon Wayans Jr. in it. Yeah. And I don't remember if anybody else was notable. <sighs> OBS got updated. and I kept hoping, okay, maybe it'll fix this problem I have now, where it makes everything too big for the screen. Oh yeah. Oh no. That's crazy. It's worse. Looking. Um, I tried to make us, I put one of those mules that we got. That's what ginger the Ginger mules. Is. Yep. But then I was trying to make it a pineapple mule. Okay. But it didn't get very pineapple-y, so sorry. That's okay. It's not very good. You probably don't like it. This used to work. I used to be able to zoom in on the chat here. Hmm. OBS is really letting me down. I don't know. What's going on here? Hello, Ben. Have you seen Shogun yet? TV series on FX. No, I want to see it. I've heard good things. It's like um, people have been kind of comparing it to Game of Thrones, but it's about uh, oh, like Shogun one. Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we just started, um, what's it called? Men in the Air or something? Uh... Guys Flying Planes a Long Time Ago. <laughs> I think it's called Guys Flying Masters, Planes a Long Time Ago. Masters of the Air. Masters of the Air. Because <laughs> I kept thinking Masters of the Universe, but yeah, it's Masters of the yeah, Air. Yeah, yeah, That's so funny. Hello, Mr. Jesse Star. I definitely want to see Ministry because it's got uh, Cavill and uh, Alan Richson in it. Pickle flavored gummy vitamins. Do What's you know this? anything about this? No. I know nothing of this. I was really sad the other day we got um, Jimmy John's for lunch in a pinch. And they used to have these pickle chips, but it was short lived. They already took them away. Major bummer. The chat is really little and I can't read it. So I couldn't zoom in. Squinty. In previous weeks, it would let me zoom. I need but... to get my glasses so I can read the chat. And if I bring it over here, it's a little better, but I don't know why it's so big and won't let me zoom. Oh, you want to see Abigail Falconer? That is a hard pass for me. <sighs> looks terrifying. No, no, no. Shogun, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, Walking Miracle, I think you'll be all right. Shogun, I don't know if it's out week to week or what, but uh, it's going to be popular for a while. Yeah. You can put 30 different fruits in a smoothie. If you put one banana in, it's forever a banana smoothie. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Did you read that a second That's ago and I just true. didn't register it? No, I didn't okay. read it. <laughs> you were looking at me like, I just said that. No, I didn't read it. <laughs> 
I did not read it. Get out your spectacles. Nobody wants to get out their spectacles. I hate wearing my glasses with a passion. Yeah, I'm not a big fan either, but every time I put them on, it's really exciting because I don't wear them that often. So then when I put them on, I'm like, oh, this is what the world's supposed to look like. I just can't see far away very well. I don't know if that's making it better. No, it's not. I'm, the chat is so tiny. I'm so puzzled why this in is hilarious. previous weeks it would let me do this and now it won't. Oh, there it is. You have to click in better. on the chat before you can zoom. All right. I so knew. You just learned something. There it is. It's been a weekly lately. If I don't watch stuff right away, odds are I forget. Really? Okay. I have like an internal list that I mental list that I make on shows and eventually get around to them. Like I, I finally made it through a few episodes of uh, um, Fallout, which definitely proving the bloody thing is it's not your bag. The story is fun, and it, if anybody played the game, yeah. it definitely is true to the game. But it is it is bloody. No thanks. Sully puzzled. Never stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Ben Feldman only comes in to harass me. Right, I noticed that. <laughs> I noticed that. He just pops in and has like one liner for you and it's out. Is Kimmy still here? Did we run Kimmy off? We had a new a new person come by hmm. and was interested in the box game. So I want to oh, make cool. sure that, that we are aiming this at educating yeah. Kimmy and anybody yeah, else who's new. Kimmy got points from that last win. So did I add points to everybody? Wait, I don't think you did. Did he? Did I, did I give the points to everybody? I was distracted. When they'll, I was they'll lie and say I didn't I even if I did. did. But I don't think I did. He didn't, right? He hears you on my nope. phone. I did not. Okay. So we'll add points. Wait, let me all make sure I'm on. 100. I didn't get that. Oh, wait, I did. I did add points because. Wait, you did? Yes. I did because I remember y'all were saying, oh, no, we, you, Sully got it. Add them. the 150 points. And I'm like, no, nah, I did. I, no, that wasn't look, when I there was it is. here. There it is right there. Add points all 100. 100 points went to 74 users. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I did it. We almost got him. Up arrow to ch yeah, that seems easy, but <laughs> it's so funny. Seven thousand dollar prize in this week's box game. I don't think so. Matthew, mm. no. We're trying to pay for a wedding. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> the the seven thousand dollar prize can be in the game if some one of you gives me seven thousand dollars for the prize, and then we'll guarantee yeah, you a win. There you go. Well, yeah. I, you know what? You give me seven thousand dollars, I'll give you everything in the box game this week and that pop. Oh jeez. I'll make you that deal right now. What do you need? Um, I'm just gonna grab these. I think this is what I need. Sticker prize pack. And did you see these? I found these old gems. What? Pop pop sockets. What is that? Who? Okay. Do you have multiple ones? I do. Somewhere under here, I've got. Pop socket. Uh, they're all pop though. I don't know if you'll be interested in any of them. There's Superman. Are any of them you? No. I have. I do have one somewhere that's me. I oh, know. I remember you telling me that. I've yeah. never seen it. You haven't? Here's the old Funcast one. I had these made for everybody on the Funcast. Okay, you can make fun of, of me after, but who is that? The Flat. I mean, uh, Aquaman. Oh. Wait, that's Aquaman? Yeah, comic book Aquaman. As a pop. Like baby Aquaman? No, pop Aquaman. This looks nothing like Aquaman. Well, that doesn't look like the Aquaman you know from uh, the movies, but does the look like from the comics. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh. Jason Momoa definitely has his this, own this take on... This is no Jason Momoa. This, you can't see it because our faces aren't covered. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so you wanted that one. Yeah, well, you know what we could do I like is that one. I do too. You, oh wait, you want to keep it? Is that <laughs> no. what you're telling me? Let's she give it to she the like people. doesn't let go. Unless they want one of these. Ones. <laughs> we can give them the choice. Oh, I like that plan. Just in case you guys haven't seen before, I think I showed it once before, but I made these for everybody that was on the Funcast uh, after the New York Comic Con that we did. I never did use mine. I don't know if anybody else used theirs, but I thought that came out so cool. Justin Hartley Aquaman. Yeah, that's so true. Justin Hartley, that's the lead in that uh, Tracker show. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that is Baby Momoa before puberty. <laughs> exactly what I said. Baby Momoa. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, the fifth prize is a, is a Priscilla prize pack. I think we lost Kimmy. Ooh, Such a shame. Kimmy was Priscilla just prize here pack. in and out. There and got it. It happens. It happens. We lose people sometimes. Maybe she'll come back just in time. Maybe come back. Kimmy, come back. <laughs> Should we give away one of them? Yeah, we've never done so? that. Let's do it. I think you gave away one. We got one of those. What are these called? I forgot. It's like a robe. We have to know how to say it the right way. No, it's not a robe. Does somebody it's know how a, to say um, it? Like a... I think it starts with a K. 
Oh man, okay. I'm a kimono, pick... like a kimono. It's like a kimono, but, but it's she not. calls it something much more sophisticated. I'm gonna figure this out really quick. So she always has cool names for things, the and then thing. I forget. Uh, ben B says kimono. Falconer says kimono. Good. So I'm not the only one that's wrong yeah, if we're wrong. It looks just like a kimono, uh, but a shiki. Sully should model it. No. I don't think we want to take it out of the package. No, right? we definitely don't. You don't want my funk on there. Don't don't say otherwise. Even if you do, don't say Ew. otherwise. Ew. <laughs> Hold the thoughts. Hold your thoughts. We got that. We can get I'm some cards in there. The... We could put in a... Actually, I don't know if I want to put all that in there. H-A-O-R-I. A hori? Haori? Haori? Haori or Haori? Haori. It's a Haori. Did I say that right? Probably not. I'm butchering this. I feel really bad. It's really fun. Don't feel too bad. And Sune looks really cool on it. It's a word you're not familiar with. And I don't think they can get them anywhere else, right? She had them on her website, but I think she may have sold out. Okay. Yeah, because that was released for... Let's see here. Six, seven... It's a yeah. Sune Loves Anaheim, and that was from December. Didn't she have those at Kamoracon? Mm -hmm. I yeah. believe so. Yeah. All right. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, uh, Homong, Okumi. I think. Are y'all just throwing out words now and trying to mess with us? No. Look, Honey Bunch just helped. Yeah, but then Port Fiori. and Falconer Fiori. dove in with other words. They're just being silly. I think. I. You know, with those two, they were just in the winds though, so I can't talk badly about them. They helped us win. Okay, so we're gonna play the box game. In case Kimmy is watching and just you know busy or whatever, for anybody else that doesn't know, uh, Kelly joins us uh, for the box game each week if she can. So la yeah, we, was it last week we didn't have you? It was weird without you yeah. last week. Yeah, she's back. New Marino. See, you're just making things up now. A bibbity bobbity. That's got to be it, Ben Feldman. Mm. Finally said something he's not making fun of me. Falcon, I was like, no, okay, we is real. So we play the box game, which is your chance. I bribe you guys all the time and say, please come by and earn your Sully Bucks. You do. And then this is where I give you the chance <laughs> to <laughs> circle of life. This is the chance where you get to use your Sully Bucks. Wow. And bonus points to Cal Laird for spelling that out. Yeah. Uh, your chance to use your Sully Bucks for a chance to win a prize or prizes. So if you don't know how many points you have, everybody has them. Uh, regardless, of, as long as you've been here more than five minutes, yeah. regardless of when you came in, you can check your points doing like Punk just did with exclamation point points. Punk has 20,768. Where, where are you at? crazy. Oh, Miss Jessie, Jessie Star. Star. That's so funny. She raged quick because I wasn't here. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I warned That's everybody. So sweet. Jace has 29,000. I want to see how much Jesse Star has. Pit Bellina has 395. Probably like 3 million. Probably. <laughs> At least. Way more than me. I think she has all the Way points. Way more than me. Every time you guys spend points, they just go to Miss Jessie Star. <laughs> Puzzled Puzzlers, 18,000. Miss Jessie Star, there it is. 127,721 points. Whoa. Wow. Uh, who has 53,000? That is wild. B form, 42,000. Look at y'all. Okay. Uh, so you are in your points, even if you only have 100, even if you only have 10, you have a chance to win. And we'll tell you how in just a minute, but we'll show you the prizes first. Allie. Let's go left hey, to right. Uh, oh, Allie uh, wrote in to drop, and they're sending her a new box for her pink. They uh, really are? Yeah, they're doing it. <gasps> and oh, Tech pink got Power one. Ranger? But sadly, That's good, because she was really excited about Pink Power Ranger. The top of my box looks like there's teeth marks on it. It's well, hard to, you, know, you can see it the right normal. angle. Somebody tried to People bite into do, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's an egg. So there's hope I can send in and get a replacement box. That would be nice. What? For a $300 pot. You would get a replacement for that? That's what they do. Yeah. If but you that's get a, not very damaged. That's barely anything. That, well, we'll ask whoever on eBay is like, I want to buy that, but that's a damaged box. It's up to them, really. Okay. That'll happen years down the road. I'm not. Was Charlie hungry? Does Is the air dry? Is the water wet? Right. She'll eat anything. We were talking about Charlie yesterday. Charlie would eat like, I think she would eat five pounds of food a day if we left it out. Oh, yeah. And like one of those feeders that just keeps like refilling as they eat. She would eat herself to death. She would. She'd be laying by the bowl, like just scooping nuggets of food she in her mouth. She acts like she's never been fed in her entire life. It's actually really sad. Chuck, there but, you go. man. Is Texas hot? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're going to show you the prizes and we'll tell you how to enter for the box game first. This one seems a little weird if you're just watching for the yes, first time. Does. But I used to have a partner here called Ziply Fiber, and they sent me these cool coffee cups, and I liked using it for my day-to-day, -day, so I think you'll like it, too. It is a Ziply Fiber-themed, insulated, stainless steel mug. Uh, and then what really makes it fun is what's inside. 
We also have a... Not coffee, don't worry. I know, right? I could use some more, probably. Uh, it comes with a very limited 10 pieces Nerds Unite sticker, number 4 of 10, and a uh, Zipply Fiber-themed NFT, one of one. That's got a lot of mining power in Wombat Dungeon Master. So if you win that uh, and you have a wax wallet, I send it to you. If you don't, you don't have to get the NFT. You still get a coffee cup and a sticker. Got a uh, Jiminy Cricket Funko Pop from Pinocchio. Look at you. Where's your fan? There it is. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. We got that. Then we got, uh, thanks to Kelly, you'll have your choice on this one. But we've got a sticker prize pack featuring some of my uh, designs and some from friends. You've got the parental advisory numbered out of 300. The Nintendo <laughs> themed so one weird. out of 255. <laughs> one of our Extra Life ones from uh, two years ago out of 75. One of the ones Savage created out of 50. Uh, a few fun ones, and the sticker <laughs> prize pack will also come with your choice of one of these pop pop sockets. You can choose Aquaman, uh, baby Aquaman, yeah. uh, Wonder Woman, or the Flash, my favorite one. You can pick any one of those. These are unused, brand new. I got them while I worked at Funko. Uh, and then we've got a Priscilla prize pack. So our friend Priscilla, uh, Valor and Bellum, <laughs> who's out at the, uh, I think she had one of the pop-ups tonight, one of the, like, Farmer's Market or something. Yes. And then she's at Slowly. WonderCon next. Or not WonderCon, uh, C2E2. We've got this, uh, whatever you call it, kimono featuring Sune. It's in size large. Uh, she showed these on her stream before, along with uh, one of the Spark Bird card decks. So cool. Limited to 500 pieces, along with one this of the... This is the whole prize pack? Ice Shatter uh, Torah Tie. That's a lot. And, yeah, I made this one. Pretty nice. And one of her uh, Apple New York Comic Con exclusive pins. That's I like that pin a lot. One, two, two three. three, four, and then five. This is the winner right here. If you get this Good one, one, this is the bitty pop. If you get this one, we will open it here on stream. And before we open it, the winner will choose one of these 12 bitty pops that are shown on the back. And if you get it right, you not only get the bitty pop, but you get every other prize shown. So cool. Every other prize. So I was one, just two, laughing because I was thinking, what if someone signed on right when I'm like sitting here like, like this? And they're like, oh, why does he make that girl hide behind a fan? <laughs> That's messed up. Just so the camera will focus, you know, but also it is toasty in here, you guys. And then you pop out and they're like, well, it certainly wasn't for lack of looks. That's for sure. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're very sweet. All right. So you guys are going to use your Sully Bucks to buy tickets into the giveaway. Each entry is 10 Sully Bucks. So okay. if you have only 100 points, you can buy a maximum of 10 entries. Uh, but the maximum anybody can buy is 150 tickets, which would cost you 1,500 so Sully Star Bucks. So that means Ms. Jessie Star can't buy... She can't buy them all. 27,000 yeah. tickets or whatever. Uh, yes, all the prizes. All in one package, Zach Bonifer. If you, every other prize and all the other prizes. Crazy. Uh-huh. Um, mm -hmm. box game giveaway. There is one caveat to this whole thing. You're going to buy your tickets. We're going to pick a winner. They're going to pick a box. Uh, Hi, Mindy. Like this. They'll pick one, two, three, four, or five, and it'll, it'll get whatever prize inside. If you win, you must have a U.S. shipping address. Must have a U.S. shipping address. It can, I can ship it to your friend. I can ship it to a reshipper. But well, you don't have to live here. Right. You, you've heard me say this so many times. You don't have to live here. You just need to have a friend or a reshipper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some fancy magic skills. Nadu, not quite that uh, of a finite delivery area. No. <laughs> Must have a Washington. We will hand deliver. Just kidding. Oh, my. That might be too popular. Um, all right, so 10 Sully Bucks per ticket. You can buy as many tickets as you want, up to 150. Thank you, Falconer, for recapping the prizes. Oh, we will nice. pick one winner. You must be here. When I say your name out loud, you'll have two minutes to tell me which box number you want, one, two, three, four, or five, which will have your prize inside, and what prize you hope to win, starting... <laughs> yes, Al, you would now. win, then, if it was all about local delivery. If we said local pickup only, Ali would win. <laughs> yeah, it's her and uh, let's see, every once in a while, a few different Should people from the area will come we, around, right? But I think Allie's closer. It'd be a but race. Whoever gets here first. Do we have post its? For we the prizes, have sir? post its. We've got, I may need to make one more. Oh. We've got the Zipply Fiber Cup. We've got the Sticker Prize Pack. We got the Biddy Pop. We got the Jiminy Cricket. And we, we need, need a new Priscilla. A Priscilla. Pee -pee. Okay, and then we can load up these boxes. Look, I have a Priscilla post it for the Priscilla prize bag. How perfect is that? It does not stick very well at all. So it's gonna fall in the box, just okay. FYI. 
Is these it because it's old are the box. No, they just never stuck really you well. Never had good sticky. I don't know why she gave them to you. Probably. <laughs> She's like, you like your post it oh, so I much. Oh, Priscilla was here. You're Jungle Bry. Why isn't Jungle Bry ever here for the box game? Uh, he's. We're not cool enough for him. He's like doing other things or something. Come on, Jungle Bry. By the way, we call the Priscilla Prize Pack the Priscilla Pee Pee. In case. In case you see somebody saying they want the pee-pee, you know what uh, what we're talking about. Those are the boxes stacked up in front of my face. We're hiding my ugliness. Nah. And we will get those filled up with our prizes here in just a moment. Uh, yeah. We're going to go seven minutes total. Seven minutes? Jungle Bry is sleeping. Falconer knows what's up. That's hilarious. All right. Let's see if he's sleeping, Falconer. That would be so funny. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I heard something in that box. That's funny. It's like, I did not clear out a post-it? <laughs> I'm going to just text Jungle Fry real quick. Falconer said you're sleeping. Is that true? Seven, no, Sinequin. Now what? Say what now? That sounds like a game we do not play on stream, Sinequin. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if Jungle Fry is sleeping. Anybody have any questions about playing the box game? If you've never played before, you don't know how it's played. So if you have a question, it's fair to ask. Everybody here will be nice. If they don't, oh, wait, you can't do they're exclamation gone. Exclamation point ticket max. I thought that did work. You can, but you have to. Uh... Oh, it worked. Dairy milk failed to enter giveaway too many tickets. Must have already bought a bunch of tickets. What do you call numbers that are always on the move? Roman, Roman numerals. Why do I feel like I saw something in the I chat like earlier about Zach. that? That was a good one. He was sleeping. You woke him up. He would never wake up from a text notification. No. I do. I do you know him. My mom would spray that kid in the face with a spray bottle in the morning in high school, and he still wouldn't wake up. I believe that. You could shake him, and he just would be like sleeping. One of my favorite movies ever. Um, Career opportunities. You ever seen that one where the kid's trapped in Target overnight and he falls in love with yeah, Jennifer Yeah, I love Connelly? that movie. So good, right? It's one of my favorites all the time. Watch that. But the opening is his dad like screaming at him, and yep. he's just asleep, and there's like a stack of alarm clocks I next to him. That. Yeah, oh that's man. Natty, if prizes are pick up only, Bri would be my proxy picker upper. Speaking of proxy picker uppers. Oh yeah. Is anyone attending? Was it C2E2? C2E2. C2E2, mm -hmm. C2E2 in Chicago. Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? She's, she's been asking me regularly. I might need a mule. We're, we're interested in Not getting Priscilla's drugs. stuff. Something yeah. Something cooler than drugs. <laughs> Falcon. Something a lot cooler than drugs. What do you call a food no. fight with unlimited amount of food? All you can eat. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we're going to pass on that one. I don't hate math. I hate that y'all think See, I'm bad at math. Maddie needs a mule too. Probably for the same thing. Yeah, is, well, it, is anybody from this chat going to C2E2? Still unread by Brian. I'm sure if you bought- Honks, I thought of you the other day. I was like, I'm pretty sure she's in Illinois. Let's ask. Dang. I'm pretty sure if we bought Grossinator a ticket, he would go do it for us, but we'd have to buy his oh, ticket. Yeah, probably. my popcorn dealer. Uh-huh, <laughs> dealer. <laughs> I got a popcorn guy. Wait, what? Carmen, you're going and so Oh, though? yeah. Well, they're, they're a combo deal. If one goes, yeah. the other goes. Well, they are not a combo deal because when I met Zozo at ECCCCCCC, there was no karma. That is true. You got Highly me. Highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. Nice, nicely done, Tech. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll send Ooh. you a little whisper because I would be willing to also purchase you one. If you got us one. Living can I think the limits too. We just saw that joke. What was that in? I was in a Masters of the Air last night, the Hippo Zippo one. Yeah. Masters of the guys who fly planes the in the air. Guys that fly the planes a long time ago. That's what the show's called. We're five minutes in, two minutes left to buy your <laughs> tickets. Any questions? Any concerns? <laughs> if you have concerns, keep them to yourself. We don't want to hear them. So do you have any questions? Oh man. If we all chip in, we can fly Sully to C2E2. That's very kind. I, uh... Like SECC with no RJ. I would definitely love to go to C2E2, but I'm I'm getting to the point where now where I may want to go to the Fanatics Con even more. Yeah. That'd be cool. That lineup Wait, of that Karma, is crazy. Wait, Karma, will you be at SECC with Sozo? 
or without Zozo. Linder, we got a recap from Falconer in the chat somewhere, but we got the uh, we got the Zipply Fiber Cup sticker and NFT. We've got the Jiminy Cricket Pop. We've got the Priscilla Peepee. We've got the sticker prize pack with the uh, Pop Pop Socket, and we got the Bitty Pop. Yes. And sorry, you loaded all those boxes by yourself. I was not being helpful. At You're okay. All. You were busy. I, I knew it. I was it. busy chatting. I just. I was busy seeking a mule. <laughs> this sounds like a, something I just out like of. I that a, because I've never been able to say that my whole life. Something off Craigslist. Seeking mule. Yes, Elvis and the guy from Soulbird Fly Planes. That's exactly what it's called. And I told him while we watched the very first episode last night that I just kept seeing Elvis because he just still sounds like Elvis. Aim. And I'm like, can he not sound like Elvis? <laughs> so we can not think of Elvis. But you know he was in Dune too, right? In the black and white scenes? He had no Wait hair, bald head. Minute. That was him. He was a creepy baldy? That was Austin Butler. Which one? The thin, tall guy who went down in the arena and fought? That was him. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Anybody want to back me up on that? That was him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I so mean, he did a totally different voice for that. makeup. Yeah, well, I mean, they he took his hair off. Totally they took his Elvis Wait, away. Wait, I didn't even recognize his eyeballs. Right. Well, they were the scenes he were in black contacts? and white. He was an awesome butler. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm yeah. just naturally talking that way. That's really wild. But but I saw an interview with him, and, oh, seven minutes is up. I'll give you guys another 20 wow. seconds to enter. I saw an interview with him, and he could do, he's like, which Elvis do you want to hear? I can do 20s Elvis, 30s Elvis, 40s That's Elvis. That's really crazy. Because his voice did change. Isn't that nuts? But he That's sounds cool. Crazy. I mean. I mean, he's a great actor. Yeah. He's a great, great actor. Not hard on the eyes. I'm sure, I'm sure that a lot of ladies like watching the films with him in there. I can't really pin down how old he is. Uh, I'm guessing. Wait, let's do 30. a guess right now. I'm gonna guess 28. That, that would be in, uh, somewhere in the 28 to 30 range. All right, we're closing the giveaway down in five. I need to look it up. Four, three, two, one. Closing the giveaway. Closing the giveaway. Joe closing the giveaway. Missed out. He indeed might be sleeping. Chuck said he's 32. What? Yep, I was close. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we were all in the right range. He, def he definitely has just a little bit of age to his face. He's kind of a baby face, I think. A little bit. But you can just see a little bit of gruff. A little bit. Hmm. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. We basically look the same, he and I. Basically. Same age, yeah. You're like 30-something. Yeah. Plus 10. Yeah, or 18. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to pick our winner. I see you guys are already drum rolling. I like that Nadu worked in yes. a Nerd Unite in the middle of the drum roll. I like it, too. We're picking the winner in five, four, three, three two. two. One. One and the winner is Duskworld. Duskworld yeah. twenty eight. Are you here? Duskworld, yeah, you got two minutes. So tell us which box. Give me a timer for two and minutes. Which prize are you hoping for? Ooh, the heat is on. Wait, did this do this? Did this do the thing? All right, six ten. If we don't see by six ten. Ooh, Duskworld, I hope you're here. I hope you didn't take now. Oh, there we go. Oh my, thank you, number three Priscilla prize pack. <laughs> More like 100 minus 30 something. We have trained people. Dusk World's like, oh God, I gotta go, gotta go. Right? Okay, Dusk World said three. Yay! You know how this game is played. Priscilla prize pack, okay. Priscilla PB. So okay, we could, number three, please, sir. we could show you, but we're not going to. Kelly's boring. gonna hold that. Yeah. Who does that? Who just gives I'll be so boring. Just shows a prize immediately. What freaks? Okay, uh, box five is the first prize you did not win. That's the first prize you did not win is, don't be Priscilla, don't be Priscilla, don't be Priscilla. It's not, oh, but the your chance pop. to win it all immediately gone. gone. It's okay. I'm sorry, you're still alive for the Priscilla PP. Let's go to box one on the other side. Another prize you did not win. Oh boy, too much, sorry. Another prize you did not <laughs> win, smooth as silk, is Jiminy Jimmy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket! <laughs> one in three chance. One in three chance. Let's go over to box four. Another prize you did not. Oh, that was yeah, horrible. Yeah, like, next time we're in a hurry, we'll do that. Like, which box? Okay, here you go. Bye. <laughs> four is. Uh oh, it's uh -oh, on the bottom. It fell, but it's, it's blue. It's not the Priscilla one. It is. What is it? What is it? What is it? 
the sticker prize sticker pack. pack. <gasps> 50 50 shot. We're Wait, down so to either Zipply or Priscilla. Or Priscilla. Oh, Dust World. Wait, is there an offer? I still have Shall one I phone more. the bank. <laughs> There's no offer. Is there an offer? <laughs> no, like where's the, no yeah, where's the wall I just of briefcases? I myself quite a bit by doing this. Do I do this? How do you do a phone? Th this now. Or or this if you're like a guy driving in a car. I see people hold the phone out like this. Also, my phone is literally right here. So I should have just said, should huh? I phone the That's bank? one way to do it. The banker. All right. Here it is for Dusk World. Kelly's going to show you in the box what prize you won. We're hoping for the Priscilla Pee Pee. After Kelly spent... Ooh, patented spin move. It is. It's good the... that it's at the bottom of the box. Oh gosh, it's the right it's post it. White. It's white. Ah! Yay! It's our Priscilla Prize Dust Pack. Dust World. That was like the best Priscilla Prize Pack ever. Dust too. World. Look at this. It already comes with a bag. What? So I can just put your stuff in there. You get the. Amazing. You get the kimono. You get the sticker. You get the cards. Yeah, this doesn't have any sticky on it. You get at the all. enamel this pin. It's not a sticky note. It's like very like. It's silky. like a. Like a, a somewhat sticky note. Quite silky. This might be the strangest pen I've ever seen. I don't even know if it writes. It's a pork. A what? A pork. From They're all going to kick me Star out Trek. for not knowing that. Nah. You just don't eat porks. That's the big debate. Uh, just to prove that we're on the up and up, there's the Zipply fiber. Work. Yeah, that one. That one's a struggle. Here we go. Can you write? None of these writing work Can you write Dusk World with that? Dusk World, congratulations. Uh, just, yeah, thank you so much, Sully and everyone. You nailed it. Three is the winner. Uh, if you could... Uh... Always, but we literally do not look at which post it goes in which box. We don't know. we don't know what the winner's hoping for. We don't look. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Uh, if you could please uh, send me a DM. It's a large, Nadu. If you could please send me a DM on Twitter specifically. That's where I look first. And then if you don't do Twitter, uh, send me a whisper on Twitch with your full delivery address. Even if you think I have it, let's just make sure that I have the right one because, God, I'm always... A little panicky that I... Yeah, and then we'll make sure it goes out ASAP. Which is within two to three weeks, average. I will encourage that it goes out sooner than I that. I try to hold a few, so I'm just doing, like, shipping in a, in a burst. But they go out. I'm way better than I used to be. There was times where people waited a long time. But now you have a helper. I do. To run things. Did you it. want Wonder Woman? Pops? I sort of do, but I sort of want that to happen. Yeah? yeah. What's that mean? Am I, am I leaving it then? In the prize bag? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put that under there. Uh, it's the fact that it's box three, the good stuff gravitates there. It's crazy how often it happens. Really crazy. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. But it happens. Really crazy. Our goal was 615 today, and look at there, it's 615. Jungle Bry. I nailed it. Did he answer? No, he didn't read yet. What is he, he even doing? Sleeping. What is he even doing? He might be playing basketball or hockey or designing. Doesn't he have a drop coming soon? Maybe he's working. Oh, I know something that could be... Oh, no. Did I leave what? my iPad down? Oh, no, there it is. I, I I hinted at Tuesday I'll be giving a free NFT to everybody. Uh, this is not the final NFT, but this is one of the ones that uh, they can be working towards after that. I'm just going to show her. I'm not showing y'all. What is that? Oh, you don't know? Okay, hold on. Don't 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 say anything. I don't, I don't even want yeah, them to know wait, the uh, hint. So they don't know the character? They, they'll know the character. But I don't. I'm not even telling them that. I feel like you showed me that yesterday. Did I? Okay. But it looks pretty good, huh? Because, well, I don't know what I could say or not say. Is it close to the the thing that I'm showing you? The yeah if influence that's bigger, like how that. You think bigger, it needs to be bigger? Then more. She's talking about the NFT. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no matter what she says, that's what she's talking about. The <laughs> NFT. <laughs> I got her with that one. Oh, geez. That's really funny. And this is Jungle Bride Z's. You might be. Uh, Night Buddha, you know, that's funny. I was just thinking about that. I haven't talked to my brother much lately here Dude, at all. He needs to be returning. Yeah, we're going to have to retool it, though, because he has a full-time job that's keeping him very busy, and I have so much going on now. We'd need to do a different version of movie retakes yeah. uh, where we could record much quicker because he, he and I would both spend hours. Misty. <laughs> Drive by teaser. That's not even a thing with screenshots and screen recording. I, I have done it for them in the past. I know you haven't. It's so silly. Yeah, I'm not doing it this time. It's so silly. <laughs> Chuck. Can I just tell them what colors it is? Mm, yes, but, but whatever they type in chat, we're not confirming or denying. No, but it is blue and yellow. There you go. Killed a fellow. Show a blurred version. I kind of did that with Woofy. I did the... Uh, I did the 
uh, image of the concept with a banner across it, you Wait, could see you a little blur. Probably do something in that program that makes it all like digitized or like blurry, right? I could, I could. That'd be kind of fun. No confirming or denying, so. On anything? Nope. Okay. Nadu, everybody's always asking about the Motu. I made a sticker huh? for movie retakes, uh, Masters of the Universe. I made a, ma uh, a movie retake sticker that looked like Masters of the Universe. That's cool. And we gave it away, and that was everybody's first choice. And so we were out of it in no time, but I made the mistake of showing I had one more. And I'm like, we're out. And they're like, no, you have one. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm keeping one. Yeah, you get one. Yeah, but they, uh, everybody just, no matter what I'd say, I'm out of the Motu. You can't have Motu. They'd be like, I won. I want Motu. That that's would, so funny. That's all they would say. Um, has anyone seen Civil War, the movie yet? Should we see that or something different? Not I that scary little girl movie. Abigail? You yeah. want to see Abigail? <laughs> Sir, I did not make it through that Sir. preview. <laughs> I did not make it through that preview, so... Yikes. Punked. That's a rare feat. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a rare feat. That's so cool. Savage. Nobody. Nobody on Civil War. I hear Abigail is fun. I don't oh, think those words Civil go War. together. Wasn't determined for me, but can be for me. Okay, I can handle a little bit. And when it's, I feel like it's situational and it's like, how hard are we focusing on it? Like, the guy got shot in the head, we know that. Okay, let's move on. Or like, the guy got shot in the head, we're going to zoom in on it and you're going to watch his brain spill out. Yeah. That's where you lose me. Which is funny because it wasn't a, a date, but when we first hung out, before we went on a date, we that went was like all sort things. Of my plan. Yeah. But, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> we went and saw Cocaine Bear of all things. I legitimately thought that movie <laughs> was just a comedy. I had absolutely no idea the gore that would be in that movie, and I was actually mortified that I sat there next to you in Boston too, right? Yeah, yeah Gatos was there, mm -hmm. and I covered my eyes for the majority of that film. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Misty, you're still waiting on us? To, oh, please message me. I thought I had all those delivered. Please message me. I do have access to all my stickers now, so I can get that out. Wait, what? Still waiting on a sticker? I, you know what? If I remember right, there was a lost oh envelope situation. Because I think uh, Mist, one of Misty's set of stickers that was all combined together didn't get to her. I think that's what it was, if I remember right. I, I owe her a few okay. things. We'll get you taken care of, Misty. Allie, I haven't seen Migration yet, actually. I don't think Macy's watched that either. We should do family movie night and watch Migration. Oh, yeah, I'd love that. That'd be fun. You were expecting a hilarious yes. romp? With co yeah, the trailers the made trailer it look made like it, it was more funny. It really funny. I thought it'd be at least partially. It was like a tiny bit funny. Mm, very it was little. Very gory. <laughs> Craziness. Savage was responding to Nadu. Oh, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Work. Oh. So tell me, anybody who saw that one, is that one overly. Um, do they show a lot of blood and guts up close? Because I definitely want to see that one. And that looks like it's more funny with good action. But I'm afraid it's going to be bloody. Crazy. Misty, will you be at SDCC this year again? She will. We were talking about so. hotels earlier. Yeah. She's, she's trying else? to get the hotel. Nadu, will you be there? Miss Jessie Star? Nadu will. Trek across the country? Nadu will never commit in advance. Are, are, you, okay. are you going, Nadu? Are you going to come? He, he made it the last two years. Yeah. Uh, cocaine bear was based on a true story, though the bear died in a very short yeah. time. <laughs> you should, Nadu? Oh, sweet. All right. We're going to get the gang together. I wonder if I could convince Priscilla to do a combo uh, Sune slash Nerds Unite party. No, it's going to be a Sune meetup with a Nerds Unite after party. Oh, okay. Okay. I like that plan. Got my bag. Just need to book a flight ticket. Awesome. Which, if we get... Yay, Misty, that's awesome. Um, if we get a hotel, hopefully we're not homeless. Yeah, well, I feel good about our chances, but... Okay. And we still need to figure out which ticket you were missing. You were missing something. I think it's preview I night. I think it was preview night. The bear was an apex predator for about five minutes. <laughs> oh, man. And didn't even know it. Yeah, Keller, that actually is a good idea. Oh, yeah, you should, Nadu. Dang. WrestleMania instead of SDCC. Miss Jessie Star and Ben's priorities are whack. I've been to WrestleMania before one. Wait, what? Yeah, we've been over this. When? What year? My high school boyfriend was obsessed. Oh. So it was in with the wrestling. 2000s. It was in, well, the Hulk was there. 
Wow, that's cool. I got a cool. Hulkamania shirt that I wish I still had. What? Yeah. Um, I have a signed okay, Hulk Okay, let's pop. actually really think about this. That would have been either 2000... I don't want to say it's that loud. I feel so old. Do 2001, you remember, probably. Do you remember who won? No, no. I remember feeling super disappointed that it wasn't nearly as exciting as watching on TV. Because you're it's so different. far away. And it was just like... You couldn't hear all of the announcer stuff, so yeah. there was a lot of awkward silence, Yeah, I felt like. But. And there's a lot of long periods of time in between things happening. Yes. That like normally is commercials. Breaks. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. It was it was strange. I, I've never been to WrestleMania, but I've been to several WWE events. <laughs> it was a red shirt and then yellow, a giant nice. cross said Hulkamania. I thought it was so cool. That would be a cool Nerd Unite shirt. I had shirt. for the longest time. Nerd Unite that looks like Hulkamania? Cody Rhodes cool. winning the WWE Championship was top priority. Is that who won? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Ben. New York is better. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been, been to New York in a long time. The one so time. That would be fun. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, you. The one time that Ben went, uh, me, him, I, I, on my last day, I had this tradition when I worked at Funko of finishing up all of Sunday, because I worked God knows how many 17 yeah. hour days in a row. I would go to Cheesecake Factory, get a cheesecake, slice of cheesecake, then go to the room and literally just lay in the bed with a fork and shovel it in my mouth until I fell asleep, which did not take that long. I know it's horrible, but I needed that so bad. And <laughs> and that one year that Ben Feldman was there and uh, uh, Clint Crockett, I went over to the Cheesecake Factory, and as I'm walking back, I run into those two, and they're like, you want to okay. go grab a beer? And I was like... You're like, I have a plan. I have a plan, <laughs> but but I, I want to do this, because we didn't get to hang that often. So we went and had a beer or two and talked, and then I went up and fell asleep eating my cheesecake. It there was It was a Wait, pretty glorious did afternoon. Did cheesecake get all warm and melted? No, it was good. Yeah. What month of the year is New York July. Comic Con? Oh, yeah, but but I was in the I'm air conditioning with the fan cheesecake. Of being there when it's super hot. It's actually pretty nice. The oh. first year that I went, uh, we would camp out overnight uh, for the panels, and I had a hoodie, and I went. We were sleeping near the water, and I was freezing overnight. I literally really? was inside my hoodie I like just, this trying I guess to sleep. I, the one year we walked the absolute most, it was the hottest, mm. and we were like walking outside in the streets and like the manholes, and it was hot, and I was. No bueno. Uh, <laughs> what you gonna do when Nerdomania no runs wild back. on you? Why are you typing in all caps? <laughs> Nerd, because he's doing the thing like you yell it. You I, did a good job. I know. <laughs> Sully Mania. No, we go Nerd United. Nobody needs a Sully Mania shirt. It's actually really nice in San Diego. I mean, you were there last year. It wasn't bad. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, it was warm, but it was I did hot. not feel too warm one single time. Right. I was prepared to be miserable because you describe everything above 70 degrees as misery. But but it was actually beautiful never, and amazing, and I loved it. But I never said that about San Diego. You said it could be so hot standing in lines. You have to have water. But then we didn't stand in a single line because it was a weird year. It was a weird year, yeah. But, yeah, we won't be doing that. I sat in front of Luke Perry and his son at Wrestle... No kidding. The, the late, great Luke Perry. That's crazy. Now do you know. Tuesday. You proud of me for knowing that? Uh, oh, the Texans uniforms. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. That. But you all saw the new Detroit ones. Uh, they look great. I love Detroit that. Detroit Electric awesome. blue. The black and blue helmets. That's yeah. where it's at. I saw them again today. Some good high-def photos. They look really good. Nadu, it was, who's, I mean, just look who's up. Who's yelling? It was Zach Bonifer. <laughs> Luke Wait, Perry's son is a wrestler? What? No way. Who would have known? I wonder if he runs with uh, with uh, Frank the Clown. There's, uh, there's uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Foley, Mick Foley. You know that name, right? I don't. You don't know Mick Foley? Okay, he was big wrestling in the like eight, late 80s, early 90s, I think into like early 2000s. His when daughter. Uh, is a fanatic and a, and a, oh. she's I've hung out with her a few times but her boyfriend is a wrestler in like the minor league of wrestling okay. and he convinced Mick Foley to wrestle him and they had a match against one another so he went up against a legend but Frank the clown this guy who's is like a buck 60 soaking wet oh gosh but he's actually a pretty fun wrestler I've seen a couple of his matches That's before crazy. is this hurting your ear because no. you're crushing your my aggressive right fold yeah, that, that Mick Foley, exactly, in six. Yeah, Noel Foley, his daughter, uh, I got to hang out with her a couple times, and one was in the line for fun days one year. That's cool. No, yeah. Callard, we did not expect anything less. I really hope your Lions are good again. This yeah, year, Because no that'd be real exciting, because, I mean, obviously, I know your pain of having a team that is not usually good. 
she does know. I'm not gonna know that this year. This is gonna be the first time I can say without a doubt, my Texans are gonna just dominate. So are my Browns. I don't know, you got rid of your best quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, my adorable dad is like, this is our year. He believes that with every ounce of his being. And then all his hopes and dreams are crushed. And he comes back the next year with the same passion. I think your dad should just become it's a incredible. Texans fan. Let's just make the family he Texans fan. He said he fan. was. He said his second team His second Texans. team could win. He did say that. Um, Funko Out of Tech, I have one of those. Did you know that? I have one of those. Those little, circle ones? The little stools that, no, not the circle one. But it like folds up real small. I have one that's like, like little you legs. you totally put in your backpack and it just makes a little triangle of fabric up in the top okay. that you sit on it's not like that no mine telescopes also okay but those chairs are uh gatos had one of those tech at uh yeah. D at disney oh, punk, yeah, or flat star wars <laughs> sad oh no Uga, you're good you're good it was uh it was uh, uh uh dusk world one maybe next week for you is your dad a cowboys fan sounds like no they won in the 90s at least yeah. they were good in the 90s is there just four teams that haven't won the Super Bowl? Well, the Texans haven't won. We haven't even come really close. That's actually a really good question. I want an answer to that. Hey, I Siri. I think there's more. How many teams have not won the Super Bowl? Question mark. Wait, I said question mark as if I was like texting. Texting. But I didn't need to say Yeah, it's all good. Siri's so dumb. Why did I ask Siri? Okay. Here's what I found. Along with the Bills and Chargers, a total of 13 teams. Wait, so along with the Bills. That's the weirdest this is answer. The, it says, along with the Bills and Chargers, a total of 13 teams have not won the Super Bowl. So is it 13 or 15? <laughs> it's, doesn't, that, doesn't that seem like the option? Like it's Bills yes. and Chargers and 13 other teams? It's stupid. It's terrible. In case anyone hasn't, hear, hasn't heard, the Patriots won a lot of Super Bowls. <laughs> 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 like I don't normally cuss on stream, but no sh Oh my gosh. <laughs> we clean house and now have Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Oof. Okay, this is much more dependable. Whoever said 12, Callard, yes, 12 teams. Oh, I wonder what that other thing was, was wrong. Oh, but the other thing could have been a, a question from Siri a previous is, year, and then now that team's won. Siri is really frustrating. Do you have a screen thing on yours? Yours looks more matte finish than mine. Because it's dirty. Oh, that's just finger, because finger goo. Because I use it to check people out all day long. <laughs> because it's dirty. It's like hairspray and whatever yes. else you use for your job. Yes, there's hair product all over this. I did perform a hair miracle today. Do you want to see? Oh, did you pull it off? I pulled it off. And she loved it. And I was like, Not I'm going to tell you right now, because I did it, that I didn't think this was going to happen. You and I was like, her? this is kind of a miracle. I didn't think we could give your hair extensions and have them actually look good. There's a V4. Okay. All right. So clearly short hair here. And her hair has a bit of a, a, a maroon. So this is like real thick short hair. Okay. Thick. I'm going to go to where we can't see her face, thick. just in case she wouldn't want me to do this. Okay. Real thick, short hair. I mean, her hair looks pretty nice before. Right? Oh, gorgeous. So right? thick. Like, yeah. great, cute, short curly hair. Crazy, like, black and maroon mixture. Um, this is a hair stream now, in case you guys were wondering. I've been telling you to stream hair, but I, I meant on your own. This is the after. Whoa! This is after. This is what I do, guys. Monster hair. Oh, sorry. Wait, they can't see it. Move your face. Hold on, let's hit play again. Look how beautiful that is. Right? And now our hair looks like this. Dang! Growing up in the 90s is like a Like magic. I just get to do magic at work all day. Too bad. Okay, hair stream's over. Sorry, guys. As any stream of yours should be, Kelly. <laughs> this right? is walking miracle. This is certainly not my stream. It's crazy to see the before and afters on her stuff. It's really good. If only there was a, something to attach hair to, I could have long hair too, but. You could remember it? I'm oh, I'm learning. Right. We can make that There's happen. There's a video of a, of a lady who does these like Keller, toupee. that might happen. What? What do you say? You said magic oh, would be giving Yeah, there's this hair. video series of a, of a lady who's figured out this process for giving guys toupees where literally she spreads the glue on and puts it down, but you cannot tell. At all. It looks so unbelievably real. The problem is we would have to grow out the bottom half, which would look insane. Oh, before? For a while. Yeah, yeah. before we could actually do it. But I always wear hats, so we could just tuck it up in the hat while I'm growing it out. Tuck it? No, like it just has to be grown up enough to be like the bottom of a an average men's haircut. Like a I groomed... hate you, Zach Bonifer. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Puzzle Puzzler. Thank you, Punks. 
I would never like seek out getting a toupee because I just was like, ugh. Okay, when but I think when about you that. say toupee, you think like yeah. Donald Trump, yeah. like ew, that's awful. Like they have come so far, it's crazy. <laughs> Misty, as you're saying it, Misty was like, "Do you think the former POTUS is real or fake?" <laughs> that's so funny. That is so. Funny. I would never seek it out, but if you wanted to do it as like an experiment, he said he would be a guinea pig. I would, for it. I would do it, and I probably would still wear you a hat while streaming. Like, oh my gosh, he grew hair! Like it looks so unbelievably real. I the can't technology. fathom what I would look I'm like. I'm trying. To, I work very hard to be a master of all hair extensions, all different types, and this is one of them now. So. <laughs> he would He's still not be able to feel you run your fingers through his hair. This stream's That's over. So Bye, everybody. Funny. That's so funny. <laughs> it is real hair. So if you said, like, is that real hair? Yes, it is real hair. Is that your hair? Yeah, well, you bought it. I purchased it. it. You bought yeah. it. So uh -huh. yes, it is your hair. <laughs> I want clients to do this all the time. Bye, Mindy. Have a great weekend. I think Mindy thought I was being serious about getting off here, but I am. We're about to get out of here. Oh, funny. So, wait. I thought she was just saying bye. Yeah, well, she might have been, she's too. She's got to go do something more oh, fun. Oh, she does. She does. Poor Mindy got her, uh, she she had talked about this earlier. I was trying to keep her name out of it. She's like, it happened, but her wallet got hacked and she lost all of her stuff. No, like Brian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so she lost all of her Nerd Unite heart. NFTs too. <gasps> what? Yeah. Stinks. I hate these hackers so much. Yeah, though, I mean, Karma will get them. We won't see it. Not Savage. <laughs> What if wait? The other kind of car. What if like Savage is an angel? She's I, a wonderful angel. I want to see this movie. I could write this <laughs> script for a movie where he takes Karma is really this like happy-go-lucky, super friendly, all smiley, positive person. Talented. But at night when her husband goes to bed, she loads up the weapons and goes out on the town just for just karma. destroying her people who have been mean oh to my others. Gosh, that's Crazy. She finds the wax address of the person who took advantage of Funko Lover 30 and blows a hole right through him. Right. Okay, you're <laughs> right, Falconer. That's the only way around it is to say, did that hair grow from your follicles? <laughs> that is true. If you were asking somebody that question, you have a problem. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Karma is the Go guy on, on the Chiefs? Wait, what? Yeah. Is there a guy named Karma? Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is my boyfriend. Oh, I see. There you I go. see. There it is. Remember Pretty good. One time you were like, who sings this song? Yep, well, now I know all about it. Did y'all know that there are 30 new tracks? 31? 31, 31, 31 tracks new on tracks. Taylor's new album. I forgot to say Happy Taylor Swift Day to everybody. Yeah, happy Dead Paint Society or whatever it's Adorable called. Adorable Macy is just <laughs> sitting there rating every track and taking notes. Oh, She's no, the Mindy. Thing ever. I'm so sorry. You're just having a bad day, oh, Mindy. You need a full reset. I'm so sorry, Mindy. I'll Such say a little a prayer for Mindy, everybody, that tomorrow is Please the beginning feel of, a, better soon. of a new day and a new chapter. It's awful. That stinks. It really does. Chuck, why are you such a hater, Chuck? Hater, hater, hater. I'm proud of Allie. She hasn't said anything bad about her yet. I was I was driving yesterday and I caught the tail end of like they was talking about it. It was a news segment where they're like, "This is going on," and I didn't hear the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure I heard them say because I wasn't fully paying attention. Pretty sure I heard them say that there is a college that is offering an economics program based on how Taylor Swift has run her business. Wow. And I honestly want to take the class. Yeah. I think what she's done is amazing. Yeah, it'd be very interesting. Yeah, pink eye sucks. I had it when I was a freshman in high school. I had pink eye, strep throat, and pneumonia at once. Not I never fun. wanted to die except for right then. Not fun I wanted at all. to die. It could be worse listening to Texas Hold'em by Beyonce. I I didn't think it was that bad. Mm, did you know that Taylor Swift did backup vocals on that album? On no. the new Beyonce album? What? They are collectively taking over the world. These I was going to say. Two women I in their competing. 30s are collectively taking over the world. I thought they were more it's like. crazy. Like. Each one takes a turn taking the lead and then just see no, how far they can take no. it, but they're helping I each think other. They're... Wow. Yep. Crazy. What was it? We heard a story about somebody getting pink eye lately recently and it was about a dog who kept tooting. Who told us that story? The dog was real gassy. Oh, um Gwen. Was it? And yeah. the, and the dog crop dusted a whole group of people at a party and then Someone Somebody got pink eye from But I don't know if that's how that works. I, don't I know. mean, if the dog is right up in you, Ew, like, stop, stop. you know, 
I'm going to try to draw, draw a got diagram right now. dog. We should probably let her in. I don't have a dog, Mindy. <laughs> well, Mindy He's I, just being silly. I didn't think that was exactly just it. just being silly. Do you have a cat? People always say bad things about getting pink eye, but you can literally get it from, like, pumping gas. Yeah, like, you accidentally touch the handle, the rub thing. your eye. Like, yeah. it's... <gasps> Jungle Run! There he is. Good morning. He said, Falconer Good said you were asleep. To you. <laughs> Falconer said Z and then arrow. This is Jungle Run. Look, he is awake. Or a whack. He if texted you're me earlier. I knew he was awake. <laughs> I let. I read Falconer's "Were you sleeping?" as "Where were you sleeping?" I don't know why. Well, so I was like, maybe he's working on the next drop. Maybe he's doing some fun Friday thing. Fun Friday. What Maybe would a fun Friday thing be? he's perfecting his golf swing. I mean, he Something was working on... I need to spend oh, time on. Oh, that's right. What? Brian needs to see this. Oh, wait. Brian, wait, it came in. I unboxed it earlier in the stream. I don't I don't necessarily want to do it again. Why? Uh, but I Because I don't want to damage the box. Well, I didn't get to see it. And well, you're the one that's you know always what? telling people it's okay to open them. The box is damaged. Do you want to see so, it, Brian? Yeah, let's, let's do the full reveal again. Oh, you couldn't sleep. Nice, Bry. Oh. All right, here we go. Here is the uh, the mosquito in amber. It's still not focusing. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's hard to make out in the lighting there, but we're going to take it out of box. Uh, the box does have some damage on top. Not really. I mean, it's That's enough. Fake damage. It's not fake. It, it's enough to be frustrated by it. But both uh, Tarshar and Puma and Tech said recently they've had boxes replaced within a matter of a couple of weeks. I definitely like it because it is one of the most unique pops I have ever owned we'll get it out of box here let's take a look i used the trick uh i already before you even take it out of the the plastic insert it's so cool it's not solid it's hollow with a pop inside definitely fingerprint it's like a prone. surprise toy look at that it's so cool looking and i think if you it's got like it not even a pop if you got with the right size light behind it look at how cool that looks this is too big of a light, but look how awesome that looks. Just need to get the right size light. I think it's super cool. Uh, we looked it up, and at one point, I didn't know this, but at one point, the, the Jurassic Park set was doing so bad, you could have bought this for $100. And there's only uh, 739 of these in the world. Okay, now, so like, did you already look today? What's it going on for? On eBay, anywhere between uh, 220, no, 250 275 Okay. Which is a good return. I figure all in, I spent about three hundred dollars on Jurassic Park, but I got about nine hundred dollars in value. Okay. So, and one is of that those. The only one that came today. No, all those. That whole stack. Uh, Freddy Funko. I got three of. Those were as low as forty-five dollars at one point. Now they're going for one hundred and twenty-five each. Whoa. And I got them for forty-five dollars each. That's crazy. Oh, definitely will, right, Mindy. Okay. Thank you for the thank um, you for the pro tip. Jungle Bry, while you're here, how was Civil War? I think we're gonna go see it. And I'm a little disappointed there was no front seat movie thoughts about it. Yeah, when's that coming back, Jungle Bry? The world wants to know. Front seat Because the last time he thoughts. did one was a very long time ago. I mean, maybe he's doing them on his own. He's just not posting them. He's not doing it. <laughs> Boxes were made to be damaged. I I mean, yes, Someone's but Someone's arrived no. with the head falling off? That's happened, yeah. Yikes. I mean, it could have been intact when they shipped it, but then it gets box gets you know bumped around and yeah falls off the glue is no good that's pretty funny though Brola? anyone uh we want Civil a betty War? movie review okay. on tuesday Ooh, that's a good idea we, really what we should do is have a movie retakes episode but put you and betty in charge of it and have y'all do some episodes I think it might be, be fun. slightly better than betty and i playing um, rocket league rocket league i still wish i had seen that you were so good it was good. I'd say there are better theater movies out there. It's not political at all. Okay, well, that well, I'm helps. glad it's not political. That helps. What should we see instead, then, in the theater? Totally. It just if we're not going to see Civil War, Amber right? With the head. I bet, Punk. They literally don't even mention why okay. the Civil War... Wait, what? Well, I guess that could be That's a good weird. debate to have. That's a weird thing, though. How do you... Betty and Kelly playing Fortnite? You guys. I just can't even... I don't know a single thing. About it. I wouldn't even know how to walk around the land. Uh, wait, what was? Wait, this? what are the next Funko drop oh, redeemables? Oh, you didn't see For the. What? You I didn't don't even see. know what the next drop. You is. were you were busy this morning, and I didn't want to bug you. Here you go. It's okay. Is first of all, is the next drop the blue and yellow? N no, 
Oh, okay. uh, just so you know, though, this is horror. So before you even see it come up, you're not going to like some of it. It's horror. Yeah, WB horror. But they look cool. Don't they only do this at Halloween time? No, that's Funkoween. That, they, they do do that. Do do. But this is specifically WB uh, licensed movies. So you got Annabelle's oh. The Ferryman, which this glows in the dark. That's pretty cool, Wait, right? Wait, so there's Annabelle, which is a horror movie, and now there's Abigail. Yeah, oh yeah. There's are a they whole, related? There's a whole family of A names that are all horror movies. Are they related? Uh, no, I have no idea. You made Alexa, that up? the horror movie. Shut up. <laughs> I have no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't think they're related. You got the ferryman. You got the accordion monkey with glasses, Wait, apparently. Oh, yeah. Punk, you're right. The video is out now. You got Black Shuck. You got uh, Pazuzu. Okay. I don't know any of these things. Creepy. You got Goat Demon. There's a person face. Creepy. And no eyes creepy. Need Freddy Funko as Father Crap Karras and the Eyes the and the exorcist. Crown. I did watch The Exorcist Both in high school. Glow in I did regret that. I bet. Oh, Abigail's a real girl, and that other one was a doll. All right. I bought a pound of saltwater taffy at Fresh Time. Can't stop eating it. What's Fresh Time? I, I feel like there was a joke there that I didn't understand. That's interesting. I don't know. Um, I think it's time to get out of here. Let's go have some din din. <gasps> yeah, we'll go to I our got... place where we're regulars. Well, I don't think we count as regulars anymore. We've missed like three weeks in a row. Yeah, they, they gave up on us. <laughs> I, this is exciting. Please don't leave. I, I'm going to give everybody some Sully Bucks, but my friend Mule, this guy you're seeing right here on the screen, yeah. they haven't seen yet. Oh, he's super, so cute. He's so excited. Super nice guy. I would, if you would have said, tell me about Mule, I would have said, super nice guy, loves Star Wars, has a huge family. Before we get over there, I'm looking at the title of this one. Party that? of seven soon. I think he's got another baby on the way. This kid has a basketball team or, a, or like two bands. This is crazy. Wow. I'm so excited That's for so him, though. so fun. I don't know why they're trying to repopulate the earth, just him and his wife, but... Brian's going to wait till October to watch Abigail. Smart. Very different, interesting concept. I Yeah. Pennywise Zappy Duck is still in the shipping box. What? Huh? What? Why? What did I miss? Oh, because it's horror and it's scary. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Like so we're going to raid over to Mule. I'd love for you guys all to hang out and go over and give a big congrats, if I'm right, and that's what this title means. I can only assume it does. That's cool. Uh, he's a super nice guy. So can we do hashtag congrats? Hashtag, congrats hashtag, on seven or something like that? I like that. Hashtag congrats on and then the number seven. I'll drop it in the chat here for everybody. So we'll go over uh, congrats on... Oops on seven so you can copy and paste it if you want to like that it's super awesome we're gonna get the raid going now because it looks like he's in between matches uh you guys go over and have fun hanging with mule we're gonna go have some drinks and some queso and some other mexican food i'll be back on tuesday 11 a.m pacific at the latest exactly brian uh and uh wait what do you say <laughs> hashtag family basketball team right <laughs> uh and uh there will be a freebie so don't miss tuesday it'll yeah. be a free nft i think I'll you're gonna like it yellow freebie so let's get the. I gave him a hint. Yeah, you did. Add points all. Thank I'm gonna you give everybody punked. 75 Sully bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And another 10. 75 Sully bucks. All right, here we go. We're gonna raid Mulehorn. Um, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Remember to wash your hands. Check in on somebody you love. Make sure they're doing okay. And above all else, most importantly, nerds unite. Night. Bye, everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye, guys. Hashtag congrats on seven. Yeah. Wait, I need sound. I need to hit the raid button. <laughs> we need to click this, change the sound. I'm, I'm trying. I know. It's yeah, so nice. stupid how complicated this is. Here we go. Look it. Wait, did it already go through? It zoomed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.